Hey guys, I'll be right there. I just have to fix these tabs in here. see if um, Mr. Truthy will show up. If you want to know what's going on, I, I'm just a little, after last night and after weeks of ignoring this person, and it's, it's time to bring out the proof or shut up. Okay, because I want to see the proof of all of these things that are going on. Because he's into territory of defamation and slander, saying we're running a trafficking ring and all that crap, and I'm done with it. Bring the proof or cut it the hell out. He's gone on to like several other people. He's had showdowns with them and he stopped, but he's still obsessed with me. And I'm, I'm a little tired of it. I really am. Just hang on a second. Let's see here. Okay, hold on, I'm coming now. I finished my tags. Let me just save them. And I'll be right over. Okay, hold on. Chat's coming up now. All right. Hi, Amy, Maggie, Dubosk, Mila, Evie. Evie, is that, that is our old Evie Bubbles? Sean, Teacup, Sam, Catwoman, PM, Pebbles from Texas, Two Scooter. <laughs> She's ready to get the truthy out there. I am ready to get the truthy out here, but I don't think the truthy's going to show up. What do you guys think? Is the truthy going to show up? Hi, Tammy, how are you? You didn't say goodbye to us when you left last night. Everybody was very offended. And uh, Tenth Angel... Scooter didn't see your dolls or anything. Hi, Sam. What happened last night? Well, it's actually what happened with this person and uh, other people that he was, like, stalking. And then went on and was like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to put anybody at danger. Meanwhile, he's trying to incite a hate mob against us in September and will not stop. Okay, even though he's been totally ignored, he just keeps escalating it and escalating it and escalating it. And um, I'm tired of it. Carolyn, soccer mom. That's okay, soccer mom. We'll get to the bottom of it. Donna, how are you? Glam Dolly, hi there. 
Let's see, Tracy, teacup. You lost your husband. I can't imagine what you're going through. Yeah, I know. And they're making fun of it. And he was mocking it on Save Robbie's going, my son died. I'm a victim. My son died. I don't even believe it. Okay. On Robbie's that he, that Robbie deleted and Robbie proved himself by sitting on that panel while they were mocking it, him and uh, another, another person. Okay. So let's get him out here and let him let him talk about this, what he's doing, because he's fighting like a champion for his victim. His wife is a victim, but he doesn't care about anybody else. OK, so let's get him out here. He thinks it's all right to do that kind of crap. He thinks it's OK to make disgusting jokes about things. Let's get him out here. Come on, Truthy. Where are you? You're not scared, are you? Julianne, Angie, um, time for a change. You know, I told you, I asked you. Things are going well other than um, this crap, which I just want to get out of here. Maybe we should have just done it in the beginning. You don't know how to handle it. You think ignoring them is best, but this guy will not stop, and he's absolutely obsessed with me, okay? He stopped with the other two that he was doing. Okay, and he didn't even do half the things that he's done to me. And he said, oh, he didn't want to incite a hate mob, but it's okay. He put Lisa D and I in, a, he, he's just, he's horrendous. But let's see if he shows up. Aria, Leah, Linda, Maggie, Truthy Magoo, that's his name, Truthy Magoo. He's, and I'll give you a little background on what Truthy did, believe me, because I'm going to get it all out. And if he doesn't come and bring the proof and he continues to run his mouth around YouTube, I'm going to get a lawyer and sue him for slander and defamation of character because he's lying and he's lying about really big things. And we had the police here last night and Jimmy asked them about this, about this guy lying about the SWAT on us. And so, yeah, okay. So I am going to take a legal action. So he's going to shut his mouth or he's going to provide proof of what he's saying. He's never going to be able to prove the SWAT wasn't real because the SWAT was real. So let him come here with the proof that he has and how he incited a hate mob on us and how he's going to sue me for a million dollars and how I gave false copyright strikes to eight channels. I want to hear all this because that's defamation of my character, going and saying something that is blatantly not true. Bring the proof truthy or shut your mouth because tomorrow I'm going to get a lawyer if you do not stop. Deborah, Lori, Linda exposed. No, well, I, I'm not worried about uh, Save Robbie because everybody knows who Save Robbie is and everybody knows Save Robbie's track record and Save Robbie is just a pawn that this guy is playing. He doesn't want Save Robbie because Save Robbie's channel isn't big enough for him. He, he picked us out. That's why he came here under Arden Chef, his other account. He came here under Arden Chef for about two or three days before he attacked us as Truthy Magoo in the comments and brought all his little minions over to attack us in the comments for days and days and days. And then he attacked us on Twitter, okay? And he blocked me so he didn't think I could see the tweets. But I've got them all, okay? And they're all lies. He said on there that I attacked eight other channels. He slandered me. I'm sorry. I'm not putting up with it anymore. He didn't win anything. I did not pursue it. I didn't take him to court because Lisa and I were right, okay, about what we said and about how he mocked us and threw my email up there and told people to come and contact us and that we were called her a liar. He put that in the title of his video, inciting a hate mob of any of these, these people that were in a frenzy for this Michael Long. He put us in harm's way, okay? By, by putting our faces out there, saying that Mommy Ramblings called Sophie Long a liar, which is a lie, and he put that on, it's still up there now, Okay, he made a thumbnail, put our faces, put that false statement up there. We never once called her a liar. Go get me the proof of that.
go get me the proof of it. Then he said, I've got big things in her past. Wait till you see what we're digging up. He went to find out where I live, how many houses I own. He's been shooting off his mouth with that. So now he's not only saying that I lied about, that I called Sophie a liar, which is a lie. He's telling people where I live. He is telling people how many houses I own, you know, saying all this stuff, inciting this hate mob that he's going to sue me for a million dollars, okay, that I did all this stuff I didn't do. I have a list of it. All. It's just, it's, it's incredible. Um, age shamed us. You know, I, the age shaming I don't, I, I don't get because this guy is pushing 50 freaking years old, okay? I don't know how old he thinks I am, but truthy, honey, we're separated by only a few years, okay? So I don't know where the freak you're age shaming, okay? Because if you're age shaming, you're age shaming your freaking self. And, and I'm tired of this guy. Is he going to show up or not? Because if he's not going to show up here with the proof, and he's around because he's been around all freaking day, and he's on the West Coast, so he's definitely not sleeping. So if he doesn't come in tonight and take care of this, if he continues to keep that video up. I don't care if he keeps the video up because get my email off of it because Lisa and I were right about what we said. So I don't care. You were, you looked like a moron, but you're not going to put a title that says mommy ramblings called Sophie Lung a liar. Okay. You're not going to put that out there and incite hate. And you're not going to have a video that shows my email because I'll file a privacy complaint. Okay. I, I am so sick of this guy. And then he's sitting there making fun of my son's death with Robbie and with darling Nikki on the panel. Oh, they're so funny. And then they delete it because it was a little over the top. So we deleted it. He did this. To, yeah, I know. I know, Mary. And he didn't do what he did to that other woman was a quarter, not even a quarter of what he's been doing to me since September, okay? Since September. And he said, I'm going to ruin her. I'm going to get her channel down. I'm going to destroy her. I want her channel down, okay? Yeah, he said all this. He's got a real vindictive streak, okay? He's so jealous, and that's exactly what he wants. And I have all the footage of it. I have all the Twitter the tweets about it. He's falsely tweeting to Team YouTube and telling lies about me. He's telling Team YouTube sends him back a form letter and he lies that the channel's under investigation. The channel's not under investigation, Truthy. You got a form letter back where they said if there is a problem, it would be investigated. They didn't say we're under investigation and we're not. Okay? We didn't do a false copyright strike on you. YouTube granted it. Okay? You don't seem to know the law. Then you countered it. When you countered it, it's out of YouTube's hands, okay? That's number, number two that you don't understand. I have to take you to court at that point. That means I have to go out to California. And why am I going to do that? For what reason? Because our video shows we're right, okay? So I'm not going to go waste my money taking someone like you to court for that. So I defaulted on it. You didn't win. It's out of YouTube's hands. But you're walking around. We won making videos on it, just using the channel name for clout because you have nothing of your own. You think you say you don't need to create content because you have such a great personality. You're like Howard Stern. You're no Howard Stern, okay? Okay, you do have a voice for radio. That's why you don't show your face. But you like to attack people's looks, and so does your girlfriend like to attack people's looks, okay? But you don't show your face, and your girlfriend showed hers, and I don't think she should be attacking people's looks, okay? I don't think she should. Where are you, Truthy? Come on. Come on, big bully. You scared?
No, no, my crazy life. I've ignored them. No, he's shown his true colors. He went with his tail between his legs last night. He went with his tail between his legs. Yep. Yep. Even Jimmy said, when there's a bully, my crazy life, and they don't back down, what do you tell your kid to do? You tell your kid to go right up to them and punch them right in the nose, right? And then they back down these bullies. He's an internet bully. I've tried ignoring him. He won't stop. He needs a virtual punch in the nose. Okay, he does. Sorry. I get, it's my life and I'm living it and I know what this guy is doing and I'm tired of it. I've ignored him far too long. You try the ignoring. I've tried since September to ignore this guy. He won't stop. That's exactly what you tell your kid. You tell him, don't back down from a bully. If you back down from a bully, your kid would be... So where is he? Exactly. I have no problem giving an actual beat down tell him to come to the Bronx he won't he won't he threatened uh, somebody else today that he was going to come and beat them up settle it like a man as soon as the other guy got on he backed right down Atacor I'm not well, Atacor, you seem to like drama channels. No offense, you do, because I, I see you at them. Please don't tell me what to do. This is my life, and I've done what I can do, okay? And even Jimmy agrees. This guy is out of hand. He's out of hand. He's attacking our children, okay? He's a, he's a dangerous guy. He's inciting a hate mob around this Sophie Long thing. And I don't know if you know, Atacor, the people that are around the Sophie Long thing a lot of them are very unhinged, okay? So please, I've ignored him. And I'm sorry if you don't like it here and you think it's becoming a drama channel, I'm really, really sorry. I really am sorry because that's not becoming a drama channel. I want it not to become a drama channel. That's why I want to get him to put up or shut up. And he's going to shut up one way or the other. It's going to be legally he's going to shut up or he's just going to realize, okay, I'm an ass. I don't have proof. I'm lying about you. I'll stop it and go and just get out of here. Thanks, Amy. Can only you can only take it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous for Jimmy to say it. Believe me, we are taken enough. You guys don't even know what we get behind the scenes. Okay, I'm telling you, we've taken enough. I know we're not a drama channel and we're not slipping into a drama channel. No need to worry about that, Atacor. That's why we're here to settle it tonight, and that's it. He comes with the proof. He shuts up, takes that thing down. I don't even care. Change the thumbnail. I'm not ashamed of what we said. What we said was right. But don't say I called Sophie Lung a liar. Don't show my email and tell people to mass attack the channel. I think he is a coward, Gigi, but it, it's, it's, a, it's too much now. It's out of hand. It's completely out of hand. 
He is just escalating it. I'm not doing anything and he keeps escalating it and telling more lies and more lies. But the sex trafficking ring, you think that's okay? You, you, you'd enjoy that? I'm really sorry, Adakura, but uh, I wouldn't even, even worry about us falling into a drama channel. I, I always wonder why, like, if we try to take care of something, somebody's got to say that. Yet these are people that hang out at the drama channels and never once say it. That, oh, they don't, you know, but I don't understand. Adekor, I'm really lost on that. I don't understand it. I don't understand why you would say that when you know that that's not what we are. You know that we're trying to bring a solution about because I don't want to keep going through this with this guy. I'm a little, I'm a little hurt that you would say that. I, I don't get it. Right, they can't even show their face. They're making fun of Lisa's surgery, you know, but, but they're a victim's advocate, right? And they're so worried about all of this, what's going on with poor Michael Long, you know, and how he's being attacked, but it's okay to attack women, to attack mothers, to attack someone that just had surgery, right? Adekor, I've, I, I have seen you. People have seen you. I'm not saying you frequent them, but I have seen you in them. So why attack me? I'm trying to, to, to nip this in the butt. What can I do, Adekor? Can you tell, can you give me another solution? Because ignoring him is not working, okay? So before I go out and have to get a lawyer tomorrow, I'm going to try one thing to see if he'll admit he has nothing and back down, Okay. Because, you know, it's coming to Thanksgiving, Adekor, and I'm crying every day. I have a lot going on, and I don't need this jerk, okay, doing this stuff. I don't need him putting my family at risk. Why don't you give me another solution, Adekor, that's going to get him to stop his crap tomorrow? Tell me what I can do. Really. Tell me what I can do, Adekor, that'll get him to stop it tomorrow. Because that's when I need it stopped. It doesn't matter, Adekor, whether you like, you know, you could like, Scooter likes drama channels. I don't care. It doesn't matter. But what I'm trying to say is, please don't say what I'm just trying to bring a resolution that I'm, that I'm slipping into a drama channel because that hurts. I'm not. But Adekor, I've ignored him and, he's, and, and he doesn't stop and he escalates it. And he says we're running a sex trafficking ring now, okay? And he says we, that he has all this stuff he's going to unleash about us and that he's got, we called Sophie Long a liar. And if you don't think that's putting us in danger, have you seen the Sophie Long people? I don't know if you have. The ones that are from Michael Long? A lot of them are unhinged and they have a lot of firearms and they will do the bidding of this guy if they think that what he is saying, that we called her a liar, which we didn't, that puts us in harm's way. So what can we do, Adekor? I mean, really, seriously, Adekor, you want to call in? Call in. Tell me what to do that you think is going to work. What other way should I handle it? I'm all ears, Adekor. Please let me know. You are just not what?
it's this case that came about that he came in here and just started going crazy. Um, Broken Halo says, I saw Truthy say horrible things about Carolyn and the other woman on panel. I tried to tell him to lighten up, and he was a complete a-hole to me. Adekora, well, I took your, maybe I took your comment the wrong way. You said something like I was going to slip into a drama channel or something, and I, and I took that to mean that I shouldn't be doing this or something, that I was slipping into a drama channel because I'm taking a stand after he's harassed me, at, you know, persistently for three months with no end in sight. He just, he keeps escalating it. More and more lies. Okay, let's not, out of core, let's not you and I have drama or anything because I'm sorry if I, if I misunderstood what you said. Okay, can we just, let's just end it out of core because I like you. I hope that you like me. I think you know me after what, almost two years of being here. So let's just let that go. Okay. No hard feelings out of court. Can we just, let's not, let's not get hung up on that. Let's hope we can just get this done tonight and that's it. Yes, Truthy has been harassing me, Gina. Yes, harassing me. I do like you too, out of court. I miss you. You you don't come by a lot anymore. I ask about you. I say, does anybody see Adakor? I'm sorry too, Adakor. Okay, we're good. So Adakor and I are okay now. Let's see if we can get truthy. I didn't I didn't, I didn't mean anything either. I just it just hit me the wrong way, Adakor. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, out of court. It doesn't matter if you do. I'm telling you, Scooter goes for a good drama thing every now and then. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter to me. So is he going to come on or is he going to pretend that he doesn't know? Well, we'll see. We'll give him a few more minutes and then we'll go on and we'll see. Okay, Truthy, go get your proof together. We're going to be here for the next few hours. So we'll go about with our thing, Truthy, but come here tonight with your proof or stop what you're doing tomorrow change the thumbnail where you say that I called Sophie Lung and that Lisa and I called Sophie Lung a liar. Change the part of your video where you pull down personal information and tell people to email me because I'm calling this little girl a liar, okay? And stop talking about me. Stop lying about me. Stop saying I'm an abusive mother and an abusive wife. Stop saying that when my kids come in the kitchen, I scream for them to leave. Stop saying you're suing me for a million dollars. Stop saying I false flagged or uh, false copyright struck eight other channels. Stop all of your crap, Truthy. He's going to pretend the other trolls have told him you are calling him out. He's going to pretend the other trolls have told him. Well, put slow chat, okay. Mm, let me see, hold on, I'll put slow chat on.
He's just lying, talking out of his arse. I know, Lady Elaine, but I'm. I, but you know what? Right now, the things that he's saying, they're they're slanderous because they're not true, and he's attacking my livelihood. He's attacking my family, and I'm tired of it. Perhaps we should talk about whatever the case is going on right now. At least that we can all do. For asking for an update. True. Yes, Jennifer, you can. That's what I'm saying. If he doesn't cut the crap, if he, do, if he doesn't show up with his stuff tonight, I am going to contact an attorney because I'm tired of it. He's some guy that's, he, he, he lies too. He says he's brand new to YouTube. He's not brand new to YouTube, okay? He has other accounts. There are so many creators that do that. There's another one in True Crime that says she's brand new to YouTube. She's not brand new to YouTube, okay? She had another channel, a mothering channel for, for years, but she came to True Crime and, and pretended she was brand new to YouTube. He did the same thing. He said he was brand new to YouTube. He wasn't. And he came in under his other channel name and started stalking us in September. It was a calculated attempt. He looks, somebody told him that you can become very popular on YouTube when you attack larger channels. And we were one of the first channels that he chose. So he came first in the chat as Arden Chef. Remember Arden Chef? Okay, he started crap in the chat. We blocked him. And then he came back in the comments with, Truthy Magoo, Mrs. Magoo, his girlfriend, and a bunch of these other comic book characters, okay? And he just went to town attacking us. And then he made video. He made like four videos about Lisa D and I in one day, lying about us, trying to get people to mass flag the channel. He has a YouTube channel, but he says he doesn't need to create any content because his personality, people will just come to hear him. He, he is a big, you know what a bluffoon is? Have you ever heard of the, ter the term bluffoon? Okay. He's just a guy that shoots his mouth open, that he knows everything about YouTube, and he doesn't know the first thing about YouTube. Everything he says about YouTube is false. Everything he says about YouTube is false. So Cora girl, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you because that's okay. I don't want you to be upset. I'm not worried he'll release anything. He doesn't have anything on me, Heather. That's why I'm not scared. If I was scared, do you think I would call him out? I'm not scared. I'm tired of him inciting a hate mob of these crazies. He's not going to find anything on me. Go have fun trying. I'm worried about the hate mob he's creating with this Michael, with these Michael Long people. He's saying that we don't believe SA victims and, and it just crap.
I was scared, the last thing I would do is sit here and call, and call him out. He says he's been on YouTube three months with that channel, but with that channel, Mary, but he's been here under other channels for years. And his girlfriend admits it in, in one of the videos. She, she didn't cover her tracks because she smokes a little stuff and she got, you know, one night in and started saying things that didn't go, jive with the lies they were telling everybody. I heard from Tracy W., so she's home. I, I can read the email in a few minutes. Uh, that truthy Magoo, Nana. Nana. There could be a mental illness in them. That's fine. But you don't put someone's life in danger by saying they called a little girl a liar because we didn't do that. We didn't call her a liar. And he put Lisa D and I on the thumbnails. I think if it's three videos saying that we called her a liar, then st sitting there, pulling up my blog, pulling up my email, telling people, you know, this is her. They called her a liar. Just, just inciting a hate mob. Where are you, Truthy? Because I know you're up and I know you're listening, Truthy. I have all the screenshots. I have all the videos. I have all his tweets. He blocked me on Twitter so he could slander me. He's not a very smart man. You have to block my business accounts, Truthy. Nana T, it's just that Truthy Magoo. And I'm tired of his slander. No, we, Lisa D and I never called Sophie a liar. We said Michael Long. We said things about Michael Long, not in just that things. She's a professional, okay? And he called, he, he attacked her occupation, said she wasn't a professional, said I was an ignorant moron. Okay, it just went on and on. The three other men involved. Yes, they, and right, and he went with his tail between his legs after he went at this woman and after he, he told some guy he was going to fly out there to beat him up and leave him in a heap in a field and he was screaming like a lunatic and attacking the guy. The guy gets on panel and his tail goes between his legs. So you're too much of a coward, Truthy? You're too much of a coward to face me? Hmm? I guess he's, he's too much of a, a coward. You got a big mouth when you're when you're behind the scenes, huh, Truthy? You can't face the truth, right? You can't bring the proof. Why don't you come up here, Truthy? Come up here and say the things you said about my son on Robbie's panel. Say them to my face. Say them to my face, Truthy. Say the things you said about my son. You couldn't shine my son's shoes. Say him to my face. He's here. He's listening. He listens every night. He listens every single night. Him and his girlfriend. Okay, time for a change. It was good to see you back. Sorry you had to come back on such an explosive night. It 
It's funny that he called somebody out for dark humor. He said uh, Robbie's Auschwitz jokes were funny. Robbie's Auschwitz jokes were funny. He also said then that he didn't understand dark humor and tried to call somebody out and shame someone else about it. But when that wasn't even about anybody in particular, and then he went on to make horrible jokes of someone that died of colon cancer. He made joke after joke about someone that died of colon cancer. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of guy he is. He's a funny guy, isn't he? He's a funny guy. What happened with Truthy? Three months of harassment, slander, and slander, and defamation of my character and Lisa's character. Yeah, I, I wish he'd talk out of any side of his mouth here, but he won't come up. Come on, Truthy. Come on, Truthy, just say the same things. I have, I have the videos. We could play your videos of you on Save Robbie, talking about my family, talking about my son, my husband, and my young sons. Why don't we play those? Let's play where you said Robbie's Auschwitz strokes were funny. Mm-hmm. Right. But then you made a little thing that Kazbat, that made a general joke, not about anybody, okay? It was a freaking joke, and you know it. But... You just went after her and after her and said such lies and that you were all offended. You and Robbie, when you're telling Auschwitz jokes or you think they're funny and you're telling jokes about people that had colon cancer, real people, Truthy, and you're telling jokes about my son mocking me. Yeah, how'd you mock me? My son died. Oh, my son died. I'm a victim. My son died. And you insinuated that he didn't really die, maybe, right? I was just being, just using him for money, right? Isn't that what you said, Truthy? Yeah. Where are you? Where are you, Truthy? Because if you don't show up tonight, you better never speak of me again. You better change your videos because they're slander, okay? And you better shut your mouth on me and never speak of me again. Because you're a coward if you don't show up here. You can only talk behind my back. I'm tired, guys. I'm sick of it. And when they go after my son, that's it. That's it. I know they are, Sarah. I know he picked us because he can't, they can't take our community. That's a really, really hard thing. They can't understand how this community is so strong and everybody really cares about each other and people meet each other and people don't turn on each other every day um, like in other communities. And they can't take it. They, they, they cannot take that. Come on, Truthy. Where are you? An advocate for victims, right, Truthy? Yeah. For what? Just one victim you're an advocate for? Come on, Truthy. Is he on there now, Dawn Marie? Is he on there right now? He's a coward is what he is. When they listen to him, oh. someone in your life. <laughs> the 
Wh where is he? He's a coward. I, I knew he wouldn't show up. Truthy Magoo, Shauna. Truthy Magoo. Where is he? Do you know where he is? Uh, who just said he was at the Glarer? Is he still there at the Glarer's? I know he saw the community post. He watches every freaking night. Thanks, Jules. I just want to get this over, get him out of the way, and move on. His girlfriend is trying to get him to call in. He's wrapped in a blanket in the corner. Yeah. Oh, they had a blowout? That was just a matter of time. He's going to crash and burn with everybody, and that's why he has to reinvent himself and get another channel all the time. Yeah, because he was leaving, you know, he, he's one of those that explodes, leaves YouTube with a big post on leaving YouTube and then comes back and then's leaving YouTube again. Then he comes back. Yeah. Exactly, Ash K. That's exactly what he does. Moves from community to community. He's trying for a, a, to find a quick way to be successful on YouTube without having to make any content and do any real work. I need to slow it longer. <laughs> yeah. I hate to slow it so long, honey, because then, then it takes so long to get an answer. It's only like 10.30 there, isn't it? What is it? Uh, yeah, it's like 10.30, 10.20, where he is. 10.20 at night. He's not in bed. Come on, Truthy. Yeah, Truthy Magoo. You know him? Go get him to come over here. Let's see him. Let's bring, bring his proof over here. Yes, he's Pacific Standard Time. 10.20, that's right. Where is he? Oh, you bet, Lorraine, he's a coward. Hi, Earth Brown Spirit. Good to see you. Hi, Skipper. He's very unlikable, and he's very vindictive. He's very, very vindictive, and he's very hateful, and so is his girlfriend. His girlfriend attacks people's looks. His girlfriend attacks people's age. He attacks everything else, and... and I don't know if anybody's seen his girlfriend, but she shouldn't be doing that. Nobody should be doing that, but for, what do they say? If you're not perfect, don't go, don't throw uh, stones if you, don't, if you live in a glass house. Absolutely. But they think it's fine to do. Attack people's looks, attack people's age, attack people's everything. The families, the kids. He's not even a parent, but he attacks people's parenting. 
and then tells outright lies. It's almost like that thing that last year that I was having, my kids were having a birthday party and I stopped it and told them that everybody had to go home. Another lie that somebody else perpetuated. He's doing the same crap. They're actually, I think they're really upset and it's, it's sick to think of that they haven't had something really bad happen to them that they can go on and be a victim about. Like, it's sick. It's absolutely sick. Okay? That's what, he's, that's what he was doing on Robbie's while Robbie was on panel. After Robbie's been screaming that he doesn't do stuff like that, Robbie's sitting with these two that are making fun of my son's death, and, and Truthy is making, Oh, my son died. <laughs> I'm a victim. <laughs> That's not crafty night tonight. Thanks, Billy Jones. I just want this him to show up. Where are you, Truthy? I want to get this over, and we want to go on with our live. Are you really going to be that much of a coward, Truthy? This is embarrassing for you, Truthy. Wow. You won't even come here, Truthy. If you if you have all this, let's go. His videos are still up. Go look there. Lisa D and I are on them. And he says we called her a liar. And he just incites a hate mob with them. And then he has gone at us in the comments. He is in all the comments lying that we did this all this stuff to eight other channels. He has to get us taken down. He lies that we're being investigated, that YouTube is all. He is out of his mind. He's lying like crazy. Where's all his little minions? I, I'm forgetting... Um, Toxic pine, toxic orchid. Where's toxic orchid? Where's Mrs. Magoo? What are the other minions he has? Where are you guys? Where's your leader? He's a coward. Yeah, I'm going to confront him. Yes, I am going to confront him. But he, but he's too much of a coward to show up. Oh, right, and he won, he won, another video about that, anything to use the channel name. He's not getting me down, Kathy. No, I'm taking the power back. Oh, yeah, Peacock, whatever, yeah, where is she? Peacock, princess, or whatever the freak she is. Harlequin, or whatever her name is, and nerdy nerdette. The umbrella guy, where are you? Where Truthy, where are all your friends? Where are all your friends? I know, Larky. I'm going to wait. I'm going to give him like 10 more minutes and then, then we're going to go on. And then, then if he, if he doesn't take, do take those down and change those so that I don't care. He keeps the video up. I don't care. Don't lie about me. Don't show my personal information. Don't incite a hate mob. Don't talk about me again. So I'm giving you 10 more minutes, Truthy. I'm giving you 10 more minutes. At 1.37 my time, it's over, okay? 1.37, it's over. He has no, no, I'm not worried. 
Tell him to come in and tell me that. Don't send a minion in here, Truthy. Don't send a minion in here. Come in here and say it yourself, Truthy. Forget it, Julia. Teresa, forget. Let him come in here. Don't listen to any minion. Come in here yourself, Truthy. You're scared? Truthy Magoo. Mick, Mick Goo. Hi, Linda. Come on, Truthy. You've got, uh, what, about eight more minutes or so? That's such channel, angel wifey. Come on, Truthy. If you're telling people to come in here and tell me something, come in here and tell me yourself, Truthy. Come in here and tell me yourself, Truthy. Don't send women in to talk for you. You're a big guy when you're on Robbie's panel. You're a big guy when you're on your own channel, aren't you? You're shooting your mouth off without a problem. You don't need someone to speak for you, do you? Come on, Truthy. You're making a fool of yourself, Truthy. He's got a few more minutes, Sarah, and then he's not going to get my time. Then he's going to get legal action if he doesn't do, if he talks about me again, and if he uh, doesn't take down those videos with the lies. He can put the videos back up. Take down the thumbnails. Take down your narrative with the lying about us and what we said, because my videos are still up and we never said the things you said. Don't tell people, because that's against terms of service, to come here and email me and bombard me with hate mail. Don't incite a hate mob for me, okay? Don't age shame us, Truthy, when you're pushing 50 years old. I don't know how, you old, how old you think I am, buddy. What is it? 1.30? Is it 1.30? Because my watch went dead on there. Yeah, 1.30. You've got, what, seven more minutes, Truthy. Seven minutes. Seven minutes, Truthy. Come on. Pretty embarrassing if you really did send who? Tracy in here? If you send Tracy in here to speak for you? That's pretty embarrassing, Truthy. I thought you're a big man, right? You're six three and you're such a big alpha male, aren't you? Come on, coward. You can't even say you're not here. Everybody knows you're here. You sent us some girl in to speak for you? Oh my gosh. Come on, Truthy. I don't get. I'm. I'm not. I don't care about Robbie. Get Truthy in here, Truthy. Come on, Truthy. Yeah, I don't care about that. I where's Truthy? Well, you've got five minutes, Truthy. You're down to five minutes now.
Oh, that's pretty sad, Nana. Yeah, because he's three months on that channel. Three months on that channel. But he had other channels. Remember the creme fresh guy? That's Truthy. Arden Chef who came and bombarded our chat. That's Truthy. They're suddenly scared, right, Sorry. Well, what are we down to? Two minutes, Truthy. You've got your two minutes of truth. And then you'll be called a coward forevermore. You better change your name, too. We have a new emoji for you, lying sack of shite. Are we down to one minute yet? One minute. Uh, is it one minute? What is it? What? One thirty-seven. Wait a minute. What's the time? One thirty-four. I need my eyeglasses because I'm so old. I can't see. Oh, he's got three minutes. Excuse me. He has three. You have three minutes, Truthy. Sorry, my eyes are bad. Three minutes, Truthy. You, you've really... Wow, you're not looking good between last night, okay, and tonight. You're really not looking good, Truthy. Maybe you better take that leave off of YouTube. You didn't get a notification? Oh, we're just calling out Truthy, and he see, it looks like he's going to be a no-show. He has, uh, I did hear from Tracy W., and I'll update everybody as soon as we have the two minutes. We're down to two minutes for Truthy. Come on, Truthy. Wow, Truthy. I didn't think you'd be this much of a coward. I think I thought you'd at least come on. Wow. Jimmy's right about you. A blowhard is what he said. Full of nothing but hot air. One minute, Truthy. One minute, Truthy. What an embarrassment. Do you even have a set? Maybe I have some extra balls around here I can send your way. Hey, Judy. Yeah, tomorrow's too late, Atticor. You don't. You show up now, or you or you or you shut up. Show up or shut up, Truthy. You're, you're down to probably 30 seconds, Truthy. What an embarrassment. My time is almost up, Liz. It's up. Truthy didn't show. Sorry, Truthy. On with the show, folks. We know what Truthy is. Okay, so the, the number, did I put the number in? I put the number in the craft thing. What do you want to do? Do you want to, what do you want to do tonight? What does everybody want to do tonight now that we got Truthy out of the way and found out that he's a coward? The number's in, um, I put the number in the crafts. Let's do something fun. Let's do something fun to celebrate that truth he's a coward and everybody knows it now. Uh, 
That was fun. Let's go. And the conclusion is, Truthy is a coward. My son, it, which my son Luke, he's, he's okay. They're going to go for testing tomorrow. So hopefully everything will be all right. They're all going to get tested tomorrow. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy's just going to go just to get a test. Luke's going to get tested and Ethan's going to get tested. And it's supposed to be a rapid test. And I've got to go out and get um, some things at the, st like the grocery store tomorrow. But they're going to go get a rapid test. What did Truthy do, Dreaming? Well, besides lying about Lisa D and I and saying that we said a little girl was a liar so that he incited a hate mob on us and put that on a thumbnail on not one video but two videos but then made three or four more videos about it. Um, he's also said that he's going to sue me for a million dollars and that we're running a sex trafficking ring here. That's why we have dolls and toys mm -hmm, and code words. Yes, and that um, the SWAT wasn't real. That he joked about with Save Robbie. This, well, Save Robbie's the one that offered that one up. No, wait, no, wait. Save Robbie offered the, the fall wasn't real. I'm sorry, I'm, I stand corrected. He offered the SWAT wasn't real. Said that BBT showed him. Boy, he did, if he doesn't even have BBT figured out, he's not so swift, is he? He said BBT showed him. Because BBT doctored a video where she didn't show the whole video. Leaping Lizard showed her, but she, no, she won't listen um, to try to say the SWAT wasn't real. Okay? And, uh, and then Robbie said the fall down the stairs wasn't real. And we were going to have Jimmy be on crutches for two months. But it was too funny, so we couldn't stop ourselves. So we had to say it was a joke. That's brilliant save Robbie. Okay? Who's milk, who milks everything that he can have, right? So, yeah. So the, what else did he say? That he's suing me for a million dollars. He's talking about the houses that we have along with the other. Yeah, it's just sickening stuff. And it, a liar, a big liar. So be a liar. Hello there. But I'm done talking about him. He's a liar. If he doesn't take that stuff down, he's going to be contacted by an attorney. And that's it. Hey. 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 <laughs> People were thinking you were truthy. I, I knew you weren't truthy. Oh, that wasn't going to happen. No, you know that. That wasn't going to happen. Hey, Robbity Bob. So let me tell you about Tracy W. Um, let's see. We could have been killed in our SWAT, Chrissy, and they're, they're trying to say it's fake because they're, they're lunatics. Okay, let's see here. All right, so what Tracy said, let me get your email. It said, hi, Carolyn, I'm so sorry I was not able to get through to you yesterday. I didn't want anyone to worry about me. I wasn't allowed to talk to my roommate or family or anyone. I was in the ER for almost a day. They had two uh, Ickes floors, and they were full. They also could not find a hospital that was not full, so they kept me in the ER until the bed came open, which never did happen. The main issue was my pulse oximetry was at right at 90. They said they admit at 90. Hold on a minute. I lost my space. They admit at 90 and below. My chest x-ray was not that bad. I was extremely weak and very dehydrated. They gave me three liters of fluid IV and I still couldn't urinate. And after all that, I asked them if I were to get admitted, what could you do for me? And they said nothing other than monitor me and treat me symptomatically. I had... Hold on a minute. I'm losing my place in here because there's no spaces. Hang on. I had an isolation room in the ER. The nurses were very kind, but I felt like I was 
taking up their time. I hate being a patient. I talked to the ER doctor about going home and he told me only if I promised to get a pulsometer right away, pulsometer, pulse oximeter uh, right away and if it went below 90 to come in immediately and to call my doctor that day. He tried to give me the bad points of treating myself at home but he said it is always up to the patient. I weighed the pros and cons and risks and benefits and decided to go home. I have had insomnia for years, maybe years of working night shifts, but I went home and I slept for 24 hours straight, just about, and I would not remember falling asleep. I had weird dreams of you and Scooter and the rest of the other Ramblers volunteering as nurses at the hospital. So weird. You skipped right over all of that nursing school stuff and years of college and you became nurses. Carolyn, you had a white lab coat on. I assume you became a doctor or was the nurse in charge, LOL. Anyway, I'm still very sick and I can't eat and I've been trying to drink. My fever was 101.8 last time I checked. I am in a lot of pain everywhere, even my eyeballs, headache, vomiting, you name it. I have never felt this bad. I am waiting for my doctor to do her Zoom chat now. I will try to catch you on Slack tonight. If I don't, out of the blue, fall asleep. I love you and everything you do, Carolyn. This is your calling. You cannot imagine how many people you touch and help. You are an angel, and your son is beaming with pride at you. He yes. is always with you. Remember, if you catch yourself feeling happy, don't please don't feel guilty. How much you grieve is not a measure of how much you love. He wants you to be happy. XXOO, hope to chat tonight, Tracy W. So hopefully she's feeling better. That that came to me this that was at, um, when was that? 3.15 p.m. this afternoon. So, okay. seven or eight hours ago. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Where else? Um, and how is everybody tonight? All this excitement. Deb on the Move says, oh, anybody that's looking for, oh, that's a good deal, Deb on the Move. Anyone that's looking for a... Uh, a cricket. Let me see here. Let me get the link. Um, is anybody in the chat looking for a cricket? The Let me go get my vodka. I'll be right Did, back. Your vodka? Okay. Yeah. Did, remember I said the Explore Air? I saw it for 139 last year on clearance. Yep. You got that price now if anybody's looking for one. Lisa D. I think you should get a maker, Lisa D, because of all the stuff you do. But at the very least... She should, you're right. She should get this. She should freaking get this. Hang on, I'll get you a link to it. I'll put it in the chat. Maybe I'll go with this tonight. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Got to live up to your image that they gave you. Look what I'm starting on. What are you starting on? I'm looking for my Walmart. Here it is. Let's what are you see. starting on? Let me get my. Uh oh, you went blank. You Did I? It. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get my. I was. I really feel like making something with my Cricut so badly. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a uh, reindeer. Oh, I found it. Oh, oh a reindeer. Oh, very cute. Yeah. You already finished. You fin. You definitely finished your little girl. Well, I have to do that one spot. You know. I see. Put that stuff on there. Try it. I'm gonna put this link in the chat for anybody that wants this cricket. This is a good deal if you want this. I, I forget what the regular price is on this. This is as much, this is as little as the clearance price I saw last last year, I think. Hi, cast lady. Hi, um, Glam Dolly. Oh, the link is probably going fast, right? There you go. I'm putting the link in. It's just flying because the chat is catching up.
Hi, Sandra. You know, you like it? Yeah, I do too. I'm excited to start it. You're doing a snowman, Adacor? Adacor, you do the diamond painting? Yeah, she said she's doing a snowman. Right really? Now. Why don't you ever come up on, on panel, Adacor, and show us your diamond painting? We've never even heard your voice, and you've been with us for like, what, like two years? Come on. And she lives in the same town as my cousin. Yeah, look, you could actually meet Scooter's cousin oh, one yeah, day at the it's grocery not store. So far. Yeah. Hi, Danielle. <laughs> Lisa D's here. You know that sounds Is like. She? You know what it sounds like. Remember that Brady Bunch when when Carol goes, um, Mike's home early. What a way to start the weekend. So it's like Lisa D. <laughs> Lisa D's here early. What a way to start the night. <laughs> I'm gonna try that Mod Podge stuff, uh, Potter. Just put a little bit on the bottom and then put the diamond the drills on there it's not a real big spot so even if i mess it up i don't think it's can who be call in can, can lisa call in ask her is that who tracy tracy wants to know if you can call in lisa and maybe out of court too out of court come on peeps let's see your diamond painting out of court break out of your shell come on let's go hi robin swan Let's have a bunch of people that have never called in. That that would be a fun night. Can we have a bunch of people that have not called in call in? Let's yeah. go. And Lisa D, come on. Lisa D, get Gary's up, not the boss. Gary's not the boss of you now. Remember. <laughs> come on. Come on in, lady. Adacor? I don't see Adacor anymore. Oh, yeah, she was here. I mean, it's easy to call in Adacor. It really is. If I can do it, anybody can. Lisa has a natural charm about her. Yes, it goes with her naturally curly hair. She, yes, you're right. She does. You're welcome, Kevin. Come on, Adacor. Adacor, are you in the craft group? Can you see the craft group to get the number? Or do you need to email? You can email me for the number if, you don't, if you're not in the craft group. Come on, Adacor. She says, oh, man. Come, Come on, on, Adacor. Oh, it's terrified the first time. Come on, time. Adacor. Just do it. Do it. Let's go. Yeah. Do it. Do, do it. Do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sharon Martin. Yeah, come on, you can do it. You haven't called in? You can call in, Earthbound. Do you have the number? You're in the craft group, right? We used to call in. Yeah. Come on, Adacor. She sent you an email, Earthbound Spirit. Oh, I th isn't she in Slack? She said she's not in... Uh, in crafts? Yeah, she's not in crafts. Oh, wow. Okay. Lisa, did you see that cricket for $140? Oh, that's what's going to be on my thing. I've got to get the invitation again. Hold on a minute. Let me get the invitation. Come on, guys. Santa's watching. He'll be real happy if you call in. You want, you'll be sure to be on the good list. All right, we have to change the energy and the mood in here since... Yeah, come on. Hi, Don Marie. Let's see. <clears throat> um, where is? Where did you send it, Earthbound? She said she sent you an email. She sent me an email. I don't see it yet. Did you just send it, Earthbound? I think she did. She did? Good. You sent it to the right email, right, Earthbound? Bobbity Bob, that's not the way it works. That's not that's not the way it works, but good luck for that. Okay. Um where is Earthbound? Oh the baby's in the other room, Chrissy. Oh yeah, you have the baby. Because you know who yeah. wanted to see it? Tenth Angel. Where's Tenth Angel? 
and she had her babies and you missed them last night. You no. missed her you missed her house Darn tour. It. And where's uh no. Debbie, you know, D Foster, I think is the one that gave us the other house tour. I know. I always miss that stuff. Yeah, she said she sent it to the true crime chat. Mm-hmm. True crime chat with mommy ramblings. What what group are you in there? And I can just put it in there. Uh yes, dreaming. Truthy. Truthy live and truthy magoo. I don't have anything earthbound. What group are you in over there? In uh I could swear Earthbound was in the craft group. Oh, I don't know. I don't really go in there that much. Earthbound, what group are you in in Slack? Why won't you call in, Mary? Very, very shy. Well, I am too. I didn't think I could do it. <laughs> Stop begging, you're a star. <laughs> Why doesn't Kevin call him? Why don't you call him, Kevin? That would be awesome. Call in, Kevin. What's Nana Patty doing tomorrow? Something fun, I hope. What is Just she? It's awesome. She's doing something fun? I have no idea. She said she's in recipes or legal. Recipes or le oh, recipes or legal? That's all you were in? Yeah. All right. I will. Let me see. I'll put it in um, legal. I mean, I'll put it in recipes. Guess what? What? We're not having Thanksgiving. What happened? Jack came home from work today. Sick. Don't laugh. I'm not laugh. No, that wasn't a laugh. It was like, oh, because I think I think everybody's going to have a virtual Thanksgiving on Zoom. Wouldn't that be fun? My no. daughter's like, no, no, I know it's not. But I mean, if everybody's in the same boat and everybody has a virtual Thanksgiving and you all check in on a Zoom. I have to keep a Zoom. Well, the thing like, is, I have nothing to cook. Now I have to go to the store. Well, I have to go to the store tomorrow, too. You know why? Because we couldn't get our turkey because of our refrigerator. Oh, that's right. So I have to go tomorrow and get it. I took a big chicken out of the freezer. <laughs> so it's a big baking hen well, that I bought. I think it was, was it last year? When did I have Chinese? When did we have Chinese? Oh, when the house flooded, we had Chinese Thanksgiving because we couldn't cook yeah. anything, and so we just had Chinese food Thanksgiving. Yeah. See, if I would have, yeah. I and my kids, I and my kids loved something. it. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I was crazy. Sometimes we stress ourselves so much, and it's just... Uh, I know. You're right. I had a ch we had a chicken once for Thanksgiving when my father was in the hospital getting his pacemaker, and my mother was all, like, freaked out, and she was here, and I was pregnant with Michael, and everything was a big upheaval, and we just we just cooked the chicken. Yeah, and that's what, yeah, because it was so crazy. Yeah, yeah you, know, you, it's just, you do, yeah, you do what you know. So what, right? Who says you can't have chicken? Just be glad you have food right. and a roof over your head, right? Right. So Jack got exposed. Well, they don't know. She said he's going to go get tested tomorrow. She but said I he mean, came home with the congestion and oh, all that. Oh, oh, you mean he feels sick? Yeah, and he's got, he can't taste, he can't smell. Oh, so she thinks. But that yeah. could be just a regular cold. So if he doesn't have it, then you're going? Well, no. she didn't say that, so. Oh. Obviously, he's not getting that rapid test. Stop laughing. I'm not, I'm not laughing. I'm just, no, I'm laughing because I thought about Dave. Because I thought <laughs> Dave, like, even if he's negative, you'd be like, we can go, Dave. And Dave would be like. We're not going, Scooter. I know. He already he's already like, see, <laughs> I told you, but you, if he has it, then you could, because you were over there. I'm like, no, it's been a week since I've been there. So what? He touches everything. He could have 
he could have it and he's just now getting it. He could have, you know, been exposed to Oh, he ago. thinks you might be exposed to it? Oh, he's freaking, um, about, he's freaking about you now? He thinks you might be exposed to it? Yeah. If, yeah. So well, he said, it's sad, but he thinks it's better just not to go. Well, I'll have my Zoom open if you want to check in. <laughs> Because my daughter's like, I said, I'll just leave the Zoom open. And that way, if I'm cooking or something, like, hi, hi, how you doing? People come in and out of the Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> I do get to have my granddaughter, Lexi, here. So I'm thrilled to death. I'm going oh, to that's, get her oh, that's good. Super happy about that. Who is Jack? He is my 18-year-old grandson. He'll be 19 next month. Let's see, I, I put that in there, Earthbound. And let me see if, um, who said they emailed me? Oh, Earthbound, but still don't have an email. Can I just pick out one name out of the chat and ask them if they could call in? Yeah, Adacor, you're not going to call in? I have your email here, Adacor. I can just send you the number. Come on, Adacor. Just show, you don't have to show your face or anything. Just show your diamond painting. You live in my you live in my cousin's town. You can do this. Yeah, or you could play show and tell. You could show us. We played show and tell one night. I got stuff out of the china closet and I brought it here and I showed people. You could show us things. Hey Gigi, have... call in. Has Gigi's never called in? Yeah, Gigi, she? you should call in. I'd love to hear her voice. She's from Australia. Yeah. <laughs> New Zealand. New Zealand, yeah. I always get them mixed Gigi up. from New Zealand. Now she's going to get mad at me. You know I'm not from there. <laughs> Who's it? Oh, Diane. Who used to always say Diana was from Germany? You did, right? I did, yeah. I was always, hi, our little German lady. <laughs> or our little lady from Holland. <laughs> You're trying to find your what, Adacor? Your damn phone? Don't curse, Adacor. It's okay. Oh, I'm excited. I, I might get to hear your voice. I know. That would be fun. We're ready for a fun night. Like you could bring stuff, a show and tell. You could show what you're doing. You could tell a story. You don't have to show your face or anything. No, you can just um, add a court. You can just hold your picture up like this. You could pull things out of your china closet, off. add a court, and show us things that are in your china closet or in your cabinets or under your bed. Okay, I'm going to pick somebody right now at random, <laughs> and you will be the lucky person. And you must call in. You don't have to show your face, but you have to call in. Okay, everybody chat. Keep chatting so I can see the names. Heather, Heather's here tonight, Mrs. Kurt Cobain. Heather is here. <laughs> I saw We're you somewhere. Trying. Okay, um, Keep on, keep on. Why isn't anybody chatting we right could now? Give away a, I wonder how we could give away a gnome. By what I saw know. his message, Sam. Okay, everybody, so, that, yeah, everybody that, that I've got a special incentive. I've got a special incentive. Everyone that comes on panel tonight will get a number, okay? And then Scooter will write down the numbers on a tiny thing of paper, and she'll put them in something and shake them up, and then we'll pick three winners to win a gnome. I have a oh, case wow. of gnomes. So see, I'll, I'll, we'll give away. So if you come on, you have a chance of winning a gnome. Sunflower Brown's called in, hasn't she, before? What? Sunflower Brown has called in, right, before? She helped me with that. Uh, was that Sunflower Brown that called in? I think she did. Oh, here That's she is. Earthbound. Oh, Earthbound. She's called in, but been a long time. I'm going to Her go spirit. get. I'm going to go get the gnomes to entice people. I'm going to open the carton and get the gnomes. Okay. To entice people to call in. To um, win a gnome night. Oh, gnome, you don't. I'm going to go open the box and get the gnomes. Okay. Um, okay. How about? How about? Um, how about whisper to me? Whisper to me. Remember, you don't have to be shown on panel. Earthbound spirit, your microphone's not hooked up. Oh, 
sorry. Okay, you need to start your video, Earthbound. Heather's here. Earthbound. Heather. Hey. Everybody's going to come in for the gnomes. Gnomes, we've got three gnomes that need a home. They're all in, in plastic here. They're like the, the I'm one? here. I'm trying I've to figure got, out where my video. Uh, this red one. There's three different okay. designs. This red one. He's brand new in the package. There. They're, they're a nice size. Hold on. This one is a red one. It's got a different kind of a hat. Come on, guys. How about Veronica Chiras? And then we've got a gray Lisa one. Lisa D, call in. Three gnomes. Prizes tonight, guys. Prizes tonight for callers. Prizes. Gnomes for the holiday. They need new homes for the holiday. You get to adopt a gnome for free. Come on, Ashley, call in. Juju Positive, Kathy Allison, Sunflower Brown. Atacor, where are you? Did you find the phone? You sent an email? Okay. B Charma. Oh. Mandy Hall. Mama T. I'm here. I sent it, Atacor. There you are, Earthbound. Amber, you, you need doing? to be. Amber, are you in Slack at all? Or, or like you're never in Slack? Oh, Adacor sent an email. Yeah, I sent the number to Adacor. Okay. I'll add you to the craft group. I'm going to treat you like you've never been here before. We'll see what happens. Where'd Heather go? Didn't Heather log on? Let's see. She was you're, trying you're, to get... Where's Heather? She must have got kicked off. I'm she sure she'll call off. Hi, hi, Earthbound. Hi. I, I can't see chat. I had to, I can't mute it. Oh. And I didn't want it to echo. But I wanted to call in and say hi because it's been a while. It has been a while. So I wanted to make sure I just gave everybody a shout out. And with everything going on, I finally got a job. I'm now working at the hospital. Oh, wow. Plenty of COVID patients. Really? Are you nervous? Yep. Treat, are you nervous treating them? I don't treat. I just to serve them their food, and I don't actually have to expose myself to any of them. I'm just on their floor. That you've been healthy Which so far. Could, so far, yeah, it's only been a month. Do you get tested? Right? Do they test you regularly? Nope, they don't test at all. And they just no. uh, take our temperature every morning. Wow. You work where at a hospital? Yeah, I just started a new I just started my first job in 17, 18 years at my daughter being my full-time job for all that time. Mama T, I sent you the wrong oh, thing. Yeah. Hold on, Mama T. I for, I was going to try to send you the number and I sent you the wrong thing, okay? So I'm going to send you the right thing now. <laughs> GG Call in. She said her tab, my tablet buffered. You can call in, Gigi, from New Zealand. Yeah. Other people do. Yeah, Mama T says she wants to call in from Australia. I just gave her the number. Or wait, Gigi's from France, isn't she? Gigi. Is it, is it France? I think so. She's from France. Or Madrid, Spain? That could be, yeah. yeah. Could be. Might be. I think Diana's from France. 
She's got that nice French accent, Diana, when she calls in, remember? Yeah, Diana Mulroney. I love her French accent. <laughs> I do, too. REA says, congratulations on your job, Earthbound. Well, thank you. It was about time. You sent any, I sent you the uh, number, Mama T. So has anything exciting been going on since we've heard from you last? Other than finding a home and getting a job, no. Has your daughter, <laughs> is your daughter still with you? No, she was, when we, when, when her behavior made us homeless. Right. I had oh, to put yeah. her in a host home. Uh huh. And she's doing okay. In April, she got sick with. Uh, this is this is so uplifting. Uh, she, was in, <laughs> she was in the hospital with severe <laughs> sepsis in April, and hasn't been eating or walking since. So, oh. but other than that, she's okay. She's still not eating or walking? Nope. Wow. She's How much weight has she lost? How much weight has she lost? I don't know, 100, 150 pounds. <gasps> she was already 300 pounds, so. Oh, wow. Well, does she, I mean, does she feel good about that or? She, she doesn't no, have any. Care? Here we go, another one, too. Kind of sense of any yeah, of that. Yeah, that's Adekor, and that's, uh, is that Mama T in Australia? Yep, that's Therese, yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi. Oh, well, give us a tour of Australia, please, because could you give yeah, us a little I'm look around? Well, let, me, let me spotlight you. Did, right, can you spotlight it? Did I make you? Yeah. yeah. Is that is that Adekor? I can't hear you yet. you got to connect your audio. That's Adekor. Look, look at this. This is a fun night. We get to see Australia. How, how hot yeah. is it right there? That looks so lovely. Um, it's about just after five in the afternoon. Yeah. And it's cooler now. We probably had 30 degrees Celsius today. Right. Um, but probably down in the mid-20s now, so it's pretty cool. It's nice. Nice. Looks nice. I'd like to be there right well, now. Is that Adacor? I'm sorry to interrupt. No, no this is Mama T. Adacor is getting her sound on. But she's there on camera. She right? is. She's on camera. Yep. Oh my goodness! Amazing. I get to meet her, my neighbor. You're gonna meet her. Look at Australia right now. So look at that scooter. Okay. We're in Australia right now. I'm looking. Visualize yourself there, sitting by the pool. <laughs> yep. My one of my big puppies. And one of her puppies. Do you That's have any, Do you have any parrots in the tree? Oh. We can see any any parrots stopping oh. by. There's been a lot of birds around, um, but they're they're not here at the moment. Oh. It's been a variety. I'll take you and show you some orchids if you like. Oh yeah, orchids. You have orchids outside, just like that. Look at that. Got lots of orchids. Hang on, girls. Back. She has lots of orchids, scooter. <laughs> we'll go into the fernery. Hopefully, there's no snakes in here. Oh, no snakes. There's been a lot of them around at the moment. So let's see if we've got anything in flower. Oh yeah. Dave would like this scooter. Look at this. Oh, yes, he would. My gosh. She's got a See those? Greenhouse. Oh, wow. He would that love that. Nice. It's uh, pretty packed. Wow. Right? Yeah. But um, some of the flowers have um, just died off. Some of the purple ones. Nice. It's not my good flower. But, yeah, it's nice. Nice spot. There's some orange ones up there. Who, do you grow them or yes yeah. um my my mother and my grandmother were big orchid growers and back in the day you could bring them in from overseas mm -hmm. um so my gran used to bring them back on her trips so so that's that's me That's nice. Thanks for showing us around. Now, let's see. Uh, okay. Nice to meet you and see yeah, you. Yeah, it's nice to, oh, nice to meet you guys. So yeah. It's an, old, um, it's an old, what they call a Queenslander. Oh. So yeah. you've got the... What does that say right there? What does it say? Boar water? What is it? Boar water. 
What does that mean? Uh, that means we've got a, a well because we're on, we're usually on um, water restrictions because uh -huh. we've been in drought for a long time. So we've got a, a bore that I can run the sprinklers and things off. I feel happier just seeing that sun, and so does Julie. So does Julie uh, Grayson, right, Julie? I feel yeah, like the sun is shining on me over there. Yeah, I, it's just a different yeah. type of sun. It's so warm. I can feel it. Yes. It's it's beautiful. Now All it's the, summer over there now, right? Yeah. When it's our yeah. Spring, whatever. Summer. French is it, is it spring out? or summer yeah. there? Is it? Are you in summer or spring? Well, we're uh, we're starting to get to summer now. Oh, that would be the so perfect we're... thing. That would be the perfect thing for me to have spring and summer here, and then fly over there for spring and summer, and never have fall or winter. Right. No, okay. We get it pretty pretty hot in summer, um, and we're due to have a what they call a La Nina. Oh, La Nina. Um, which is um, big rains and cyclones. So yeah. we'll see. We certainly need the water. Right. I'll take spring and fall, but n not the extremes of summer and winter. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, no, I like. I'll take the spring and summer. That's fine. I'll, I'll do the spring and summer. You can have my we're, fall. We're all in air conditioning and everything here, so the winter, the rest of the year, we have three really hot months, and then the rest of the year is just beautiful. Yeah. I'll take the hot. I'll take it. I'll deal with it. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, Thanks. I'll let you go. That's um, that's you, us. You can stay on. Um, yeah, you don't have to leave. Stay. Yeah, you don't have to oh, leave. Well, answer the gnome, don't you? Now, hi. Uh, you're not sure <laughs> about anyway. We get to write your name down. Oh, anyway. you're on mute. You're on mute, Adakor. You have to unmute yourself. Hi. Uh, I would like to talk to you, but uh, you're oh there. Let me see. Say something. You're so cute, Anna I know, but we can't hear her. Why can't we hear her? She's not on mute, but we can't oh, hear her. You need to turn your microphone on. Turn your sound on. She, she, hello, Adacor? I think you got it. I think you got it. Say something. Oh, you're on mute. You're on mute, Adacor. You have to unmute yourself. Oh, wait, I think Hello. That's... Who's that coming from? Hi. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you. Hi, you're oh, there. Let me see. Please. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Can you hear me, really? Why can't yes, hear I can it? hear you, but we hear somebody's uh, somebody's YouTube is playing. Okay, because I got the news. I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, oh, yeah. Let me see. Do you think that's that? I don't. Th I think it's out of core, though. Let me see. Okay. Oh, no, it's, it's out of core. I think it's out of core. Do you have to, you have to lower your YouTube? Turn your YouTube sound off. Just leave your Zoom on. It's I can hear me now. Let me see. I don't. I think it's out of board. It is me. It's okay. You'll figure it out. Just. Uh... I'm not good at this. Okay. Should, all right. Look. Should I do this? What does she do? Because I'm so lost at this. What does she do for her volume? What are you doing? Scooter, what does she have to do? Does she have to put her headphones in? Well, let me see if she has her... Yeah, maybe that would help. Yeah. Try your headphones with just your Zoom. Yeah, just your Zoom. Now, now talk. Shut the YouTube off. Just keep the Zoom on. Can you hear us? I don't know what I'm doing. We can well, hear, we can you. hear you. We hear you now. Do you hear us? I can hear. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Sounds good. I, I heard it like, I heard like 10 different voices and they were all mine. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, hate something? my voice. This is why I don't do this. Because of my voice. No, why? What's wrong with your voice? I sound good. Everybody thinks their voice sounds funny when they hear their own voice. I've never done this before. Well, tonight's the first. Okay, the phone number is off of there now. 
somebody's phone number. Oh, here's another thing. here's another person. Yeah. So to show us, what do you do? You 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 have a uh, you're in you're in you're in scooter. See you guys. I can hear this. I can hear that. What we don't Caroline. worry about it. We can't hear it. Um, let me ask you something. Caroline. You have a you have a boat oar over your door there. You live on a lake. You live on a lake, right? Caroline. Yeah. Who's that? It's Davida. Oh, Davida. That's very you made okay. it on. <laughs> huh? You made it on. What? You sound like you well, snuck on here. Not not really. No. Um, I. <laughs> What's the matter, Davida? I wanted to surprise you, but I'm, I'm going through the same crap again. Yeah, I do. I do. I Are you, right. you know what? It's really delayed, and it's echoed, and it... Yes. Can you guys hear me right now? Just shake your head, Mommy. Yes. Yes. You hear me right now? Yes. Yep. Okay, because what it, what's going on is I'm hearing myself talk like... I know I'm why. I'm hearing myself what I said 10 minutes ago. Because you're watching on YouTube. It's because you're watching it on YouTube, and YouTube is so delayed. So how do I stop that? Yeah, uh, shut your YouTube. Just stay on Zoom. And I can't see anything. You can't see anything, Davida? No. It's the same old crap, just another day. Because okay, I, I tried it on my phone again. <laughs> to see if I could do it. And I successfully got on to Slack and Zoom. But for some reason, it doesn't give me any options on the phone. You're really cute. Just, or... Yeah, it was weird. It, oh. I, cause I did it on my iPad last yeah, night. Yeah, you're not finally. at all like I pictured you, Adekor. No, I don't know what I pictured. I know, but... I don't know what I pictured, but I didn't picture you. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Well, yes. <laughs> well, I got to go and see that, that was it. Wait, no, I can't. She's going to hear us on a delay, so she's going to respond to that in about two minutes. All right. Well, Hello. Like, Hello. What, what are you doing, Davida? So I'm going to go listen and look at Adicor. You're going to you're going to leave already? Well, yeah, because I can't see anything. It's like I'm just talking to you on the phone. Oh, I know. All right. Well, you maybe you could saying? try okay. again later. I don't know. Okay. All right. Bye -bye. Thanks for calling in, trying. Hi, Heather. For everybody in the chat that's never seen Adekor, does Adekor look like you pictured her to look, or does she look totally different? Wait a minute. Can you can you hear me? Yes. Uh huh. Oh, yes. Good. And it's, there's no echo. No. <laughs> no. No. You guys, just a while ago, it was like I was hearing an echo, but I was hearing an echo and an echo and an echo of like five minutes. <laughs> It just kept on and kept on and kept on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Lauren, what do I do about this one that their number's showing? Let them in. I, the, the only, everything's in Slack only. Because they were saying it was showing on the screen. Oh, I don't know. Let me see. Oh, the whole number? Yeah. No, I was watching. Teresa, you're in You're in New Zealand? or I'm sorry. Are you in New Zealand? In Australia. In Australia. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so I do, sorry. I do I the same thing. I was trying to get tuned in here, and I knew you were somewhere out there. Australia and New Zealand, they're the same thing, beautiful. right, Teresa? Same, same. Yeah. No, they're not. <laughs> no. I always say that. I'm in Knox, Indiana. Oh, my God. I was, when you came up, it was like, shit, what am I going to show them? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah. It's beautiful there. That other lady's whole number is on the screen. And I'm sorry okay. Thanks for calling attention to it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's, oh, wait, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Hey, Scooter. Yes? It's me. It's, it's dreaming. And I have a new camera. I mean, a new phone, and I don't know how to get that off. Oh, you can't change the name on it to, like, dreaming? Okay, it doesn't show your whole number. It doesn't show it your whole number, but it. just... Um, I, I want to change it, but I don't know how. Oh. Um, it, it says, it, because it says, um, join what meeting, and then I have to go to another page. And yeah, but uh, Sunflower Brown, it's not showing her entire number. I can see it on right. YouTube. Yeah, it's not yeah showing it doesn't the show thing. her whole number. There's a whole oh. bunch of numbers that are missing. It only, yeah, it doesn't show the whole thing. It's not my right number, but I'd like to oh, get them Oh, it's not even her right number, so don't worry about it. Go call somebody okay. else and say, dreaming? 
<laughs> hey, it's Dreaming's birthday, by the way. Is it? Oh, oh. happy birthday! Happy birthday, oh, Dreaming! Happy birthday! Oh, thank you. Happy birthday! You're tw- you're twenty nine uh, again. Hmm? Yeah, I'm forty five. Oh, 45. We should sing happy birthday. Right. <laughs> Daniel says that it's only showing your social security number. Don't worry. <laughs> she says it's not even her phone number. <laughs> it's your driver's license. Where'd she go? Hey, I'm she... here. Oh, there. I want to tell you my dolly. Oh, the dolly. dolly. Oh, she got oh. your dolly. Look. Oh. oh, you can't see her good. The we can see her. We can see her. Uh-huh. I'll spotlight you. Just hold her my still. Dolly. She's oh. the first Madame Alexander, and she's real Where'd soft. And oh. my daughter gave it to me for my birthday. Today? Wait a minute. Yeah, because she, she, she thought it would comfort me. Oh. You know, hold her. Yeah, wait. Hey, hang on. Scooter's going to spotlight you. Wait a second. Yeah, hold on a sec. Well, that's a lot cuter than Scooter's. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make Scooter feel bad. You always tend to get the scary ones. You know? <laughs> we love you, Adicor. <laughs> Can you see her? He's saying, oh, oh, she is I cute. love her. Yeah, was that called like a soft? What is she called? Is it, what's her name? She's a little Madame Alexander. Right, but isn't her? Did, did, she so has cloth cute. arms. She's uh, all of her. Well, room. that's not even her number either. So, and three she machines. Has yeah. And there's a bunch of other ones on there oh, too. Very cute. Can, I don't know if I've ever seen that one. I thought that cool. one had like cloth hands. I thought it was called like a soft well, No, now she has real hands. Oh, real hands. You see them? Yeah. Wow. What do you mean they're real? They're like live. They're gonna hold your finger. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't, I don't. You want to send Scooter a doll? Julie Grayson wants to send you a doll, Scooter. <laughs> no. That's, that's that's that. That's what I want to show you. Very cute. She's so, lovable. What, what else lovable. did you get for you? Let us sing happy birthday to oh, you. We gotta, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my <laughs> happy birthday. All together now. Yeah, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I didn't hear a lot of singing on that. Happy birthday to you. Thank yay! y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Yay. 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 Oh my God. Thank you. I love all of you. Thank you. Oh, Sunflower Brown, it's not her phone number. It's not her phone number, Sunflower Brown. Don't worry about it. I don't know. It's something with Slack because my picture's not on there either. No. Where, where's face. Heather? I don't know where Heather is. Oh, your yeah, picture. Yeah, yours is Heather's iPad. Yeah, her and- I'm... I'm a white dot in the body. Hi, Leah. Hi, Leah. Hello. Hello. You're in Australia, Leah? Hi. Leah's from Australia. New Zealand. Oh, I know. I'm joking. (laughs) (laughs) Carolyn. It's the same thing, Leah. Australian or or New Zealand? What's the difference? No, it's not. (laughs) (laughs) It's different islands. Oh, okay, but you're Goodness. pretty much the same, though. Otherwise, <laughs> no. <laughs> I you know guys, what you're doing. You guys sound the same, and it's pretty much the same. One's bigger than the other. Yeah. Well. Yes. Australia is. It's kind of Australia like is way um, bigger than what we are. It's kind of like New Jersey and uh, Northern New Jersey and New York St- and and like New York, Rockland County area. It's the same kind of thing. She's I'm trying to stir it up. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to be a stirrer. Well, I, I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys something I brought today. What'd you buy? It's not like you. Yeah. That's Leah Jane, right? Leah Jane. Yeah, she bought something today. Aww. Yeah. What is that? Oh. I can't see it. It's like. Scooter's got oh. a sc- you got it, Scooter? Or you need me to do yeah. it? Yeah, I got her. You sure? Calm down, Mama. I got her. <laughs> <laughs> it's just little, they're um, little, you know, like shelf-sitting people. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, how cute. I thought they were cute. Yeah, they are. Very there we cute. Go. Oh, there we go. Now I've we see them. This... Oh, very cute. Where'd I've you... just put this shelf up. 
Okay, be like, be like Scooter. Wait, stuff. don't be like Scooter. Like, just t t hold it yeah, steady for a few minutes yeah. so we can get it in. Uh, take All it right. in. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Very nice. Let me see the other stuff on the shelf, that scale and stuff. That's a real scale. <laughs> Yeah, that's a real scale. You're like Davida. She I had a lot of red. And, oh, I like the tins. Let me see the tins. Can I see those tins? I love that. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get up there. Yeah, be like, don't be, oh, icing sugar. That's a neat tin. We don't have anything uh, like that. Wow. That's those don't over. come in the balls. Cassie is. <laughs> oh, look, brown sugar tin. Those are cute. What else do you have there? An owl. Oh, caster sugar. Wow, all the sugar tins. What's the? What are the other tins on the end? And I got... You didn't let us see the other tins on I the got end. this one for Christmas. I'm getting there. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I thought pie, you were missing so it. A... Dairy choice pies. Very <laughs> cute. Very nice. 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 Oh, so cute. I want the shell. Had... And this one had, cho that one had chocolate in it. And this is my sign. Good mums. Yeah. I have sticky floors, messy kitchen, piles of laundry, dirty okay. ovens, and happy kids. Okay. I'm a good mom. Yeah. We're all good moms. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to show oh, us anything cold. else? <laughs> yeah, are we all. What kind, yeah, of, so mix, what my, kind of mixer? I'm doing is, my kitchen up. And what I'll kind of mixer do they have so. there in New Zealand? What kind of mixer is that? This one. Yeah. What is, is that? A KitchenAid? It looks different. Um, the thingy looks what is different. That? It looks like a kitchen aid That's somewhere. A but... do you? Oh, a Breville. Breville. That's dirty. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. Cool. And that's about all, all I have to show you. Nothing else to, to show To show us? you my new range hood that I brought. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very exciting, but I just put that up. You just put it up yourself? Yeah, well, yeah, me and my partner put it up. Oh. I love your shelves. Uh -huh. It's... It's got what a touch of the glass. Nice. What is that? It's I like her new about range it. hood. It's her new range My hood. My new range people. hood. Oh, okay. But Sleep. when we put it up, see how it's not touching the ceiling? Right. And I was going to get an extension for it, but that's as high as they make them. You can't get extensions, which is really weird. What if you put it up so higher? I'm going to have to um, raise it up. Yeah, that's what I'm going to. We, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have to take it out again and then raise it up. Raise it up. So but it, I doesn't liked really it, it doesn't really work. I liked it that it was. <laughs> it doesn't really work. No, it works. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it works. But it's, it's just that, you know, it doesn't look very nice. So it has to be raised up. Right. If you see, if I'll get up to oh, a bit higher, maybe you can see it. Right. Because you couldn't yeah. put trim or anything on that right on the top, right? Nah, no. well, you could, but it wouldn't look very nice. No. If you're professional, maybe, but right, you know, professional, so it's not gonna. Can we see the stove? Your what? Oh, I see it now. Never mind. Oh, yeah, it's really dirty. It's really dirty, though. Leah, That's Jane, it. be careful. A uh, scooter and Moo are known to be, you know, lurking it for things if they want to come and get one. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> Just saying. it's fine. Davida's here because our kitchen, our kitchen used to end here where that um, bit of wood is, but we we extended it out so it goes like about a meter wider than it used to. Nice. We so we're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there slowly. Yes. And these are my lights. These are my lights. I just bought. Oh, I didn't buy them. I've had them for about six months now. I like that. What kind of appliances? What kind of appliances do, do you have in New Zealand? Like, what's the brand of your oven? What kind? You have like Bosch. What do you have over there? Uh, my Pan one's a Palmco. See, we've never heard of that. Look at that, people. I've never heard of a. Palm I have that Palmco. Really? Uh huh. I've never heard of it. <laughs> She's so full of it. <laughs> no, I'm so serious. I've it's never so heard of Bellini. You've heard of a Palmco? Yes, and I have the Bellini stove. Oh my gosh! <laughs> if y'all one yeah. day you're gonna be serious, and we're never gonna believe you. We're gonna be like, "That's Whatever. big here in Indiana." Yeah, <laughs> it is right out of court. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's that's a Westinghouse. That's a that we've heard of. Yeah, Westinghouse. A Westinghouse. 
Scooter's probably never heard of Westinghouse, right, Scooter? I've never heard of that. Never. I thought she was <laughs> My dad worked with Westinghouse. Oh, yeah? Um, we do. We do some of the um, same brands as you do, but not all of them. But I think a couple of brands we have the same. Me too. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. That was fun. Who's next? I missed you last night. I like your house. Nothing too exciting. Oh, there's Have Davida. You You're on the chair, Davida. At least you got your picture in here. I know. How'd she get a picture? She's always looking like so, like um, judgmental in that picture, isn't she? Like, what are you all doing? Uh oh. It's an embarrassment. Somebody in bed. I feel like I feel like you're judging us in that picture, Davida. Oh, that one. It's so pretty, though. What? Her picture. Oh, so you're just trying to earn points with her. She's like really her doesn't, she, doesn't she make you uneasy pretty. like she's going to yell at you or something? <laughs> like, what are you doing? I feel like she's going to yell at me. <laughs> she looks angry at me. <laughs> Tavita, stop it. <laughs> See, she's not even talking. <laughs> she's she has to fix her audio? Yeah, she's connecting. There she goes. <laughs> she looks like a gray lady. Can you hear me? Oh. Who's that? Let's go for a ride. Yes. Yeah. I'm not judging you. You're not? No. You sure? <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm uh -huh. only staying for a little bit. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> You didn't show, Scooter didn't see your cakes or anything last night, and she didn't see, you know, they wanted me to say it was an enema bucket when you said, what kind of bucket is that <laughs> for the snowman hat? I'm sure I'm, I'd use my enema bucket. Oh my somebody God. wanted to say I that. Don't know so sorry. <laughs> I wish I would have thought of that. I did not mean to laugh. Scooter. Oh. Hey, Scooter. Yes. Who's at the top left? Back Me. there. I'm not good with the left or right. I'm. I have people on yeah, the other side. Well, I'm on the. Well, I don't know. Adam, yeah. Does she, wear, is, 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 does oh, she okay. have a boat oh, or above smiling. her head? A boat or above her head? Dreaming. <laughs> Which one? It's somebody smiling with short hair. A boat or a boat or uh, or uh, or trees. That's at a core. No, I think she's talking about um, mom, Nan, Mama T. Yeah, Mama yeah. T. Now, who's okay. behind, who's under her lying down on a bed? Um, that's <laughs> Earthbound Spirit. Oh, hi, Earthbound Spirit. Hello, and I'm always laying in bed. So when I think I'm I know. A, oh, yeah. When I'm not at work, I'm in bed. Well, what kind okay. of TV are y'all looking at? Because I'm at the top left. Yeah, she's she's looking at it, it in a different under way. Me. I, I'll I'm show you on top YouTube, left. On YouTube, it's You're Adacor. next to me, Heather. Yeah, on oh, YouTube, what? it's Adacor. Can you see my hand pointing? Dollar, dollar. Can you see drinking? my hand pointing um, this way? This is, no, this way. Oh my God. Hold on a minute. No, I can't okay. point at, no matter which. Okay, there it is. That's out of no, over there. No, that's not over there. Over there. Is, there. Over there. I can't, I can't, I'm challenged. You're pointing at me. Um, I can't point. Look at this. This is bad. Why? Over there is, no, there. Oh there what? Over here is oh. Nana, uh, Mama T. Then down, yeah. down here, down here, Scooter, down there, <laughs> and and over here is uh, Earthbound Spirit, and oh. Leah Jane is right beneath me. Beneath Leah Jane oh. is Heather. Over over there in the corner is mm -hmm. Davida, and then yeah. over there is Dreaming that has oh, the eye. Wait a minute, Tracy says I'm mid. By what? How can I be? I'm at the top. And that pretty oh, lady in the pretty. Sure. Australia is that Australia or New Zealand? Um. Well, one's in Australia and one's in New Zealand, but it's the same thing. So. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love being outside. Seeing yeah. outside. Either one. They're you're you're both in the outback, both right? Don't they call you both the outback? <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the tropics up the north. Oh, you're in the tropics. Okay. Yeah. That's what At I the like outback the restaurant, they say Australia, New Zealand, big deal. Everybody's in the outback. That's what they tell us here in America. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> Teresa, what is above your head? What is, what is that above your head? My head? Oh, her head. Yeah. There, that's a pergola with um, all the baskets. Like, and most oh. of them are dead. I'm not a very good gardener. It looks like live oaks. 
the trees back there. Oh, uh, there's a frangipani tree behind me. Frangipani? Isn't that a lady's name? I knew a frangipani. Is there really a tree named frangipani? Yeah, they're beautiful. See, can you see it? They've got a beautiful um, scent. I knew a girl named frangipani. <laughs> I am not kidding you. What? That was her full first name? <laughs> yep, Fran, oh and her last name was Japani. I'm not oh. kidding oh. around. I did not touch you. Bless her heart. <laughs> like that right for Dick Trickle. Come on. I bet, you, I bet you if you put it in, in Google, you just put Fran and then Japani, you'll find a bunch of people come up. Because their oh, parents probably thought it was time. funny to name their kids Fran Japani if there's really a tree. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did hear like one of the people on the panel tonight. What? <laughs> what, what? What did you I think? There was someone that called their child chlamydia with a K. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, really? That's wow. a beautiful name. They <laughs> would, what it was. Oh my gosh. Uh, no one I know, but I heard of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Wasn't that one of the big jokes? That we yeah, made it was. But is she saying somebody really did name their child that? Yeah. With a K. Someone out. Yeah. It seems I like they'll get a refill. Be right back. You uh -oh. need a refill? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Careful. Is Scooter getting a refill? Oh. Yeah. What yeah, happened to Lisa D? Cool. Why didn't Lisa D call in? Yeah. Oh. That, was re that was mean. She got here early and everything. Yeah. I know, I couldn't believe. I woke up in the middle of the night. First of all, y'all were talking about me again when I wake up. <laughs> then I fall asleep again, and then I wake up and Lisa Day's on, and y'all are having like a party. And I'm like, dang it. Well, you're with your boyfriend. Oh, no, yeah, what's going on? Asleep? Everybody's speculating <laughs> about that relationship. What's going no. on? Oh, yes. And by the way, I got a bone to pick with y'all about my wedding, but we'll talk okay. about that later. Okay. Okay. Well, Just are we going to be bridesmaids? I guess, but no, okay. no, because there's no wedding. So. <laughs> well, <laughs> we can be drinking. We can dress up and be on camera and act like we're doing it. We can pretend. Yeah. Everybody was planning a bridal shower and everything, but, but you know that a single people we refer to it as a funeral, not really a wedding. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. Who was I the one? It. Somebody last night like said it. that she was making out with her boyfriend. Who was that that was on that said that? I don't know. Y'all were telling all kinds of lies. All kinds of lies. Like, mm. like, up in the middle of the night. I'm like, they're talking about my name again. You know the little guy. What's his name? That keeps coming into the chat looking for me or Elma or you. Oh, he a niche. Me. A niche. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, he every he showed up on ready. camera the other night with no shirt on. Oh, that. <laughs> See, it's like that. Every time I get ready to get in the chat, He's there and he's lurking and I'm scared to say anything because then he like wears it out. Who was it? That uh, <laughs> a Nash guy. I mean, whatever. Oh, his name is. I wish I could bring that. I was gonna put on there like fifty dollars to delete him. No offense, but. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. So Helen <laughs> Vera said there is a last name called Japani. And it's spelled G I A P A N I. <laughs> and I guess her parents were jokers and they named her Fran. <gasps> yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Fran Japani. She was. I it, think she became a realtor with that name. Like, oh, I'm, Fran Japani is going to take me out to see a house. Catchy. Still Sorry, better than idea. I've been wanting a dollar drone from the very beginning. We you know. Let's see. Anyway, um, I might head off now. It's um. All right. I don't know how you stay up so late at night. Right, I'm well, very lucky that you come on in the afternoon here. Okay. So well, Scooter's got. Where's Scooter? You got to wait. Uh, Scooter's Scooter is strange. Scooter. I'm gonna write it down. Taking down names, Scooter. Right. I will. Don't worry. Don't worry about putting me <laughs> too far away. <laughs> to New Zealand? No, oh, to Australia, right? Australia. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lovely <laughs> to chat to you all, and um. Hope you all stay um, well and and safe. With them. You too. You too. Thank you for calling in. Funny. New feet. Showing us around the, the place. Thank you. I'm coming. Thank you. I'm here. The outside. Oh, is so beautiful cool. meeting you. <laughs> Hi, Newfie. You Bye -bye. miss a niche? Scooter, you're singing at my wedding. They've already got you booked. Okay, good. <laughs> yes. Kevin, that song. Me.
Even is on it. Scooter, please put the camera on because I get nervous that you're drinking when it's off. <laughs> yeah. Right. Please. I think I saw her making a drink. I she know. Did. She was. She was making. I, a drink. I don't like it when she takes the camera off because I don't know what she's up to. She okay. drinks every night on the panel. I, I heard. know. Every I know. night. It started real bad, Heather. I know it. I'm having don't a little snack. I didn't want to eat on camera. She's supposed you know to be going to She's got the Bitter Ford booked after January. <laughs> I'm so excited about going out there. Some people start drinking and the holidays come around. I know. <clears throat> Dave's going to drive her out there so she doesn't have to fly. I started 4th of July. Okay. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> so you live on a lake, right? You live on a lake? I do. You do. Yeah. It's too dark. I to live. I, lake. My lake is thirty miles north of Scooter's Lake. Oh wow! Do you have um? Do you have like uh, beach glass on that lake? Is it a big lake or a small lake? It's nine miles of shoreline. It's not I've that big. I've been there. I've been you, there. You've before. been to her lake. Oh I, yeah. You have yeah. been to her lake. Yes, ma'am. It's, it's Bass Lake. Yes, so ma'am. And I've been to Scooter's Lake because we go to we used to, when the kids were little. We used to go to Indiana Beach all the time. So we were there like two, three times in the summer. Every and you year. guys never met each other? No. Uh, no, we probably have, but <laughs> what? Sometimes I wonder when I'm in Valpo. It's like I wonder if she's around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, I'm also, I live in Holbert. I'm actually in Holbert. Oh, are right you now. in Holbert? Okay. You yeah, know what would yeah. have been really funny if. Atacor came on scooter and you were like oh my gosh you were that lady in indiana beach that it was on that line and you you spilled your drink on me and we had that big fight and then you just started going crazy with each other like i can't believe that's who you are this whole time and i've been treating you nice and and you smacked me can you imagine that would be really horrible right if she, it, would uh, be. It, would be. It, it makes me nervous coming up like this that's why i have neglect <laughs> I've been a little nervous about this. Oh, oh, <laughs> I've never done this. This is. It was easier. Well, no, it really wasn't that easy. <laughs> hey, do they great. have your uh, drive-in open there this summer? I forgot. They did. Husband. Did they? They did. Mm -hmm. They're playing old yeah. movies, right? That's what she said. Like playing the older movies. I don't know. You know, usually, you know, since the kids have gotten, because I have a 32-year, well, he'll be 32, don't and then I have a 22-year-old. And well, when they were little, we used to... I'm it's... sorry? Her her kids are in their 30s, but her husband go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, me and my husband, we don't do much. <laughs> <laughs> we stay around the lake. Now, we used to go all the time. It was fun because I'm, I'm not one to go into the theater because I'm too antsy. So I love the drive-in. talking about the outdoor theater, the movie. Yeah, theater. the drive-in. Yeah, the drive-in. Oh, I love the drive-in. And we yeah, used to go a lot, time, but I haven't been a long time. Yeah. So, yeah. And my husband doesn't like to go, so anyway. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Cupcakes. But though, there's not very there. many drive-ins left. I think there's one in Plymouth. There's one. And there's one in Monticello, too. There is in Monticello? Oh, cool. Yep. One in Valpo. Valpo Angels. I didn't know they had one in Valpo. Yeah, the 49er. It's been there, live there Linda for Gale, years. The beach class? Is it off of 49? Yeah, the old 49, yeah. Yep. I don't know what the old 49 is. Well, that's where it is. <laughs> I know the 49, you know, the one that goes right and it hits to where all the shopping centers it's and good. everything are. Yep. yep, yep. So it runs yep. kind of parallel with that? Yeah, yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Hey, have you been to Santa Closet? Santa Claus, Indiana? Santa Closet. It's in Knox. And a lot no. of people come from, oh, you'll love I'm it. I've never heard of it. Santa Closet huh? or Santa Closet? It's called Santa Closet. And I went yesterday. And what if you go it? on Facebook, it's a, a, these ladies, they raise money for the uh, scholarships for the uh, education around here oh. and every year it's uh one of the older i shouldn't say older but it was one of the ladies her mother's house and they turn it in and the only thing they use it for is every room is decorated and has a certain thing but it's all about christmas and it's so cool and they have all these sheds outside for all the outdoor ornaments and then inside 
it's it, people donate all their stuff, but they have really cool stuff. So I didn't know if you had been there or not, because a lot of people Heard come. Of yeah, if you go, no, if you go on Facebook, Santa Closet in Knox, you'll see it. It's kind of cool. Do they it's have elves? Fun. Maybe they have elves, Scooter. <laughs> oh, they have a, t yeah, they have everything. They I do? mean, every, it, they have a ton of stuff. Oh, wow. So you're on the white okay, can, can I show you my elf? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have, I'm going to get up. You want to see my tree? Yeah, you already yeah. put the tree up? You put the tree up already? Yeah, I've, I've already yeah. put my tree up. I've put my yeah. outdoor lights. You're an, over, you're an overachiever? Well, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, but uh, my son's coming home tomorrow. from, and My other son's in Japan, and he doesn't get to come home. But my youngest son is down at Purdue, and he's coming home tomorrow. And we usually go down to South Carolina to see my parents for mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. That's when the whole family gets together for right reunion we all we're all over the place and right. this year you're not like doing the first it this year time ever yeah first time so it's going to be so i was trying to make it fun for him because he you know he's kind right. of bummed he's not getting to go down there so yeah oh, i have to go i have to go to this yeah. oh wait, did you see it do what you see it, it? it's what, so what much it? fun what is I it i see the house i'll have to so much fun it looks so don't dox yourself and stuff. Don't no, say no doxing. Don't dox. Don't have your messages up, your instant messages. Why not? Because we got crazy, crazy man crazy now. Crazy people. Yep. What, what are you talking for? Oh, oh, so yeah. it's like a house and the ladies are in there with stuff? Yeah. yeah. And they, yeah. You can read about it in there because I'm not, I know that they raise a lot of money for different charities and like why, I bought, I buy my Tracy, pecans there every year. You're and just, so happy. Tracy, uh, why are you about to tear up? What are, are you sister? tearing up because well, you're so happy? I can show you. I got this. I mean, I get a lot of stuff every year, mm -hmm. but. Yeah. But oh, they have a ton of different stuff. you like it. It is fun. And if you come I down here. I like it. I'm going. Yeah. Why, why are you crying, Tracy? No. I think I maybe she, I don't know if she's happy or are you happy or sad? It's probably because I'm on here and she finally gets to not see me. She's excited and crying, maybe. <laughs> that didn't make any sense, but. You want to come up, Tracy? Don't cry. Yeah. Oh, she <laughs> is promoting. <laughs> Who okay. is? What's promoting? promoting? Christmas. Oh, I think she's joking. She loves it. Oh, see? I, okay. She loves it. She's happy. Happy tears. Oh, okay. Oh. Happy tears. Okay, yeah. oh. Happy tears. Right, I knew it. I knew it. Happy <laughs> Christmas. Right. So let's see your tree. Yeah. Oh. And yeah. the elf. Okay. Where's the elf? You're getting the elf? Well, I want to. Okay. So um, I'll show you. Okay, wait. What is that? What is that? Masks? Yeah, oh. but there's an elf there too. This is at that right. closet place. Oh. Okay, you like scooters. Right, Can you see him? Well, well. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Kind of, you. yeah. No, I did highlight her. Oh, pretty. Oh, okay. I did highlight her. Okay. Oh, like so, my mom. All right, this is how old I am. Um, my brother, when he was born in 1960, and I remember having these. And when the elf on the shelf came back in, when was it? About how many years ago? Right. Um, it was. You know I, I, how it all came back. Well, and I remembered that Mama used to have them, and Me she too. had a ton of these everywhere. Me too. Oh, we had didn't... three of them. We didn't have a ton. We had three of them. Well, we didn't have a ton. What, Mama had probably about, yeah. I don't, you know what? I don't remember. I just remember more than like five or six. But he's he's like one of the originals. I, I have those too. Oh, yeah, it'd be cute yeah. to be. Yeah. So I'm Mama... A... When she was pregnant with my older brother in 1960, she got these. <laughs> so, and I feel bad because I begged my mama for it, and Ricky should get it, my brother, but but I got it. Yeah, they were my favorite. I got the three of them. Oh, I, I know. Them, you know, they left me there, and I, and I took them because they got rid of every, like, everything else. They got little legs. I love them. Legs. And Luke loves the one from even after, you know. He kind of, he has a mischievous yeah. face. Look at it. Can you see him really close? Is yeah, this like pick, what you... Pick him up. You're like Scooter. You're a little bit like Scooter. You're a little bit like Scooter. Isn't he cute? Oh, he Look is. at those ears. I love him. <laughs> oh, I do too. He's very uh, cute. I'm going to put him back. I'm going to put him back. All right. Kevin. Well, y'all, I'm not going to hold y'all, but if this was fun. Okay, let me see? show you what I got. Okay. All right. I got my sister one just like it. Okay. 
Carolyn, I don't know if you remember, mm -hmm. uh, my sister lost her son <laughs> right. in March. Yep. And she's really, she's single. Mm -hmm. And she, she has a daughter and she has like three grandkids down in Florida. But, she, but she's single and she's by herself during the holidays and she doesn't want to be with anybody. And it's driving me nuts because we were trying to get her to come up here. When did she, she lose her son just this past March? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so she's, but so when you guys were doing it and I'd watch y'all and it was like, cause we like to do puzzles. Like I spent a month with her down in March, mm -hmm. uh, in March and she lived in North Carolina. She lives in Florida and she, she has a place in Hickory and that's where Josh grew up and uh, that's where the funeral and everything was. And I stayed with her for a month and we like to do puzzles. Like growing up, it was one of our things cause you just sit there like what you guys do. That's what I told her. And even when I was down there, and she got on there and she was watching you guys and she goes, so you watch them? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> we talk. <laughs> she didn't, she, she didn't understand, you know, and I right. was like, it's really kind of cool because, you know, especially now, this right. was before COVID got crazy because I don't go out as much, you know, and it's kind of neat, you know, when you're at night and you know, I don't sleep very well at all. So I would tune in. I was telling her and I said, you got to, you got to meet her. <laughs> you got to meet these people. Right. But anyway, so uh, I sent her one through Amazon and it's, here's the one I'm doing right now. It's just a little snowman. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, it's my first one. So I Love think it. it's a beginner one. So I sent her one just like it so we could work on it together. And she called Can me last night. Up? I missed it. Can you hold that back oh, up? Oh. Yeah, you got to go slow. Yeah, you you're, go. you're a lot less. Like it, it's shiny, huh? Yeah, just mm -hmm. just hold it steady. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Always He's happy. Like that. Isn't he happy? Very cute. Yes. So anyway, last night we were doing it together, and I said, "See, this is what they do. <laughs> they just sit there and do it and talk." Was. I do. I don't get on very much uh, as much as I used to, and I know people got upset with me earlier today. Oh, it's all right. I guess. That's well, you know, I guess I get mad because I do. I do listen to a few other, but I can't stand the the craziness with the the drama. I, I right. know that I go to make because I like makeup monster. <laughs> And I've said in her name, so maybe I shouldn't say that. I'm not sure. But there's a few because it's kind of fun because she likes Christmas decorating or Halloween and she does things. Right. And she's, you know, but I don't know. I don't know all the different characters involved in yeah, all Yeah, believe the me, different... we don't want it here. That's why I'm trying to squash it because I don't want it here. Right. Yeah. When you first came on and you were like, how do we do this? Well, what's a wrench? Do you right, remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> and then you were like, how do we get these people on here? Because I used to watch you religious every night. I, I know, I, I know. I would sit there and crochet and crochet. Mm -hmm. And so I watched, and then this one person came on there and it was like, oh no. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh, no. well, that, that well, one person is connecting with these people. That's why we, we want to squash it. Talk about all that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we just yeah. want to get rid of it. No, I'm not going to say anything and no names or anything. Cause no. I know, but, but it, I could see, and then it just, it concerned me. And then now, because it is neat, you know, and I do go and I listen to uh, some people. Every, now I don't go, I really don't go that much. I don't, there's a few that I listen to, right. but it's because, you know, like when I'm working around the house, it makes me feel like, if there's I do like to listen when they're, you know, get mad. I think it's Scooter funny. Scooter listen. listens. Scooter listens well, to yeah, the drama. Sometimes it is kind of entertaining, yeah. but I just can't get into. It. And and your channel is so different. Yeah. You know. No, believe it, me, I would never where, make it. I want to just people like it. what I said when I couldn't sleep at night and and we would all get on here and it was like we were all alike because I remember one night we were saying. Oh, I'm a Gemini. I'm 40 something years old. I you remember when we had everything in common? Yes, and we were yes. like, oh my gosh, we're all alike. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, we're all part of some experiment. So I didn't, I didn't mean anything like that. No, I, was just I like, know. Please. Don't worry about it. I, there's no, I, there's no hard feelings. Believe me, there's none. I just didn't want it to go that way because I feel like they're trying to get you. Yeah, there no, it'll never happen. A lot of no, it'll never happen. No. Yeah. <laughs> And that's what I, I no. She just has to just leave you alone because yeah. you're just something. Because I do see them, 
right. but you're something different. So they're trying to pull you in there. Yeah, they're not going it, to because I. That's why I just want to get like to, I feel free now because if they start this crap again, then I am just getting the lawyer and that's it because I'm done. You know, I gave him the chance and he wants to shoot his mouth off. So that's it, done. Yeah. So I just wish you didn't have to worry. About I know, it. but it's just uh, yeah. It. I think that at this point. Um, I had to stand up and just say, that's it with him. So, you know, but yeah. believe me, scooter, uh, scooter's enough drama around here. <laughs> I know. Damn it. How do you do it? I don't know. I, every day it's something else. I know. It. <laughs> you never know. We're you, not all like that out here. You never okay. know. I don't, <laughs> you're sure? Because Caroline Connor brings a good deal of drama too. <laughs> Behind the scenes though, all the time. They made me get my yeah. hair cut in a park. On a park bench? Can you believe that? They cut my hair on a park bench. I'm surprised. What now? I'm surprised what? Scooter didn't take pictures for blackmail. So at a park, I... me, yeah. you, Caroline Connor, Slam RN. There's at least four. You know, Tina Gillespie is out four there. Four or five I of think. us that are all yeah, just Australia. right here. Yeah. Yeah. We oh, should. whatever. We quit bragging. Y'all can come on down here. Mm hmm. Y'all can come yeah. on down here. Up here. You, Heather, you feel like yeah. you're from, uh, I, I guess, hey. you're from down, well, with your accent. I know you're down <laughs> from where I'm from. <laughs> I'm from the Carolinas, so I know you must be down there somewhere. Oh, is that I mean, where you're from? Thing. But I love it when you're on here. I love it because. Yeah, you, you, I love your. No, oh, you sound like you're from Tennessee, also though. But that's fine. Yeah. I just very close by. I'm, well, I grew up in North Carolina. Who who has the Hoosier cabinets? Is that Indiana? The Hoosier cabinets. Hoosier, I would think. Is that Indiana? Hit Hoosier, so. it must be. Are you wanting yeah. to be a, ho a Hooter waitress? Is no, those cabinets. <laughs> no, with the you know the baking know, cabinets asking. with the flower. Do they come from Hoosier? Hoosier, Indiana. Those you want a Hooter t-shirt? No, you oh, no, those cabinets. <laughs> the Hoosier cabinets. You know which oh, ones, right? Hooters. It's, it's, is it like, you know, is it like um, on TV when you have that speak week when they try and get views? All of a sudden, Carolyn's going to be on there with a low V-neck Hooter t-shirt. No, no, the Hoosier cabinets. <laughs> uh, no, I'm playing. I'm playing with you. Do they oh, come from Indiana? <laughs> Hoosier, yeah, that's what, we're the Hoosiers. <laughs> Yeah, but is that the cabinets with the flower in the door and stuff? Is, does that come from Indiana? I've never heard of that. Have you, Scooter? No, I haven't. Are you uh -uh. guys kidding me? Davita, oh, I have. Davita, Ooh, you've heard of it, right? What? Scooter? No, oh, promise. Uh-uh. So cool. So they must not that? come from Hoosier, Indiana. Carla? Where, where did no, they what? originate from, I, Davita? Hang on a minute. Carla? What? Yeah. Where did they originate ooh, from? Ooh, ooh. Oh, I don't know. Liz ooh. Arnett is saying, yes, they're from Indiana, and the two people it in Indiana don't know everything. about them. Liz, well, they're ashamed. They're, they're a, what do they call that? They're an insult to Indiana. Oh, I don't know, but um, they need to have. I know. Oh, I, I love I them. them. Yeah, but Liz. They're Liz, very expensive. I could have gotten one from this person that was moving, and I, I was like, uh. Baisy B said she has a oh. Hoosier cabinet. Yeah. Do you know where it originates from, Tracy B? Indiana. Newcastle, Indiana. Do you guys know where that is? Newcastle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's where the Hoosier cabinet's from. Mm -hmm. We gave you guys an Indiana lesson, and that's crazy. I know. Scooters Thank you. from Indiana. Yeah. Now you know. Oh, Dennis is in South Carolina. All right. South Carolina. What? What is? The company is called Stellar's in Newcastle, yes. Indiana. Is it still open? Do they still make them? They moved to Newcastle, Indiana after a fire, Newfie said. Oh, after a fire. See, everybody knows you guys company should be ashamed called of yourselves. Stellar's in Newcastle, Indiana. Scooter? Is Newcastle, is that down south, Scooter? I, yeah, isn't that by Indianapolis or something? Scooter's off yeah. camera again. I'm getting worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Julie. Are you eating the rest of my dinner? Yeah, okay. Get on the camera. Are you drinking your dinner? I was drinking oh. it. Okay. Pass the bottle. Hi, Lottie. Fireball. Heather, Lots did you know that there's Lottie. someone that lives 15 minutes from me? Her name is uh, Elizabeth. 
Oh, that's uh, yeah, tapered that, fairy. That the, tapered saw, fairy. Well, that was that was another night I woke up and y'all were. Yeah. I don't know if she'll be back again dreaming because last night she was like, okay, ladies, it's been fun. I'll see you around. Yeah. <laughs> she well, three months I don't know if she'll be back again. I thought she was having fun. She was, she uh, was. but I think dreaming, she might have thought like, what am I doing on this panel with these strange ladies? No. With these what? With these strange ladies. I hope not. I Well, maybe she, she, she might be back. She might not. I don't know. She likes dolls. Does she? Yes, yeah, she said she had a whole bunch of dolls. Oh, okay. Maybe she'll be back then. She will be. Are Kevin, you sure you're not talking about Tenth Angel that showed the Reborns? No, it was her because I, I asked her. She said she had a lot of dolls. Oh, wow. Okay. She, Maybe she, she won't. Was, she probably won't be able to stay away then. I, 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 I believe she said she, what she cleans them with, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, okay. Kevin said 1890 to 1930. Who's your cabinet? 18. Oh, so they don't, they're not making them anymore? Because the, nope. No? No. Nope. But you know, because the lady I was going to get one from, hers was pretty new. It wasn't that old. She, oh, I think she had an Amish guy make it for her or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think it was. A lot of Amish. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of Amish. <laughs> we do. Right? We have what? tons of them. <laughs> Do you ever go to Amish Acres? Yeah. In Shipshawana? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what? Dennis says he lives in Charleston, <laughs> South just... Carolina. <laughs> Who does? Dennis Towel. Mm -hmm. Dennis? Yeah. I have family in South Carolina. Charleston. We have an Amish store. Back before I moved in Lubbock, that <laughs> furniture was so expensive. Yeah. But it was really well made. Yeah, mostly of oak. They make a lot of it of oak. Oak and, yeah, plain, but. Yeah, pine. But well made. Oak. Yeah. They do. They do good work. Well, you probably do live next to me, Kevin, and I don't even know it. Kevin's in Indiana, too? He's just saying he lives next to me. He won't say where he lives. Is he? Really? Kevin, are no, you in Indiana? He does not want it out where he lives, what state or anything. He's very secretive. Very secretive. I'm feeling he's in Indiana, but I don't know why. He's probably a movie star. Could be. Movie Just star. going about. Well, you can join me and Caroline and Scooter and <laughs> Kevin. And uh, who was the Get other in touch one? with us. Caroline Connor. Uh, Caroline Connor. Uh, uh, Caroline Morgan. Connor and Slam Moran. <laughs> Slam Moran. Oh, and you, oh, I, I forgot to tell you guys the biggest news. What? Caroline Connor called me the other day, and she said, what? you're not going to believe this. You're oh, not going to believe yeah. who's sitting in my chair. And I said, who? And she said, another rambler. And I said, slam her in. And she said, no, another rambler. And That's right. She told me that. And the girl just, the lady came in and she was just talking to her about YouTube. And she said, well, I watched this channel and mommy rambling. And the lady in the chair said, so do I. And I said, she was stalking you. Oh, Is she crazy. watching right now? I don't, what was her name? Are you again? out there? Was it oh, Ashley? Let me look. I'll was check on Ashley? my messenger. She told me. Let's see. Or was it a Sarah? Yeah, we called, we called you. Well, you know, Carolyn, I told you, you, should, you need to get uh, the car bumper stickers. Well, who was it? Oh, you yeah, know who yeah. it was? So when you're cruising down the road, because there's people all over the country. That's a great that's right. Idea. I think that's you should do that. <laughs> know if we uh, we can hook up with somebody. Honk if you know who I am. Honk, honk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to let you guys go. Well, it was good um, to have you come on, hear your voice, see your face. And yeah. Scooter will put your yeah, name in. Scooter will put your experience. name in. Scooter, you have her name? Her name is Abigail Rose. Oh, Abigail Rose. Yeah, the one that uh, Caroline. Right, but you, you've got Adacor's name in there? Pardon me? You have Adacor's name on the list? On what list? For the oh, gnomes. For the drawing tonight? <laughs> We're going to draw for cool. three gnomes. Cool. The three gnomes yeah, are okay. gnomes. Yay. I'm, just saying, I'm just saying the one that uh, came to Caroline oh. Connor the other day. Abigail, Abigail Rose? Rose? Yeah. Hi, Abigail Rose. Oh, that's cool. 
So the ones I have in here that I wrote down for tonight are um, Teresa Smith, Atticor, Earthbound Spirit, Leah Jane, Davida, Heather, and Dreaming. Right. What is Atticor? I'm not missing anybody else, am I? Well, no. You're right. We'll get to see if anybody else still comes on. And at the end of the night, we'll... Scooter will put him in. Scooter, I get two place. entries, please. I came in on twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, honey, hush, hush. Ona, who is the lady from North Carolina? Ona, uh, who's the lady from North Carolina? That would be. Who's from North Carolina? Anybody on the panel from North Carolina? No, oh. I, I, I grew up in North Carolina. Oh, oh yeah, that's out of course. She grew up in North Carolina. Honey, hush. There's somebody on the panel. That's right, Trace. I get two balls. She grew up in um, North Carolina. Honey, hush. Did you want to ask her something? Honey, hush, hush. Sad soul. Scooter, no. I had to send you a Facebook message. One of a kind art. Hi. Okay, how do I how do I get out of here? Okay, well let's see if she's gonna ask you a question. Do you have a question oh, okay. for Honey Hush? Do you have a question for Adequor? Hey Lisa, yes. <clears throat> and anybody else that wants to get in the drawing, you've got to get on the panel. There's a drawing? Yeah, for the gnomes. I've got three gnomes in the gnomes. Oh you can get it. We're gonna, Carolyn, aren't we gonna give away my decoupage as well oh yeah that'll be the <laughs> consolation yes, that'll be the consolation prize that will be the That's consolation trying to win that prize. since day one i came on the panel like, I'm, I'm, I'm now, it. which one's that for it. um what Adacor? Yeah. yeah she's up in the corner Adacor wants it yeah, oh the, you're at the or. yeah with the or above oh, her head over you there didn't. okay what? thank you she was you're asking which one is Adacor. She is cute, isn't she? Uh huh. I said that first. She looks like she's a, she looks like she's a like a person okay. that has a lot of energy, a lot, lot of energy. That a core, you know, a lot of energy. A lot of energy. Uh, I can much. just feel the it energy. It always comes at night. I can see it. Yeah. yeah. Ashley, did you, Ashley, did you send Caroline an email? What? She's wanting to come on. All right. Okay. All right, guys. All right. Well, thanks for coming have, on. Don't be happy stranger. Thanksgiving, everybody. You too, and just yeah, good to see you guys. Okay, we'll let you know if right. you win. Okay, all, all right. right. Take, Take care. care. Meet all right. you sometime. Thank okay, you. yeah, we need to get together. Yes, we do. We'll go drinking and dancing. Okay, so we have Juju positive. <laughs> Juju. 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 Is Juju positive yeah. in the chat? Uh, she, she just emailed me. I don't know if that's who's calling in. Juju, okay, are you in the chat it. there? Who did you ask? <clears throat> did you say Juju? Juju positive. Okay. Okay. I'm going to talk about the R again. That is fun. I know, right? Let me see. Where's my chat? It seems like a little firecracker mm -hmm. oh Adacor, yeah she does and she said i'm too shy she said oh i know too shy Remember? it's much better until she stops moving oh bless your heart where is uh <clears throat> hold on is she did she have surgery Adacor? florida gray no. oh florida gray lady but, yeah she, her no her doctor? back she tried to pick up what was she picking up by herself Oh, a pool That's filter, a pool filter. Concrete. That should be yeah. a trivia question. How did Florida Gray Lady hurt her back? What is the first thing that Leah, what what was the mishap Leah Jane had the first time she came on? Let's see who remembers that. How did Florida Gray Lady hurt her back? Those are trivia questions. I remember that. That sounds good, Kevin. Uh, Juju positive. I need to see you in the chat, dearie. I have not seen this person. Yeah. Me either. You know why? I'm just a little nervous to give out numbers to people that don't normally call in just because uh, Bibbidi Bobbidi was mm -hmm. hanging around. 
You emailed a while little, ago. Do you still want a little to, PP? And you're not giving PP. any numbers to Bibbity Bobbity, are you? Right. Uh, I mean, really? Can you see I my? Got, head? Listen, I've oh, got man. super glue standing by for little Bibbity Bobbity's little oh. pity, teeny teeny <laughs> weeny. Let bring it on in here. So, <laughs> Juju, this is for your you, right, Juju? Oh, here's Juju. Yep, there's a Juju. And Sorry, where, where is Ashley? Somebody said Ashley. Yeah, oh, she's she gonna did. call in too. I need to call in too. Uh -huh. I'm trying to see if Juju. And she's green. No, she emailed a while ago. She said. Uh huh. Juju did. Sorry. Yeah. I don't know how you guys see green because she's it. Only no, one of a kind. She's not going to go give out the number to somebody bad. No giving out the number to somebody bad, Juju. She won't. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Hi. You got the number, Jim. I sent you an and email. Ashley, I've got Ashley. Hold on, I've got Ashley. Okay. Ashley, I'm sending it. Sometimes I forget and say things. I forget everybody. All, all over the world. I don't care, though. This was people. Earthbound spirit. Have you lost a lot of weight since you were here? No, but now that I'm... Walk in the hospital all day long. I'm starting oh, to lose. Leah, I got your email. I, I don't yes, think anything is bad because I didn't notice a thing and I noticed things. You, know, it's you look like that. I can tell. Yeah, I don't think you look a lot smaller. Leah? Uh, okay. I think you're Yeah, good. okay. I was just, yeah. I was just having a little freak and I looked back and I was like, Shit. Oh, yeah, I'm good like that. I'm, I'm good. Okay. Kevin's in Chicago, Deb, on the move. For real. Kevin's in Chicago? No way. Oh, Christine, the adoption fraud scandal. Yeah, I'm going to get in on that. What, we're going to scam somebody? No, oh. she said that there was an adoption. <laughs> no, she was sending it. For no. <laughs> Wait a minute. I no. got to get my, my black outfit on. She was sending me an, um, some information about an adoption fraud scandal. Oh, cool. Well, what do you know about that? Crafters. What? Since we do trafficking, we need to know about these scams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Mm. Listen, I've been called a lot of things in my life, but... Mm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Well, there's a first for everything, Heather. I know, but I'm just waiting. I can't wait. I can't. I'm so ready for him. You have no idea. <laughs> oh, he'll never come. I have been, I have been working. I, I'm going to be quiet. He's a coward. You know that saying, mm -hmm. that, um, he that protesteth too much, Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what he might be guilty. Yeah. I'd love to call in, but I have no idea what is happening. Okay. No, Lisa, he doesn't yeah. live in Chicago. <laughs> you he have to send Carolyn an email. Who's that? Lisa S. Oh, Lisa S. Okay. Kathy? Um, if you come on panel... You'll be put on, in a drawing tonight to win a gnome. Oh, yeah. We've got three gnomes in your homes. But I have two entries, so just back green, down. Scandinavian. I'm so excited about that. That's gnome. exciting. A red uh -huh. gnome. You, and then we've you got guys don't have to send me a gnome because I'm all the way in New Zealand. It will cost way too much. <laughs> Our so dollar mo no. I'll be out. <laughs> nice I don't, I don't want <laughs> no. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not exactly. laughing, I promise. I'm just saying. <laughs> It looks like it costs a lot more than that. There would be. No, that's. You're $47. Yeah. I saved money by a dollar gnome, but I had to see the New Zealand for like 100 bucks. Right. <laughs> Adding beads and bird butterflies for Christmas. Wow. Oh, that is so cute. So I'm, I'm happy to be. Julie, I don't want you to be doing Julie, that, that that's money, probably Carolyn. Juju. It's ridiculous. Now, I hope she really is. She's a good girl. Oh, she is a good girl. There she is. Okay. Hi. Oh, we got somebody up. That's probably Ashley. I don't know what I'm doing. Who's that? Hi. Juju? What? I'm Juju. Oh. Hi, Juju. Hi, Juju. Hi, Juju. Hi, Mommy. Do you have show and tell for us? Anything? Uh, well, it was Hello. my daughter's sixth birthday on Saturday. He's here. Your daughter's sixth birthday? Yes. Yeah. My baby girl. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Who's on the bottom here? Uh, Here's some pretty exactly. flowers my husband brought home for us. Oh, very nice. They, they're, oh. Uh, what are they, dahlias or are they zinnias? Mm -hmm. What they're are Gerbers, they? I think. Gerbers. Gerbers. Oh, yeah. Okay. And oh, Gerbers. he got I'm those up. for our daughter and these ones for okay. me. Very nice. Yes. Very pretty. I think it's I me. Is it me? Shelly. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, is it's that you. Ashley? Is that Ashley? Ashley's uh -oh. here, but I don't know what I'm doing. I have no clue. You're doing it you right. Fine. Welcome, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Yeah, Hi, thank you. Hi, Ashley. Welcome to the zoo. Hi, <laughs> thank you. You would think I would know. I teach. I'm a teacher. I teach Zoom every day on a different computer. I don't know why I can't figure <laughs> this one out. I'm under don't feel bad. I'll never get it. Crazy. Yeah, Davida, Davida has a channel, and she really she has a, she's Zoom challenged. Well, who is Davida? She's right next to you. No, she's. Not. I know, but she's she's not saying a word. She's sitting in a white uh -huh. chair, looking at us. No, she just keeps staring at me. She's just looking at us. Yeah. I think she's sleeping. Like no one here. Her. She's there. She's, she's, making, oh, okay. she's making fake food. She's practicing I've got the, the computer folks. with everyone talking, but it's all delayed. So I have my phone, um, and then the computer's delayed. You have so to do this. You have to shut off your YouTube and just listen to it to Zoom. Otherwise, it's going to drive you crazy. Okay, so turn yeah. off that. Turn off the YouTube. You can't because it's there's a delay. Okay, so I turned that an off, and now I'm on. Now I'm on the just the phone Zoom. on Zoom. I think. Yeah, then you right. should hear our voices regular time. Yeah, I can hear your voices. I can't see anything because I don't know how to get to that screen on my phone, oh. and my daughter's asleep. So. Okay. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> who's uh, who's the don't... top of it? Do you see start video? Well, let me look. One sec. One I'm sec. sorry. Hold on. Yeah, I gotta add you ladies to the drawing. Mm -hmm. Start video. Wait. Lee. <clears throat> Let me make. Mobley. Zoe, are you asleep? Oh, really? When you can. And Ashley. I'm gonna see if I can get my. I'm gonna see gnome. if I can get my daughter to do this. Okay. I'm on Zoom. Zoe, can you find it on the phone? <laughs> so, Zoe. Sorry, come on, wake up. Um, <laughs> that's not going to work. Because on mine, it shows that I'm on the top. You could sleep later. Okay. I'm on the top. What's Ashley's last name in the chat? Or, or I'm, I'm just... I have just messed up everyone, I think. Yeah. No, you didn't. No, you're fine. Anything. Just, you're like getting like Davida. Davida gets like that. She gets so short-tempered when she can't get on. <laughs> oh, so I, I just like... Davida's like, you're for corn's good. sake, what is going on here? I can't get in. <laughs> Well, you know, I don't understand. I do this all the time on a, on my work computer. Yeah. But if I get on a different device, it it I I can't do it on a different device. Okay. I don't understand. So, are you on an Apple phone? I am. I'm on an iPhone. All right. When you touch the screen, at the top, it should mm -hmm. say the right hand side should say mute, start video. Uh, what's the third one? Share screen. Do you see any of that? All I see when I look at it, I just see like the touchpad for phone numbers. Yes, that's what mine does. That's exactly what mine does. Calm down, Davida. Then, Davida, calm down. <laughs> I feel some judgment there. I feel some judgment, Davida. A little hostility. I had to open up Zoom and enter in the meeting code and the passcode. That's what mine does. I okay. did that. All right. Did All right. Go to the left-hand side. Do you see a red button that says leave? Don't push it, but do you see a red red button? And under it, it's got oh like a weird... Now I see the peach cobbler. I looked at this peach cobbler peach earlier, cobbler. and that's, that's what I'm looking at now. Hold on. Peach cobbler. <laughs> oh, I dear. I, Heather's, Heather's a good explainer, but you sound just like me. I can't follow oh. it. All right. right. I okay. just... The, the problem I have is when I'm on the phone, I can't do other things. You know how you can be talking to someone and then you can switch to a different screen and look at text yeah. and then you can look at emails. I don't know how to do that. And you're a teacher? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you know what? Scooter's probably on an apple app 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 Okay. I want to tell you all that there's a big promotion going with iPhones right now. 
Because, you know, if you buy if they're seven or $800. Yeah. Well, now, if uh-huh. you just take yours in and it's in good working order, you can trade it in. And this, this uh, iPhone only costs $150. Wait, wait. You broke mm-hmm. up a little bit. So you, if yours is in good working order, you can bring it in and what? And, and uh, get a new iPhone 11. An iPhone 11 for, for $150, did you say? It cost $150. And where is that? AT&T store. AT&T. Uh, no wonder. Mm-hmm. It's like a black, black Friday. And then don't forget there's that cricket deal, too, for whoever doesn't have a cricket. That's a really, that's yeah. a, that you're not going to find deal. it cheaper. That's from? That's Walmart. Oh, that's a good deal. Yeah. <laughs> no face, Heather. <laughs> I have a face, but I don't know why my picture isn't showing tonight. Are you drinking, Heather? <laughs> oh, cut it out. But I mean, like, usually if I'm not on here, I turn the screen off. At least it has a picture. Yeah. But now it just says a little <laughs> dot thing with well, the body. If, if my kid would wake up, and she's usually awake Hurry all night, up, get if she up, wake up, she could fix here. it. Okay, Kevin wants to know, did you bring enough peach cobbler for the chat? Since you <laughs> I haven't made it yet. I haven't yeah, made it yet. <laughs> Well, I mean, it has four ingredients. It only has four ingredients. Really? It's like a that cheating. Big? Yeah, it's That's it's it? uh, cake mix. It's butter? like a well. I I'm I live in California, but I'm from the South. I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. And uh, growing up, we had this cake called Dump Cake, and I think it's a Southern thing. But um, anyway, it's kind oh, of a version of that. that. Mm-hmm. It was a one, two, yeah, three just, something cobbler one time. Yeah, so. yeah. It's just. Cake mix, one butter, one hand two. peaches, and heavy syrup, cinnamon, yeah. and yeah. butter, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what ours. Yep. Is that what your peach cobbler is? Is that okay. what your peach cobbler is? What? What was that? That's what your peach cobbler right there is. The cake mix, the brown sugar, the peaches, and what else did you say? No, butter? no brown sugar. It's oh. just the cake mix, the the peaches, and heavy syrup, mm-hmm. uh, cinnamon, and butter, and it says that instead of a cake it turns and you do it like a cake and it says instead of a cake it turns out to be a cobbler magically Magically. it's a whole stick of butter right yeah yeah it's like 20 it's like 24 (laughs) slices of butter something like that it tastes better with butter hey said so that is dreaming she just didn't have a picture that would be three sticks of butter yeah i think that's it yeah no problem 24 yeah, it's 24, it be, it yeah, 24 of slabs of butter. It's like three-fourths of a cup of butter. Yeah, that would be three-sixths of... No, that would be... No, that would be a cup no, and a half of butter. No, just one cup. I mean, one stick. Don't feel bad, Ashley. It's okay. Mine was one okay. stick of... Don't feel bad. Davida has a channel and she can't get on, so really, don't feel bad. <laughs> you know, I'm saying about the butter. Don't let that make you feel bad. I'm don't sitting here minding my own business you about the butter. <laughs> <laughs> the more the mer- America. Uh, it makes everything better. Every, yeah, it does make everything better. Remember that commercial? Where the, do you remember Don't that? Like back, Sam. You remember that commercial where the girl comes out and she goes, "Look, Grandma or Mom, I made her the family recipe for butter cookies or something," and, the, and the, she tastes them and she goes, "Ooh, they taste weird." Did you use real butter? And she goes, no, I used margarine. And she goes, oh, let's make them oh, I again. Remember. remember that commercial? I remember that. <laughs> yeah. And she goes, ooh, they taste weird. Did you use butter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, butter makes everything better. Uh, yeah, always. Always. So what's up? Uh, what kind of party is your, grand, uh, your daughter having? Is she having a, uh, like well, a theme party? Juju? Mine? No, Juju's. Is your daughter no, she a just party oh, had a home party. Oh, but what, does she have a theme? Yes, it was unicorns. Unicorns. Oh. You're so cute, and I got, I got ripped up. Oh, I'm not cute. Yes, you I, are. I've been wearing a mask, and I'm all broke out from wearing one. A lot of people remember are getting last, that. Remember like, last year, Mommy, when I told you about uh, gifting my daughter's teacher's <gasps> Oh, are you, you're cream. the one that gave her the aging cream? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. She, let me, wait, don't say anything. Don't say anything, Juju. I'm going to ask everybody on the panel. If everybody okay. doesn't remember, Juju got her daughter's teacher mm-hmm. anti aging cream. I yes, remember. I remember. What do we think about that? I, I getting do the remember that. Yes. Anti aging cream. I wish my students would do the same. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I remember yeah, too. Yeah, they remember. What about yeah, that? Then good. some stupid ornaments or another tea towel or something. <laughs> oh, anti-aging cream. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. I used to give hair products. I mean. Yeah. So, well, hair uh, products. Yeah, but... she had a unicorn theme. And um, <laughs> I ordered a bedding set. It, it stated in the description on Amazon it was a six-piece bed set. Right. And only received a sheet set. Really? Ooh. So I made a comment on Amazon because unlike eBay where you can reach out to the seller, uh, I couldn't figure out how to do that, so I was just leaving a review. And Amazon sent me an email today saying that I went outside the guidelines. Hmm. <laughs> really? What? The Who's guidelines? Got- you went outside the guidelines because you sent them a letter? Uh, because I made a review, I had written a review regarding how um, the description stated it was a six piece and I only received three pieces. Oh, because wow. you're supposed to let them have a chance to make it right first. Yeah, well, I tried to reach out to see how I could reach out to whoever I bought it from. I mean, oh. like I said, unlike eBay, you can see who the seller is. You can ask questions and mm-hmm. send them a message. Yeah. But um, so I'm not a big Amazon fan anymore. But other than that, uh, my husband bought her that squeaky balloon dog, and mm. where you can train it and it pees and stuff. I didn't see that. Oh. What is it called? A squeaky. A squeaky, a squeegee oh, a balloon. Squeaky. I'm gonna to have to look. You know, that like up. those. I'm gonna look you it know, up. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll go look for it up here. Squeegee balloon dog. That sounds cute. I know, and you. Yeah. No, not really. So. <laughs> another oh. animal pick them up. And you can, you for can, for what ages is this? I'll show for it. What, I'll show I, it. For what ages? So I got her that I'll little safe. It. Oh, I'm not sure. So you sure. can teach it to pee. Oh, it's not a re- it doesn't really pee. It's kind of like that. Um, it's like the baby alive. Yeah. Baby well, alive. it's like that. No, oh. it's like that. What the other dog? I have two of them. That ones that have wheels for mm-hmm. feet. You know what I'm mm-hmm. talking about? What are they called? Those mm-hmm. two dogs. Yeah, I got her this little swing chair too. Roby or something? Yeah, not Roby. What? I have two of them. Those dogs. Doesn't anybody remember? I reviewed those. That dogs? you pull, like you pull. They're kind of wooden looking. No, no, they're and plastic and string? robotic. They're called. Um, what the freak are those dogs called? Um, oh my they're gosh! Dog. You know what I'm talking about. Oh gosh! Oh my gosh, honey, hush! You just got to the hospital. Mm. Let's see. So, yeah, I just saw it over here. Um, so the squeaky balloon dog. Tracy W. is in the chat. She is? Uh-huh. Yeah, Sending we- love to you, sister. I think it's called a squeegee. Yeah, squeaky, it says. Oh, Somebody squeaky? Oh, yeah, I'm looking dog. at him on Amazon. Yeah, it was something my husband went out and bought himself shopping for her. Oh, really? He likes mm-hmm. it? Yeah, he always buys her those annoying toys. I'll put the link in the chat if <laughs> you want to look at it. I hate those annoying toys. Yes. How old, how old is she? Six. Six. Yeah. Okay, everybody stop coming on the panel. I'm trying to win a, a gnome tonight. <laughs> Together no, trying to disqualify everybody. You're too far. <laughs> Come on. You're too far. Sorry. I want You're coming the, on too I late. I the gray one. <laughs> It's my birthday, and I want to know. Oh, oh, it's, it's on now. Oh, it's on now. I'm going to hang up and call back again and get another entry. Okay, now let me see. I'm going to put the, the link to the dog so everybody can look at it at your, from, your, from your device there. There you go. That's the dog she's talking about. Oh, Gail B. is here. Hi, That would Gail. be cute. Hi, everyone. Hi. Yeah, I got that swing and that was hanging in her room that I tried to show you in the dark and not wake her up. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, oh, so now, how old is your daughter there, Ashley? She's 15. Oh, you're trying to wake her up to fix and, but But she babysits. In fact, she's babysitting tomorrow. She babysits and tutors Zoom um, for uh, twins who are three, eight three, three, years three. old. Yeah. And we were thinking about uh, Christmas gifts she wants to get them. One's a girl and one's a boy. Oh, okay. And, uh, three, three, three. So that sounds like it'd be really cute. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the dog that I, 
it's I wonder if it's made by the same company. My oldest is 15 and my middle is nine. Your oldest is who said that? I did. Oh, you did. Your oldest is 15. Oh, and your middle is nine. Oh, okay. Two boys and a girl. Okay. So mine's boys. 15. My older one's 26 and she has COVID, but she's doing much better. She just, she's getting over it right now. Wait a second. In the same household? No, no, no. Um, she's still oh. in Arkansas. She's a teacher. And oh. they went back in Arkansas in August and full time, no precautions. It was ridiculous. And within just a few weeks, she and several other teachers, and this is just her second year teaching, um, came down with it. And she's had it often, not off and on, but to some degree since September. Wow. And yeah, and her husband, she just got married and her husband has it. And, oh my gosh. But they're doing a lot better, but they have 400 students who have it. Really? In their district. Wow. Yeah, this is in um, Southeast Arkansas. Oh my oh. gosh. And my kids have been stuck home since March. Oh really? They didn't, where yeah. are you? Where, what state are you? Oregon. Oregon. Yeah, going. we've been home. Um, my daughter and me, but I, I mean, I'm a teacher and she's, you know, a student, of course, my younger one, 15. And we've been here at home since March. Um, of course, she's doing the Zoom thing in her room and um, I'm doing it in the dining room and I teach high school. So we go the full time, the block schedule, you know, with the Zoom for an hour and a half uh, for each class. And wow. so... The internet, you know, keeps going off. Mine will knock hers out, and <laughs> hers will knock mine out, and <laughs> it's just lovely. Yeah, I, I purchased the one terabyte. Hey, um, um, I don't. Really I I you. did upgrade. Yeah, I did upgrade, and it's better, but it's still not ideal. It's at not all. worth ninety five bucks a month. Oh, mine wasn't that much, but. I didn't yeah. get the best that you could get. Well, we just moved to this area, bought a house. And so figuring out how much more expensive it is here than it was closer to the coast. So it's and where, where are you? She said Oregon. Or, okay, so I'm in Northern California. So. Oh, you're in Northern California? Wow. Gotcha. Northern. You're wow. about 12 hours away. That's a long way from Arkansas. Cupcake. That is a lot. That that goes into the Carolyn. That goes into the whole transgender ex husband thing, which is a whole story. I think. Oh probably my gosh! You're the one. Night. You're the one that the husband changed. The, yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Okay, that's some story. Well, did I miss something? Hello. Well, she was on the other night, and she said, "How did that come about? That you said something about? How did that come out, out the other night?" I, I don't even know how it came up. Um, that is why I'm here. Um, it, it, it is a very long story, and I um, it started. You know, my it, it's re it's really probably more than anyone wants to hear at this time. Of no, night, really, I'll show my tin cans while you're talking. Oh, tin cans. <laughs> how, how many years have you been here? To cell phones to eat, uh, something else along. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, the, the short version of how we got to California was um, I married this man in um, 2000. It was a second marriage for both of us. We were both in Arkansas, both from Arkansas. In 2000, we both had a um, seven-year-old daughter. We each had one. They're 27 now. And um, we got married, and I thought, you know, everything would be fine. And I was teaching. He's an, um, an attorney. Oh, my gosh. And so we got married, and we had Zoe, my 15-year-old, in 2005. And um, he's older. I'm 51, and he or she now is 63. So, um, you know, it was just kind of what I thought was going to be a good future. Oh, and uh, about, let's see, when Zoe was about 18 months old, so this was, uh, no, yeah, no more, she was about 14 months old, 2006, um, his dad died. And he comes from a 
wealthy family and was, you know, expecting a large inheritance and came home from work right after the funeral and said, well, I have something to say. I um, have always wanted to be a woman. And, oh, wow. And, yeah, and this was right after the funeral. We were still in our funeral clothes. Oh, wow. And, you know, it was, Jeez. I've always wanted to be a woman, um, but I was afraid I'd lose my inheritance from oh, dad. Gosh. Oh my gosh. And yeah, and said in three weeks I'm moving to San Francisco and having a sex change and that's what happened and so that was in two thousand six. And oh. here we are today. And how did you ha <laughs> you had no inkling? Absolutely none. No one did. Not the family, not his mother. No one. This is a six foot four, you know, two hundred plus pound masculine man. Right. Um, and no one had a clue. Did he divorce ex? He, he, he did he and, sex? What was that? Did he enjoy sex or did he, he didn't? No, he, no, I don't, I, looking back, I don't he think He could so. enjoy some super glues, what he would buy, gosh. He'd buy it. But it was, you know, it was, it was just, it was <laughs> so bizarre. I had absolutely no clue. Wow. Until I started getting little hints, um, right before his dad died because we knew he was going to die. Could I, could I ask you to back up a second? I missed the part where you said something about an inheritance or something like that. Yes. I, yes. What did that, that have to do with it? His dad because died and he, he thought that if he, if his dad, you know, a typical Southern man, um, I, I'll just say that a typical Southern man um, had known that, this was going to happen or if he had come out as transgender early on, I guess, that he would have disowned him and no you know, knows. written him out okay. of the will. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I totally yeah. Missed, I so really it was just this about. ploy. Yeah, and it's it's not just like me. It was two marriages. We each had a child and now we have this one, you know, together. And um it was just really kind of a I am a very, I'm a huge proponent for the LGBTQ community. Um, you know, I just, I think, I think that being supportive of the community is great, but this is a totally different situation when right. someone waits until yeah. they're in their fifties and you does this, you know, for nefarious reasons. And yeah, that was right? the case. And it was just, you know, we I stayed in Arkansas um, in 2006 and continued to teach. And then at some point, um, my daughter, my older daughter, went to college. And I had my little one, Zoe was five at the time. And I had to make the decision whether to stay in Arkansas and just divorce or come out to California and try to live together and have some semblance of raising you know, our daughter together, but live separately. And that's what I tried. Uh -huh. But after that happened, um, we came out here. And um, when we got here, it was okay. And I was in a position where I didn't want to stay in Arkansas and divorce and have Zoe, you know, flying across the country 2,000 miles several times a year. And it, my older daughter was in college and, you know, it just, it, right. it just seemed the thing to do. And I don't regret it. It's what I should have done. I, but we got out here and after about a year, Sarah, it was Charlie, now it's Sarah, started getting um, very violent. Really? Um, yeah, she had been um, emotionally abusive, abusive for quite some time. Since the time actually... Um, Soon after we got married, and I found out in 2005 that I was pregnant with Zoe, <clears throat> Zoe. Um, I don't know what triggered it, but it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. The emotional, um, I don't know even how to describe it. But then once we got out here to California, it started escalating. And long story short, and I promise I'm about to shut up, but... Um, in 2014, Zoe was had just turned nine, and we were living in a house separately. It was a 
large, it was a large house. We lived separately. It had two master bedrooms. But, you know, I was trying to just somehow make it work. But Sarah became very violent on Easter Sunday in 2014 and attacked both of us physically. Wow. Oh. And, and, and Sarah's got so, big woman, right? Because she's six foot four, did you say? I'm sorry, what you was that? You said Sarah's a big woman because she's six foot four? Yeah, she's six four. Yeah. And, um, yeah, she's, she's a big girl. And... <laughs> Uh, so we were upstairs, we were in Sarah's bedroom and we were talking about money. It was a typical, you know, heated conversation about finances and Sarah, you know, attacked me basically and pushed me out of the bedroom after biting me on the hand. This sounds, I know this sounds bizarre, but she did, she bit me and knocked me against the wall. Zoe saw all this. And Elma? she locked the door with Zoe inside oh. and held Zoe, you know, with her hand over Zoe's mouth. And I somehow got the door open, even though it was locked. I don't know how I got the door open, but I did. So I grabbed Zoe and we, um, she was nine years old and tall, but somehow I picked her up and I carried her down the stairs. I don't even you know, know why I did that, but I did. And I grabbed my phone and my purse. We got in the car and we went straight to the police station, the Petaluma Police Department. And they were fabulous. They were absolutely fabulous. They arrested Sarah. And um, from then on, I filed for divorce, obviously. Right. And, um, you know, there was a, a restraining order involved. There was uh, court, all this kind of stuff. And I ended up with full custody and, you know, there's no visitation or anything. It's been a long time. Um, this was in 2014. So since then, everything has calmed down. Sarah um, was asked to leave Sonoma County. Mm -hmm. um, um, and yeah. I agreed mm -hmm. to drop the restraining order and the charges in um sarah agreed to move back to arkansas sorry arkansas you know but um, <laughs> sorry. i um we stayed here and through the years now you know there's text messages between zoe and sarah and me sarah pays her child support you know all of that and it's all civil now but it took a while mm. and um so that's how it is now sarah's a woman living in arkansas and Zoe and I are here in California, okay. and there's a lot more to it than that, obviously, but that's kind of the short version of it. Well, I don't know who's talking. That's Ashley. This is Ashley. I'm sorry. Okay. I was is born in Sonoma County. Is your picture up there? No. Is Elma no, it's just a phone. It's Green not. Phone. I don't know how. I'm so sorry. No, that's fine. Is it What's Elma the name in the chat? What's the name in chat? Duder. Huh? Is that, is that Elma on the screen there? Wilma. Uh huh. No, what's Ashley's name in chat? Ashley. Uh, what's in chat? It's Ashley Vestal, but I thought okay. I That's turned it off, so yeah, I'm Ashley Vestal, yeah. and I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was just wondering. Peter, she yeah, wants you to yeah. What Heather? What Heather? Do you want you to read that name right there? Wilma something. Uh, um, I don't see it. You don't see Where Wilma's name? Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Uh -uh. I do. I see it. I'm not trying to interrupt. Oh, I can see Wilma. On, on panel, you mean? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, uh. So I have a couple of questions for Ashley. Wilma Fingerdew. <laughs> Um, okay, so when 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 Charles Charles was that his it's name Elma. first? It, it Charlie, was Charles. Yeah. Charlie Charles. Um, <laughs> when he first told you this, um, I'm going mm -hmm. to go what, ahead. What was your leave. reaction? I was absolutely devastated. I called our priest. Um, I, you know, begged. I pleaded. I remember. Um, sitting out, this was, of course, in Little Rock, Arkansas. I remember sitting out on the front porch swing. We had this old 
house and it had a porch swing on the front. And I remember just sitting out there holding Zoe, who was still a baby, and um, drinking wine and crying all night, every night, trying to figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. And my mother um, and father had both died a few weeks before any of this happened. And I'm an only and I'm an only child. So, you know, there wasn't really anyone to talk to. And it, I just remember trying to get him into counseling, and he refused. Um, the two older girls who were teenagers at the time were so upset, especially his daughter. Mm-hmm. And, um, I mean, my daughter has a father from my first marriage and saw him and still does, but... Um, Sarah's daughter, you know, was really upset, and they don't speak now. It's 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 a mess. Mm. And the thing is, the thing is, Sarah refuses to acknowledge the fact that anyone might be upset about this. Me, the children, his mother, um, siblings. Is she a narcissist? Sarah cannot. Is she a narcissist? Pardon. Is she a narcissist? Absolutely, and many other things. There's, there's way more to it. If it were just as you know, Zoe and I have been in counseling for years. We're not now, but we were. And if it had just been the transgender situation, mm-hmm. that could have been overcome. But there was so much more. You can remove that, and then there's the narcissism. There's sociopathy. There's, you know, just entitlement it goes way back through the sarah's childhood we found letters you know and all this kind of stuff from the parents oh you know it just goes on and on but yes it's there's so much more to it than just the gender dysphoria and um so as far as you know how i dealt with it then i really didn't i was a basket case for years (laughs) Right. And, you know, now I'm not. I mean, we're okay. You know, I'm here and, you know, I'm a typical single mom, you know, trying to afford rent in Northern California <laughs> as a teacher. So, you know, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just been a wild ride and there's still repercussions from it. Um, my daughter is doing great. And there's a whole other thing that is in, would probably be interesting to our little, you know, rambling true crime community that I, you know, really should be talking about instead of all that. No, no. But, I love oh, um, this is interesting, too. She, she, I, I think Zoe has really, she's very mature, I think, for a 15-year-old. She's doing really well. Um, she's number one on the tennis team. Uh, she's number one in Northern California um, for all state. And the true crime community, um, this is an older case, but um, at Zoe's high school, they have to have, and I think most high schools are like this, they have to have community service hours to graduate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so she's only in 10th grade, but she's really – involved in the community service aspect and she works with um the the old much older case than we normally talk about um on this channel but she works with mark class and his wife who are the parents or the father and stepfather or stepmother of polly class from (laughs) who was abducted and kidnapped in the 90s and um she volunteers at the Polyhanna Class Art Center, which is here in the town where we live, Petaluma. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the good news is what I wanted to say to that is as of today, they have raised $10,000 for um, the child trafficking, anti-child trafficking fund. Oh. So she's really excited yeah, about that. Job. So that was a really good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it was really, hey. it's been really good. Wonderful. So she does that, and um, so, you know, I think she's, for the most part, well-adjusted after all that, and um, 
she got her they got their pictures made in their mask today in front of the art center <clears throat> excuse me and uh with the you know the big checks that they'll print out for when you raise money and they print out the giant check so it's her and some of her friends and mark class and oh, the they have their mask check. going of course <laughs> but, but um they're going to be in the paper so that's all exciting Wow, that's that's inter- that exciting oh, and nice. interesting. Yeah, wow, both the stories. That's yeah, like the we'll have to, that's uh, quite a story. Arkansas, California. Can I ask you one question? <laughs> Listen, sending my love to you. You've been through a lot. I mean, did you say that? Well, that, did he get his complete sex change? Yes, he did. Um, in two thousand, let's see. Yeah, in two thousand eight. Um, he had a complete sex change in Beverly Hills by a Dr. Marcy Bowers. Um, Is she used to be in Colorado? And, yes, yes. I'm and the best, I think. She's the one who did, who um, apparently Bruce Jenner is, you know, in yeah. touch with. And then she not only had the full sex change, then she went back and had. Um, a full facial, what they call a facial feminization st- uh, surgery to try to feminize the features. Mm-hmm. You guys can be just the judge of that. You can look her up. It's uh, Dr. Sarah Vestal, Little Rock, Arkansas, and see, see if you think she looks feminine. Um, well, I'll check it out. I guess, Dr. I guess she does. This sounds funny. Vestal. V E S T A L. V as in Victor. Is that Sarah with an H? Yes, it's Sarah with an H. S A R A H. It seems like you had us look at her before. I don't remember just that. Days I, I don't remember that looking at her. Okay. Really? She's been on CNN quite a bit. Um, really? She is. Yes, um, that was you. You told us something like that before in chat, maybe. Yeah. She, Where was I? She is. You were here. She is. It's like days. I don't remember talking about it though. I really don't remember talking about it. I don't remember listening to it. I L. Scooter might be crazy. V e s t a l. I remember. Yeah, Davida remembers it. I remember something about it. I, I don't remember, remember it. Why has she been up. on CNN? She likes to insert herself into everything, and um, this is a whole other story. And this just all is going to sound so crazy. But Sarah's family were friends with the Clintons. And um, so through that, there were a lot of connections that her family had. So she's able to kind of, you know, I don't know how to explain it, insert herself into arenas of recognition, I guess. Yeah, to get noticed. Just to get just to get noticed. Yes, she corresponds frequently with. Ronan Farrow, Mia Farrow's son, who's a um, news correspondent. Right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she just, it, it's just really hard to explain. She she thinks very highly of herself, which is, you know, a good thing in, in some in some ways. I found her on Twitter. But, oh, really? I, I haven't looked in a long time. And it's just, this is what I want to ask. I'll put the now link in the she, chat if you'd like to see Now that she's had a complete sex change, mm-hmm. now she's attracted to men or women? Um, I, she says men. And, but the crazy thing is she says she's still in love with me, <laughs> which is a, you know, bizarre thing. So I don't, I don't know. I don't even know that she, I think she is so mixed up. That she doesn't even know. She's a gardener. Um, she has a website. She, garden. She has a website. It looks like gardening. Yes. Um, when we first got married, before right before this happened, we um, started an organic tomato business in Arkansas, and we you know went all into it and went to conventions and started growing them, and then we got a partner. And she and the partner had a falling out, and it went under. This was just right before her dad died and right before the sex change and all that. And so that went under, and I think that was another component of the downfall of the whole thing. So, yes, yeah, she, she likes gardening. And, 
we had that business <clears throat> in Arkansas for a short time, right before all this came down. Wow, this is, yeah, she should write a book. That's exactly what I was thinking, Amber, Ella. You should really oh. write a book on this. This is, yeah, this is quite a story. You told us, some and, of us in chat one night a long time ago. Because I remember I don't remember you. that. Yeah, I must did. have been drunk. I don't know. <laughs> no, it was oh, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what, what, Carolyn? So, yeah, I have a question. To be, one question I did to say to her. Somebody wants to know how long ago was the sex change operation? 2008, so 12 years ago. Okay. What is it, DeVito, now? DeVito, did you ask something? Okay. DeVito. I thought somebody said Carol. Didn't sound like, like DeVito said Carolyn. I thought somebody said Dreaming. And is Dreaming still here? Yes, I am. Dreaming, how did you know about this doctor? I saw a documentary on it um, on YouTube, and at that time she was in Colorado. No, mm -hmm. live down in Colorado. Are there only like a limited amount of doctors that do that? There are three. Three. Oh, okay. right. And she That's was supposed it. three to, in the country. And then she was supposed to. She she was a transgender and had changed from a man to a woman, and she was beautiful. And she did mm -hmm. this. She was the best of the best. And now, where is she? Did you say she's in Hollywood? Um, I don't Beverly know. Hills? Well, she was in Beverly Hills when Sarah had the surgery. I don't know where she is now. I mean, she was on Oprah several times. I mean, yeah. she was pretty well known for a while, Marcy Bowers. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know where she is. Marcy, and then Oliver. Toby Mayer is the doctor who does the only one in the country who does the full facial feminization surgery, and he's in Beverly Hills. Okay, Marcy Bowers. She is in. Um... Marcy Bowers did uh, is on was on the show. She's sixty two uh, years old. And what the, my name is Jazz. She did Jazz's sex change. I'm gonna head off. I wanted to say goodbye. Oh, okay, I, Earthbound. Bye. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you. Oh, she, Scooter will put your name in, and we'll let you know if you are a winner. I already put your name in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good night, ladies. Nice to talk to you. Thanks for coming Sorry in. Sorry about my rambling. Congratulations <laughs> on your job. Bye. Have a great night. Stay safe. Love you. No, Bye. We want to hear more. We want to hear more. But she <laughs> never has. But she's not ever hooked up with anybody. <clears throat> but I have a couple Please. of questions. I, okay, just let me tell you. When looking back, more. looking back, Wait, when you bought like an outfit or shoes or stuff, did Charles at the time show like just a lot of more enthusiasm than most guys would to never, shop? Never? Absolutely nothing. Nothing until um, his dad got sick. And um, his dad, we went to, I'm trying to think, in the late summer of 2006, we all went to this um, resort in Branson, Missouri called Big Cedar Lodge. Mm -hmm. And while um, we were there, um, and of course that would have been Sarah's siblings. It was the 50th anniversary, you know, of the parents, Zoe's grandparents. And, um, it was, you know, just this big to do. And while we were there, his dad started feeling really bad. And, uh, it turned out by the end of the trip, we had to cut the trip short and it turned out he had, um, oh, it's a leukemia. And I can't think of the name. It's like multiple myeloma, I think, oh, yeah, if I'm yeah. pronouncing yeah. it correctly. Mm -hmm. And it's one that goes really quickly. Right. It, they go really it's, quickly. And he was in his 70s at the time. And so we all came back. And, of course, oh, we lived in Arkansas. In, Andrew, and we'll they were living anything. in Texas at the time. Uh, the parents, the grandparents. So there was a few weeks there before he died he died within just a matter of weeks four or five weeks and um during that time i started noticing thing, a few things and i think sarah was intentionally or charlie at the time was intentionally letting me see these things mm -hmm. for example i would open a drawer in the bathroom and there would be blush or mascara or something that wasn't mine. I'm not a big makeup person anyway. And mm -hmm. I, you know, I would see things like that. 
and I would ask, and he would act kind of funny about it. But it took a while for me to, you know, realize that something was going on. So I can't say that by the time this announcement came right after the funeral, a few weeks later, that I hadn't seen any signs, but I just hadn't put it together yet. So when that happened, I thought, oh, yeah, past few weeks, I've seen weird things. Women's underwear, that's not mine. And I knew he wasn't having an affair or anything like that. So, <clears throat> you know, just a few odd things. But it was all during that very short window of time between late August and mid-September. But nothing ever, ever, ever before that. Mm. Um, not even, you know, how some men will even, you know, be a little effeminate. And that doesn't mean anything, but there, there was none of that. It was just like a guy, just a husband, you know, just a very masculine man. But was he a very, very masculine, masculine was man? He, a mas he was a very masculine man? <clears throat> what was that, what, Carolyn? He was a very masculine man? Yes, yes, absolutely. Did he get in fights and stuff when he was younger or like? Oh, no, I don't think that. Very scholarly, but masculine. Not athletic masculine, but just, just not effeminate in any way. Just, um... You know, I just, nothing that would ever make anyone think that he might be gay or mm -hmm. probably not even politically correct to say that. Right. But, yeah. um, you know, nothing that would say make that, anyone yeah, that he wonder. wasn't happy with his gender. Yes, seemed to be. Yes. Mm. And I'm not sure that he wasn't. Um, I believe, I, I teach high school, so I have several transgender students. And I believe that they were born this way and, you know, they're embracing it and their families are. I am not sure that's the case with my ex-husband. I believe there is a mental illness and different things have, you know, transpired from the illness. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure this isn't just one of those with Sarah, not that other people have that. I don't believe that Sarah always felt this way. I believe this came, you know, maybe over the last 20 years among other, you know, I don't know, other manifestations of this mental illness that I know she has and everyone knows she has, but of course she says she doesn't. And I think that I actually, I really think that it puts a really bad name on the transgender community and the gay community as a whole, because I don't think Sarah fits into the same category mm -hmm. as people who are truly born in the situation. I believe that, um, I hate to say, not fetish, but um, just you know, I, I can't even describe what goes on in the world of Sarah. Yeah. So there's some mental um, illness to it. And then all that aggression was, could that, have, that's not because she was on any like hormones that were making her crazy. She was on hormones. She was on a lot, but that, the aggression started before she ever started. Well, you know, I say that, I take that back. She was on hormones. Um, for quite some time. I later found out we went through um, infertility treatment to have Zoe. And um, I found out later, I thought it was me, and I kept having all these tests and everything, and found out later, we, I mean, we did get pregnant naturally because I stopped the fertility treat, infertility treatments. <clears throat> but um, I found out later that she had been on female hormones, estrogen and such, the whole time we were trying to get pregnant. So I have to wonder, you know, if that had something to do with the difficulty getting pregnant, because at the time I was only 34. Okay, so wait, so, so then, wait, why was she, why was he on female hormones? Apparently, that's when she started planning this, was right after we got married in 2000. And, and, and your father died in 2004? 
No. Uh, I, we got married in 2000, and then I think that's when she started planning this. Then Zoe was born in 2005, and the dad died in 2006. Oh, my gosh. So you, you think that he was on female hormones for, like, six years? I know she, yes, I know he was. So um, I didn't at the time. But wow. the whole time we were from 2000 until Zoe was born, and then, of course, beyond, she was on or he was on um, these hormones that whole time. Mm. And, you know, I don't know whether that had anything to do with the infertility, but you would think. Well, yeah. I, I would, never asked yeah, a, a I, doctor. I, I can't even believe that you got pregnant when he was on yeah, female Yeah, I can't believe it either. Well, I can't either. Now we had tried um, infertility, you know, drugs, Clomid, or I, I can't remember what it was, but it was a drug. We never did um, in vitro, but we did do artificial insemination, and it didn't work, and several different other drugs that I took. And then finally I said, okay, we're going to, you know, we're going to stop and just see what happens. And we did stop, and then I got pregnant. But um, didn't they test his blood I'm or anything surprised. that they would have seen that something's going on or it's been his sperm and wouldn't the female hormones have affected something? Well, I would like, think so, but it was never nothing like that was ever mentioned. And of course, I didn't know it was even happening. My, so my I don't it, know. Hmm. Took those hormones and and then he quit having a beard. Who did? And, who did dreaming? My, one of my friends had a boy that turned into a girl, mm -hmm. and she she said when she was taking those hormones that she was so nice and pleasant, and then she sometimes she'd run out of them, and she would be very mean and hateful. And she she's a beautiful <laughs> girl, but she she was born a guy. Luna, come here. Mm -hmm. Luna, but, that, but, you, but I know what she's saying about mental issues because she was, mm -hmm. this girl tried to cut her, cut her, self, cut herself off. Oh, she really? She wanted that off so bad. She didn't want it. Oh, my gosh. And she couldn't right. afford to get the pain. So one, one night, night she tried to cut it off. Oh. She had a lot Did of you say Oh, my God. Yes, tried to do the surgery herself, like in that movie, Little Children. Yes, and she she lives right. with her mother. She just lives with her mother, and she doesn't have any friends or anything. Oh my gosh, what did they do? What did she... the, and it is, it's so expensive, and that's another reason why why Sarah waited until her father died because he would have never paid for it, but her mother did pay for it. Oh. In excess of a, in excess of a million dollars, I'm sure at this point. And oh. um, the, her, the mom, Zoe's grandmother, paid every cent. And I wish I could see what she looked like. I I can't come up. I know. Who's crying? Alma? She looks like, kind of like Zoe, which is freaky to me. <laughs> did you say doctor? Yeah. Yeah, she has it's a PhD. She has her PhD. Doctor Sarah. Not a, not a medical. She's not a medical doctor. Is, is that Sarah, Alma crying? A... Alma? What? Is Alma crying? No. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Alma. Alma? Alma, where is are Alma? you? She's, she's Wilma. Alma. I believe it's Wilma is Alma. It is Hi, Wilma. Wilma. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh -huh. Keep me on. Okay, no, I thought I had you on mute. I'm in the restroom. You're in uh, the we restaurant? can see you. We can see you on camera. Cannot. Right. Yes, we can. Really? Yeah. yeah. I like that shirt. I like that shirt. Go ahead and go to the bathroom. You talk about it all the time. Restroom. Hold on a second. Is it V E S T E L? T A L. <clears throat> like V is in Victor. E S T A is an apple. L. Okay. I was just getting ready to boot when Wilma finger do off because I thought she's not even talking. <laughs> no, 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 no. You guys saying all together. There's probably other people wanting to call in. I'm starting to feel really bad. No, don't feel bad. It was oh, very interesting. I got a better chance if you stay on. 
Yeah, it was very okay. interesting. <laughs> I'm just saying. Very interesting. Well, you know what? Uh, you've been through it, but it sounds to me like you've done real well. Right. Yeah. Well, so proud of you. It, it's you know I've, I I well I I do I will admit I have pretty severe clinical depression that I take medication for and but that started before all of this. Are um, you in another relationship you know, now? No, I have not been in one <laughs> since Scooter's all of this. Scooter's trying to fix you not. up with somebody. <laughs> what, what now? Now? Yeah. I, I, I haven't. No, I have not had a single date um, or anything else, if you know what I mean, since right. 2004. So, um, why not? Uh, no, I, I haven't. I just, we live, you know, um, I, I do, you know, and this probably isn't good either. My whole life is Zoe right now, and that's not necessarily good either mm-hmm. to not have separate things going on. Well, she's my older daughter. She's only 15. 15. Yeah. Yeah. She's 15. And I didn't. You can get out and start dating. Yeah. She, yeah. Now that, now that she's older, I guess I, I, you know, I wouldn't even know where to start. And my track record, obviously, you know, I, I had a psychiatrist or a psychologist tell me one time that my man picker is broken. (laughs) So, um, (laughs) You know, I don't know. Um, you know, Zoe is, you know, just into a lot of things. She has a boyfriend, her first boyfriend. They've been together since the end of eighth grade, and he's adorable. And I um, am really good friends with his mom. Carolyn, they're Italians. They're a big Italian family um, dairy ranchers here in Sonoma County. Oh, wow. And, um, yeah, last name is Sartori. And um, so, in fact, she's trying to learn how to make the Italian cookies you guys were talking about. I told her. The <laughs> most said, I'll make some for the, Dustin. The, for, the ones that Sarah had? Christmas. The most of Chulis? Yeah. She, Somebody Sarah was says, talking about Italian cookies. Yeah, Sarah said they're easy. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah. We, she, need, she needs easy. So, you know, we're, we're doing all that, and... Um, you know, like I said, I'm a teacher, so we do struggle. We're in the, in, you know, my rent here in Calif- in Northern California for a one-bedroom apartment is $2,000 a month. Wow. Oh and which is insane. Oh. So there's a lot of, you know, um, working and struggling. I will say this, that my ex-mother-in-law does help us out financially, and which is nice for her granddaughter. Does Sarah but, pay you know, child just, support? Does Sarah help you with Sorry. Child, child support? Does Sarah pay child support? Yeah, she she does. She pays her child support. It's very minimal because it was set at a certain amount when she we were here in California. And when she moved to Arkansas, she had the choice to keep it as it was, which she could most certainly afford, or to reduce it because of the cost of living in Arkansas. I had a terrible attorney who um, did not do what he needed to do, and so it was reduced in half when she moved to Arkansas. Oh, yeah. but, but, like I said, my ex-mother-in-law does compensate for the difference. So, um, you know, that, that, that we're, we're very fortunate when it comes to that. Yes. Oh, okay. And what was I having else to ask you? I don't think he's very pretty, though. I don't either. <laughs> oh, he that's what I wanted to ask now. you. Has he been, has she been in another relationship? I think she has boyfriends in and out. She's always texting me saying, "Oh, I met my boyfriend last night. I have this boyfriend." And uh, you know, she kind of want to just gag and she'll send texts like that to Zoe, which is so inappropriate and uh, it, you know, yeah, so I don't think she has anyone. How old Daddy. is she? How old is she? Let's see. She just turned 63. Oh, wow. So she's 63. Her hair's she's, all bright. Yeah, she, yeah, she's 12 years older. And because of COVID, she has, you know, she was telling me she's gray now. I haven't looked, but she was telling me she's gray now because of COVID. And nobody's dying hair. And, That's all right. But I haven't looked. I don't even know that Dave was a was a woman. 
Come on. <laughs> Scooter, come on. What was that? Scooter's joking. Around. Around, buddy. Come. Go ahead. Go on. Come on. Papa, come on. My phone keeps is breaking that, up. Is that Alma? I'm Alma, sorry. You... Alma's in the background making noise. Doing Alma, something. what are you doing? Say something. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to get the dog on the bed. Come on. You gotta speak louder. I'm sorry. I said I was trying to get the dog on the bed. Oh. You're not Alma, you're Cupcake. No, it's Alma. Sorry, you had to get it. It's for really Alma. I know, I'm kidding. Oh. Oh. (laughs) Excuse me. Alma, hello. Hi. Hello. How are you, ladies? Okay. (laughs) Could you move a little, could you move a little closer to the mic, ma'am? I'm pretty close. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's so funny when we're all in here without a picture and you can tell. I know. Talking. I know. It's so, I feel so bad because I couldn't get my picture or anything on, and so I'm just on the phone. Movie here, said, so. Well, talk, Alma. They want to hear your voice. Uh-huh. Tell us the last good. time I was on, I couldn't see the chat, but this time I could see it. Okay, I'm going to get a chocolate. Am, I'm on my phone. Alma? See the chat. Oh my God, yeah. here y'all go moving again. Alma. That's our Alma. Uh-huh. Is my picture really on? Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's, we it's, see it's, you laying in the bed. I don't think see anything. Alma's laying. Yep, she's laying in the bed with the dog. Okay. What? <laughs> oh. Get the other. Oh, I'm just I don't kidding. Care. I'm just kidding. Mm. My cat is just glaring at me because she doesn't know what I'm doing. So I don't see an Alma. Well, I'm not sure which position she's in because every Alma time I say what somebody name is, I'm wrong. Dreaming, she doesn't have a face. It says in um, the middle. Well, my son. Well, my the middle. only one I see is, I believe, Scooter. What? Everyone yeah. else is blank. Who's saying that? Gail B has her camera on. I do too. Okay, those are the two I can see: Gail and Scooter. And me. No, I can't see you. Right now. You can't see me. No. You gotta put it on gallery view. You're there, I can see you now. I'm doing well just to have the phone going right now. <laughs> it was Wilma. Yeah, real well. That's Ashley. <laughs> is the sound real bad tonight or is it just my tablet? It's it's yours. Bad. It seems a little little crackly. Poppy. Choppy. Yeah, poppy. My internet has been going in and out all night, unfortunately. But that's not anything new. I think if my husband came in and told me that, I might just, I don't know, I, I think I'd just have to run over him with a car. I knew you would do that, <laughs> you know, it, Jimmy. Here we go again. Here we you go know, it's, it's, it was, I just remember it being this fog. Like, I felt... And, you know, it has been a while, but I do remember feeling like I was just in this fog for this long period of time, day in and day out. And then finally, um, one, um, one day we, I had made an appointment, um, with our priest or Episcopalian and, um, he had, you know, set up this appointment and (laughs) it's not funny, but, uh, we were sitting there and, Henry, the priest, was, and he's the one who had recently baptized Zoe, and he was, you know, trying to be, you know, counseling Sarah and coming up with reasons why he might, you know, because of the new baby and the new marriage and all that, want to reconsider or at least try, and I'll never forget it, Sarah, who was still Charlie at the time, picked up a Kleenex box and threw it at the priest. Oh my threw gosh. it at Henry. And <laughs> Henry looked at me hmm. and said, um, I don't think this is going to work, Ashley. You know, <laughs> so, All right. you know and my, my point is not about the Kleenex box. My point is that he, Sarah, did not want any part of even trying to do anything, to try to figure something out. But were you, um, and, did you think he was kidding at all? Did you, did it even go through your mind that he was kidding? No, no, I could tell he was serious. And then the girls, the teenagers, girls 
Katie and Caitlin. Um, I'm upset. Katie doesn't speak to me. My daughter doesn't really even speak to me. She's almost 30 years old, and to this day, she somehow blames me, and I keep thinking she's going to grow out of this. I've tried everything I know to do, but she can't seem to get over the fact that I chose to come out to California. Mm-hmm. And, you know, of course, I wanted her to come with me, but she was settled in college in Arkansas, and she didn't want to. But I've tried to explain why I made the decisions that I made, and she's coming around a little bit, and she and Zoe talk all the time, and they FaceTime, and, um, but it's still a very strained relationship between the two of us. And then his daughter... Caitlin, who's the same age as mine, um, doesn't speak to him or her, Sarah, at all to speak of, but we are very close. And she lives in Colorado. Um, She lives in Fredericksburg, Colorado. And Zoe goes about once a year out and visits Caitlin and her new husband. And they have a really good relationship. But... um, she certainly doesn't have a good relationship with her dad. And out of the three of them, Zoe has the best relationship with Sarah. And I think that's just because one reason I've encouraged her to, um, my parents divorced when I was six and I didn't see my dad again until I was 18. And so I know that's not healthy. And I, you know, wanted Zoe to have some kind of contact with Sarah So she never regrets not doing that. Mm -hmm. And then when she becomes an adult, she can do what she wants. But, you know, it's it's just been kind of a whirlwind of a mess. But I think he's very selfish because he married two women and had children. Mm -hmm. And I think he's a very selfish person. Run him over, Jane. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) run him over. I probably will. If, if dreaming starts him. taking a vacation to Arkansas, watch out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. of course, I, I agree. I believe that Sarah is extremely selfish. and um, Like my ex. But, but it is what it is. You know, for example, she goes on these weird tangents where... Zoe just got her driver's permit and um, will be driving, you know, when she's 16, I guess. That's, you know, a whole other issue but <laughs> and scary. But um, Sarah had promised Zoe a car, you know, when she starts driving when she's 16. And Sarah can afford the car. I cannot afford it. And so she got her driver's permit a couple of months ago. And called Sarah and said, I got it. You know, she was so excited. And Sarah's reply to her was, well, I've changed my mind. I'm not going to get you a car after all, unless you want to come live with me here in Arkansas. I'm not going to buy you a car as long as you live in California. So it's, you know, Sarah doesn't do, my point of that is, Sarah doesn't do anything for anyone, including her own children, if it doesn't benefit Sarah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, who does that? I mean, it's just, it, it's just, I don't, you know, I don't understand. No one understands her. And I reiterate, it's not the transgender component. It's many, many other things. Right. Yeah. Were you really, I, I think I just would be so angry because he had to know and then like, you marry me, we have a baby, and then you just come out with this, mm-hmm. right? That's like crazy angry. But did he spend the entire inheritance on the operation? Yes, absolutely, every bit. And I had been in a car accident um, a couple of years before. Um, I had been hit by um, a truck that was from a lumber company, and the guy who was driving the truck was on meth, and they had not drug tested him, so. I got a large settlement. I think it was about half a million dollars mm-hmm. uh, for that, and which I needed because I couldn't work for a long time because of the injuries. And without my knowledge, Sarah spent every bit of that 
on all of these surgeries and oh my gosh. all the Sarah escapades. And since we were married, there was really no way I could prove that I hadn't agreed to it. So, <clears throat> you know, so yeah, every dime we had, she spent. So, um, you know, it's just... I wouldn't trust a potato after that. <laughs> you know, I don't, you know, it's hard. And, but it's still at the same time, this was, you know, 13 or so years ago. And it's been up and down. Well, I say that it really hasn't been that long because the domestic violence, that issue was just in 2014. So between 2014 and now, it has steadily been getting calmer. But there for a while, it was just, it was crazy. I have these weird um, phobias that I never had before. Mm -hmm. And my um, doctor says I have a form of PTSD. I don't know if that's true or not. But um, yes. I can't, sure. when the phone rings, I, I have to keep the ringer off the phone. I can't, when the phone rings, like my heart starts beating really fast. And I think that goes back to all of the harassment from Sarah over the phone year right. after yeah. year after year. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't talk on the phone unless I absolutely have to. Like right now, it's different because this, it's not the same thing. But if the phone rings and I don't know who it is, I absolutely won't answer it. So I don't know. There's some lingering effects like that. But, you know, for the most part, I'm very thankful, um, you know, that Zoe's happy and healthy and um, we're here and we're away from that. And she is not forced to see Sarah if she doesn't want to see Sarah. And, you know, that was the main thing. So, well, that's my great... What was that? I'm we sorry. We lost dreaming and we lost the beta. Oh. There's two more less in the... It's because I'm talking... <laughs> I need to let someone else... No, no, no. They're, no, they're back. I really... We're enjoying your story. No, I really do. No, I, I really do. I was just trying to be funny um, about the phone competition. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for letting me kind of. No, it was good. Share uh, that. Yeah, I'm friends, sorry you had to go through that because it doesn't Asking me to write this, you know, in a book. And I know. Yeah, you should. Even though I'm an, I'm an English teacher, but I'm not creative. You know, I'm not a creative writer. I'm an editorial type of writer. I don't, I wouldn't even know where to start. Maybe um, you have a but blog I think already? it would help people, though, oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> because one thing I found from the very beginning of all this is there are books out there for children, for anyone, wives, children, about when your husband comes out as gay. But there's nothing about when this happens, not for children, mm -hmm. not for adults, not right. for husbands, not for wives. There may be a few, you we, know. I think Newfie just peer said review articles, about but nothing a support else. Group or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's even hard to find a group. Yeah. It, it's even though there's a lot of talk about you know the transgender community, and luckily you know the world is more accepting now of that. For this kind of situation, it, it just doesn't really have a place. It, it it's just. Um, it's still pretty much an anomaly overall. Um, there, there's just really not much out there. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, yeah. Susan, so... What is it? Well, so anyway, maybe I can, you know, get, you know, it's it's definitely something I'm entertaining. I don't know. I would have, uh, you know, would have to have maybe help. Start a <laughs> I don't know, maybe ghost start writer a blog. or something. What do people do? Yeah, but maybe start a blog and just put some of it down. You know what I mean? Kevin said if that's you true. Available. What did Kevin say? Ke Kevin said if you need an agent, he's available. Oh. Well, I need an agent definitely. <laughs> 
an ailment. They're That's having. The they're not I need therapy. Therapy. I Definitely need help. Lots of therapy. Who said that? It. Alma. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, they're not believing that to you, Elma. They don't want you to go, Ashley. They like your story. They want to hear more. <laughs> but, well, the thing is, I do, you know, I, I think I've had a lot of time to think about it. And I think back to my childhood, which I promise I'm not going to go into. But there are things in my childhood that I think are connected to the mm -hmm. choices I made when it came to a spouse and things that I probably ignored in the beginning. So, you know, there, you know, there are some, there is a little more to it, but right. um, anyway, you know, I don't know. Were you abused as a child? Um, not physically, um, emotionally, verbally, terribly yeah. by my mother and, um, but not physically, but, that's kind of what I stepped into with my marriage as well. It became physical, but the marriage, but you know, not in the beginning. Right. Hmm. So I was really raised by my grandmother. My mother just didn't want to be a mom, you know, that kind of thing. And I was kind of back and forth. Um, she, uh, was, my mother was a college professor and busy all the time and just really didn't want to be a mom and was very verbally and emotionally abusive but my grandmother kind of was too but in a different way it's a long story never mind <laughs> but i think there's some kind of connection there um maybe i need to talk to my stepdaughter zoe's other half sister she's a psychologist and maybe <laughs> she could help i don't know <laughs> but um you know i just you know i think there's a little more to it that goes back further of why I ended up with someone like that. Not that I could have known that would ever happen. No, There's I mean, no I mean that part of it. Yeah. I mean the the gender part of it. I don't know how you would just know that off the bat if they were no. acting any different. You know, I mean. But the personality in general, I think, um, there's some kind of connection there. Hmm. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys go though, and let someone else talk. Um, I appreciate you listening because it, I always feel better because, you know, talking about this because I don't know, even though it happened a while ago, it, it definitely still affects both my daughter and myself every day. Yes, and in some way, you sound like you're having a very, very hard time dealing with this and accepting this. It, um, in the beginning, I was, I think, now I just pretty much use humor, you know. I mean, that's all I can do at this point. I just, you know, Zoe, in fact, my daughter and I both laugh about it. Well, it's just kind of like, you know, well, you know, it is what it is, and we have some laughs about it. Yeah. But um, well, like in the beginning, says, though, I had a hard time. But it's got to be hard for well, the kids because they had a dad, and then they don't have a dad anymore. Well, well see, I mean, yes, especially with his older daughter, Zoe doesn't ever remember Sarah as a man oh. really? because this happened when she was a baby. So oh. she's seen pictures, but she can't imagine oh. her dad as a man, as crazy as that sounds. She can't yeah. picture it, even though she's seen pictures. She just because she's never known that. Yeah. But so, even then, it's got to be sad because you, you're, you're, everybody's raised where you have that vision of, I don't know. So what does she call exactly. her? What does she yeah. call her? She calls her mom? She, she, no, she calls him daddy um, because that's what her sisters called Sarah. And it just couldn't come out. It I couldn't. I was not going to have her calling Sarah, mom, that was not going to happen. It, it, it just absolutely, that was not acceptable to me for one thing. So then Sarah wanted to be called, and Sarah didn't really want to be called mom. This is, in the very beginning, she wanted to be called, I think, something like Mama Sarah. I don't know, something like that. And then when we moved out here, because Zoe didn't see Sarah from the time she was three until she was six. 
that's when we were in Arkansas alone and Sarah was in San Francisco. So there were years that went by, those formative years, you know, that she didn't see Sarah. Mm -hmm. So then we get here in 2011, right before Zoe started first grade, and Sarah said, "Um, I give up. She can just call me daddy. So, (laughs) So she did, and that's what she called Sarah. That Dad must be weird, though, in a store, though, isn't it, or something like that? What's that? If they're in a, like, I don't know, I mean, I don't think she goes to it, but if she did go to a store with her, wouldn't that be kind of weird? I guess it would, but that never happened. Okay. That was never, that was never anything that happened. They never went anywhere. Um, trying to think, when we were here, if we ever went anywhere, it would be the three of us. And I don't think anybody ever noticed her calling him daddy. I never noticed anyone noticing. And all of her friends' parents, who I'm friends with, all knew from the very beginning because I was very candid with them about what was going on. Mm -hmm. This is a very liberal community. People, you know, were very accepting of it. And it it just never came up. I I don't remember it ever being... You know, an issue of anyone overhearing her say daddy, but if anyone did overhear it, it's obvious why. Because, <laughs> you know, try as she may, she still, you can tell that she's not a woman originally. And, you know, you can, the mini skirt, the makeup, the heels, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, at, at seven so feet tall in heels. Yeah. yeah. So that, and it was so um, short lived those few years that we were doing things like that, like going to school functions or, you know, going to dinner, things like that. It just, it really just never came up, to be honest. Hmm. But, uh, but yeah, she calls her daddy. And, you know, daddy or daddy, Sarah will sign, you know, text or send text and say, this is dad. And it's just all so bizarre now that I'm saying it out loud. It's just really kind of crazy. But but that's what it is. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. So, um, story. yeah, we don't see Sarah often. Um, I think, let's see, we went back to Arkansas two years ago, two summers ago for a funeral and saw her there for a short period of time. Did she have siblings? Yes, she does have siblings. She has, um, she's the oldest and she has a brother who's 18 months younger and a sister who's several years younger. And, um, how, did, how did they take it? Oh, I, I don't even know. It's such, you know, it's, you know, such, it's a horribly dysfunctional family that appears to be perfectly functional and wonderful. Um, I, it's, you know, I've seen all these layers of things through the years of this family. And nobody says anything. It's like everything is superficial. Mm-hmm. Um, with rose-colored glasses on, but there's all this stuff underneath that, that people don't talk about. So it's kind of like that. Um, I have a question. Very, and the mother is yeah. still alive, though, right? She's still alive? Yeah, she is. She's very active. She's in her 80s, mid-80s, 85, I'm, 86. I'm um, surprised they split the yeah. inheritance. Wait, was that the same? Those that They were married? I'm, I'm sorry, the phone was okay, breaking up. I, I, I couldn't I'm, a little, hear. I'm a little lost because I thought you said, right, he, he was scared he wasn't going to get the inheritance if he told them what he was going to do. Right. With it. But that's his mother that was married to his father. They weren't divorced, right? No, they were married. Yeah, they had been married over 50 years. And it's his father who would have disinherited him. He knew that his mother would not do that. But that's his unusual mother that they split the enable is the the mother his mother is a passed, huge enabler right? and for Sarah. Is that and a- so he knew that once dad was dead, mom was going to take care of it. 
And she did. Okay, but he, I'm surprised he got the inheritance if his mother was still alive. Oh, no, no, no. As far as inheritance, what I mean is, well, yeah, he hasn't gotten it yet. But if his dad had known about it, mm -hmm. he would have been cut out of the will. But also, his dad would never have allowed his mother to pay for all of that, to pay for all of these surgeries. Oh, so he took like a loan from the mother on his inheritance? After well, the father died? she's just paying for it. She's just paying. She just paid for it. It wasn't any kind of a loan. It's just she paid for it. Oh, and okay. that no, would not have Can happened if his dad had been alive. You love, I, I'll read the gray one. Okay. <laughs> oh, because I thought you no. said he spent all the inheritance on the surgery. That's like. No, all of what they, well, yeah, it was confusing. All of what his mother gave us. Uh -huh. was for the surgery. None oh. of it was for children or anything like that. So she gave this huge sum of money, and then Sarah spent every bit of it, intentionally, of course, on all these surgeries and things. Wow. So he came She's still going to get an inheritance, family? you know, from her mom. He came from a real wealthy family? Yeah, yes. So, um... You know, what I meant was not the actual inheritance because that hasn't happened yet. But right, right. all of the money that was given hmm. went towards this. Mm. Right. So really it was mostly the father, just his approval and everything. It would have been. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He would not have approved. Right. He would not have approved. Sarah would have been like Charlie. out. Or, yeah, Charlie, because it was Charlie, would have been out. You know, that would be the end of it. So you and or at Sarah least that's what he thought. No, they, Sarah's back oh. in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Sarah's in Arkansas. Mother-in-law is in Texas now, but is from Arkansas. And, um, of course, we're in California. You don't blame yourself for any of this, right? Um... Well, I think that there were signs that I missed in the very beginning when we were dating, not that have anything to do with gender, mm -hmm. but just personality traits that were not good. Mm. Red so, flags? I don't know, maybe a little. Mm. Mm. I'm just interested, like, there's no, there's nothing that would have been, gen and then he was on, like, hormones for, like, six years. Yes, at least. And Maybe you never longer. found any medications or, like, any, tra wow. No, it was injections, and apparently he would go and get the injections. Oh. But you think, um, back then, we'd never heard of any of this, I don't think, you know? Not he must bad. have been really discreet about it. I probably would have never thought the same thing either because well first of all why would you think it but even then i don't know about that. right how many did yeah i don't know it, it just is not something that ever occurred to me i mean i i just never would have thought of anything like that there was nothing that he ever did i don't think that would have made me wonder like he wasn't really involved in your daughter's toys or like he didn't have oh look uh, he, not fashion you said he didn't care about fashion or shoes or anything no. feminine no 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 no, no nothing mm -hmm. um very little interest but was did, like did he fix things around the house did he no he'd hire someone he no he's not no he wasn't able to fix things mm -hmm. um but neither was my first husband. You right. Know, yeah, I mean, yeah, that doesn't he mean He couldn't fix things yeah. either. And he's no. this, right. yeah. you know, Iraq, Persian Gulf of a veteran man. He's still a man. And, you know, as far as I know. <laughs> but he never. Ever... What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Did you ever confront him about taking the hormones while you were trying to get pregnant? No, I didn't know he was. Oh, you mean mm -hmm. after? After mm -hmm. the fact. After yeah. the fact. After the fact, no, I never did. Um, he was so volatile, you know, there wasn't any reason at that point. Because he wouldn't have cared. I mean, you know, it wouldn't. Um, 
Well, he's not a person who would ever really feel guilty. So he, he, he didn't say something like, I, did, I imagine this is really hard on you, like he wasn't... It was all about him. Never. Yeah. And that I think that was the hardest part. Never was he able to say, sorry about this, I feel bad. Mm. It was just the opposite. It was, you need to understand what, I, what I'm doing. This is for me. This is about me. There was never any kind of compassion for me or his mother or family, no one, children, uh, you know, as far as what we might be going through. That was not, that was not a thing. Also, it was only about what Sarah needed to live her best life. And that was it. And there was no going around that. And that's the way it still is. It's always been like that. And there was never an apology or a, you know, I wish things could have been different. Nothing. It's all about Sarah. Mm. And so, you know, that's where I kind of wonder, surely shouldn't I have picked up on some of that personality before we got married and had a baby? I don't know. Um, I didn't. Mm. But I think maybe I should have. Listen, girl, there's too many, cra- you know, too much out there that we all have gone through where we should have known, could we have picked up on, or so you can't do that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I guess not. It's just... You, you can't. You're strong. You did nothing wrong at all, ever in it. Period. Whether he stayed straight or didn't, you know, he could have cheated on you and left you for another woman and given the same thing. Right. Could, you know, There's no, to be honest, that's true. Yeah, it's just, uh, but, yeah, that is true. It's just uh, a lot. You'd have to go through the children too. You know, we all think we have issues and problems right now, but you know, as we always say, it's someone mm-hmm. else makes it worse. And, right. Very strong just, woman for what you've gone through. You know. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I just, you know. I don't feel that way. I think I've just, you know, done what anybody would do, and you know, you move on and. But that's the best you can. You know, every um, day you got up and put your pants on and started the day and kept going. You know, it's crappy as right. it was. And that's what you dealt with. And, and it's hard. You know, it's yeah, hard. Like I'm a lot sure. of people, it's hard getting up every day. It's just, yeah. It's, okay, I have a question. And dreaming has that's a question. Oh, sorry. Or getting oh, sorry. It's just a meeting. You know, it sucks. You know, it's got to. Mm-hmm. But see. somewhere in this, you know, the, okay, there'll dream- be better day. You know, and... and what is this? For some right. reason, you went through this, and, and when it's over, there's going to be somebody great. That... Dreaming yeah. has a question, and I have a question because of Dreaming's question. Dreaming says, um, hold on a minute. Run them over. Let me see what she said. No, no. She said, uh, but then her question, then I felt like a question when I read her question. Now I can't remember if it's my question or her question <laughs> that I'm asking. So just wait a second. I've got to go find her question. Okay. She says, her question is, did he tell the first wife how he felt? Is that why they divorced? Yet my question is, well, kind of compound. It's part of her question and another question. I do want to know Mm -hmm. why they divorced, and I do want to know then um, if you spoke to the first wife about this at all. The first wife was an alcoholic and had an affair and left Sarah for another man. And um. She, I did speak with her. Her name's Karen. <laughs> her name's Karen. <laughs> Karen. Karen. Her name's Karen. And I did speak to her a couple of times, um, just with when we would exchange Caitlin, her daughter, because I would always be the one who would meet halfway for weekends and holidays for visitation. So we would speak briefly, and she... Um, would make just kind of comments like, um, you know, I'm so sorry, <laughs> that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But um, I never talked to her a lot. Um, she's remarried. She married the man that she, you know, had the affair with, and I think they're all fine. But um, so, no, I never talked to her in depth at all. Mm-hmm. But um, but that's what happened with their marriage, and they were both – it was kind of a mutual thing. I, I just – I don't think Charlie wanted to be married to her either. They they just didn't work at all. Hmm. But she never knew anything about this. 
No. Because that came out later, lucky me, you know, after we were together. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I, I just keep, like, I'm the kind of person that would keep going back and looking for something that I missed. Like, you know, I, I mean, yeah. just, just I'm talking about with the gender thing. Because I just think yeah, that, there's oh, got to be something. Oh, I did for years. Yeah, yeah, I did for years. Never could figure it out. Never. And so is his mother. Um, I remember one time I was talking to Francis, her, his mother, and she said, you know, the only thing, Ashley, I've been able to come up with is when I sent him to sixth grade camp. Um, when he came back, he told me that his favorite thing about camp was cooking in the kitchen with some of the cooks. And I wonder if that meant I should have paid attention to that. And I said, I, you know, there are lots of male chefs. Yeah. I don't. I don't think that would have been a signal. But you know, we both, I think, have racked our brains trying to figure out if there was just something, and haven't come. I haven't come up with a single thing. Did he? he did he like buying you clothes? Like, did he buy you clothing and jewelry and stuff all the time? Like, no. really like it? When we were dating, he did. Um, but after we got married, no, he was the kind who wouldn't get you a Christmas present or an anniversary present or anything like that, and which was irritating to me. Um, when we were dating, yes, lots of things things changed after we got married, and that was one. But there are other husbands who do that too, you know, right. who forget anniversaries and that kind of thing. Oh, you know, yeah, that's yeah. you know, sure. So. I just can't think of anything. I've never been able to think of anything. Hmm. Um, you know, he every once in a while he'd get with his buddies and go to Hooters. You know, I mean, <laughs> just you know, it's like, you, it's just I I don't know. It's just not anything that ever was on the radar, right? For me, or his siblings. If it were just me, you know, that'd be one thing. But siblings, cousins, parents, no one ever saw anything friends for decades because Sarah was 50 you know when this was announced and or almost 50 um so you know I don't know did he ever tell you like when he thought that, that something wasn't right that he knew he oh yeah he he says or she says from birth, like as a toddler, I don't believe that. I believe that really is the don't? case with some people. You don't believe but that? I, I absolutely don't believe that. I believe that m most people, that's probably how it is. But I think with Sarah, this is something that happens later in life and is caused by other things because she has so many mental disorders going on. I don't think this is a typical person who is born the wrong gender. And I know people who were, I have students who were, and it's clear, and it's not the same thing. This is something way beyond, um, I think, of course, this is my opinion, but I think this is not someone who just grew up wishing to be a different gender that's interesting yeah I, I i just i don't believe that and his mother doesn't believe that either um of course me and mother that's two different perspectives but i just i i don't think so but that's just from my experience with this person mm-hmm do you think he'll ever regret it? I don't know whether he does or whether he ever will, but I do know that if he, she ever does regret it, no one would ever know. She would never admit it. Yeah. But I don't know. That's narcissist. So, you know, no one, no one will ever know if she regrets it. Yeah. Mike's will never admit being wrong. So, so you What's said, that? I'll say she, yeah, because you said she, but 
um, so she knew the Clintons and everything, like grew up with them and stuff, or? Not until um, um, the parents knew, well, the parents were very influential in Little Rock, and Sarah's brother was an attorney in the same law firm with both Bill and Hillary Clinton in Hot Springs, Arkansas, and that's how they all got to know each other, and then they got into his Sarah's parents got into politics, not running for office themselves, but backing politicians and campaigns. So that's how all that kind of transpired. I mean, that was before my time. I mean, that was before I was with Sarah. I clicked on her picture and it says... Full surgery, Deborah. Ex Moscow. Does that mean she lived in Russia before? Russia. Yes. Um, she lived in Russia. She, um, it's just, even though she's Not a really tax odd, attorney by good. trade, and that's what she went to school for, and right now she works for the IRS as a tax attorney, but that is not really what she's done all these years. She's done these different business ventures, like we have the tomato business. Well, the Moscow thing was right before we met, and Sarah Charlie had gotten together with um, actually the Clintons and a lawyer named Graham Catlett, who um, was our partner in the tomato business, and several doctors from Little Rock. And I still think there was something illegal about all this. I don't know. But um, they went together on this venture in Russia and developed this medical laser technology with the doctor's assistant. And they perfected it somehow and then brought it back to the United States and eventually sold it to a company in Australia. And all that had just happened when Sarah and I met. And that's really all I know about it. What had happened? They had just sold the company, the medical laser technology. Uh Uh-huh. to a company in Australia, but that was right before Sarah and I met. Oh, so that was okay. with the Russia. That's what the Moscow, the Russia connection is. Oh, okay. It was developed in Russia. <clears throat> yeah. Supposedly. It all sounded really weird to me. Uh, still sounds weird to me, but um, that was what I was told. So just, you know, one just different business ventures throughout the years, and some were very successful. That one was. I guess it was legitimate. I don't know. Um, but um, some were not, like the failed tomato business. And there was fraud involved with that. Um, at the time, I just had Zoe, and I wasn't paying much attention, but... But Sarah and this lawyer partner, who's also Zoe's godfather, and you know this whole other thing. But anyway, um, that failed. That went under because they, Sarah can't get along with anyone, and caused that to fail. Wow. Yeah. So. Anyway. Well, well, that was uh. Interesting for everybody. I think everybody got a, yeah. Everybody's got to sleep, Karen. No, no, I think everybody was uh, pretty interested in that. It is very interesting. And I think everybody, I can just picture people like rolling their eyes and picking up knitting no. and making pies. No. <laughs> but my phone is about to die. My phone is about to die, so I'm going to go. Yeah, next time you'll have to get your daughter so we could see you and... Um, I will, get, get yeah. She, she went up. to bed really early tonight. I mean, it's not early now. I mean, it's two here, but uh, she's usually, you know, up on her phone or TikTok or whatever oh. late, and she just conked out tonight. You know, my daughter, one so, of um, never heard of tiny cooking. Uh, she she learned something new tonight from me. Cool. Can you believe that? She was amazed. <laughs> She put it on and she was Is she home for Thanksgiving? Is she home for Thanksgiving? No, it's going to be a, a Zoom Thanksgiving. 
She said her, her boyfriend's yeah, really excited about it. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting we're getting takeout for two from Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. So <laughs> Are you really they have takeout? Oh that's good. I would like that's I They do. Cracker Barrel's good. I like Cracker Barrel. Yeah, I had to start. I looked for one. Um, there are lots of them in the south and in Arkansas, but the closest one here is in Sacramento, which is almost an hour. So we're going to drive an hour just to pick up takeout on Wednesday night <laughs> and then um, heat it up in the oven on Thursday. Okay, that'll be good. Yeah. It will be good. I Yeah, I think it'll be good. Scooter got a but Thank you all so oh, much. I really appreciate the lending of an ear. It actually helps me a lot anyway no kind of get it out every once in a while Are you oh, i love hearing about it i felt like i was reading a book yeah <laughs> you know? that's what everybody says i can't imagine but it i you want know, more, just... more, more i want more details and <laughs> there are a lot more details <laughs> can i can, sure. I, can I ask you something you. can i ask you one other thing and you don't have to answer it if you don't want to answer it um did, did, you, did you ever see him as a her in, you know, in the flesh? Yes, 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 I have. <laughs> and um, not intentionally, but living in the same house, you know, it happened a couple of times. Um, it's just, well, it's just like what men have, there's just nothing there. And I didn't see anything else other than the absence of something. Oh, okay. So, and then she's had... Oh, I've seen her topless several times because she would just walk out into the living room or on the balcony or something, which was ridiculous for all to see. And she's had three boob jobs because each time she wanted them bigger. Oh, good grief. So, yeah. It's just, it's just what you would imagine a man with boobs is right. what it looks like. So, but, but, uh, but <laughs> like emotionally and mentally, that is that really weird because... I'm just trying to imagine by, if, like... For me, by that point, I was so numb to the whole thing, I think, that it wasn't any worse than anything else. Mm -hmm. It's just not something I wanted to see, and I didn't seek it out. But, um, but I did get a glimpse mm -hmm. every now and then. Yeah. But, so, yeah, it's just... It's, it's what you would think it would look like. It's just... Like if Jimmy, you looked at him with boobs and just whatever's <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. And it's not there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, just try to picture it. <laughs> uh, I, maybe that is better not to um, picture that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm getting silly now. I'm getting really silly. Okay. <laughs> with the new highlight on man boobs. Yeah. Yeah. This is, yeah. This is, yeah. Um, I'm sure. Did you ever touch him? I think by then, you know. What would you say, Alma? <laughs> well, it's like by then she would have to just absolutely despise him for what he'd already done. I mean, almost at the point of hatred. So by the time anything to do with me that just it wouldn't be like somebody you really loved and they left you for someone else. Blah blah blah. By that point, I would yeah. think that you know. I've always wondered if, you know, if it would even be, I don't know, I, I don't know, is it worse, like, if they leave you for some other woman and, you know, I don't know, I don't know. It, the thing is with that, it's not worse for the children. It might be worse for the wife, but this is so hard on kids. Yeah, okay. um, if your dad leaves your mom for another woman, you've still got a dad. Right. In most cases. Yes, yes. But in this, dad just kind of... Dad just, yeah, not dad anymore. Is not there. I mean, it doesn't yeah. exist. Hmm. So... It would be way worse. Right, yeah. Well, so strange. You don't trust that anyone, Mom? That is so interesting. <laughs> Sad soul. That's also Carolyn's having nightmares of thinking of Jimmy with boobs. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. I do know that Zoe does have some issues with it though. You think, you know, if you knew her, you'd think there, you know, no, there's nothing bothering her or 
that it's not affecting her, but, and even the psychologist that she went to when she was younger said she was well adjusted and she was fine, but, um, she's been with her boyfriend for almost two years now. And it was only a couple of months ago where she, that she told him about it. Well, I was going to ask. And so I thought, and I think that, you know, shows that she does have issues with it. Well, she, either that 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 or she she could have thought maybe he would have issues with it. What's that? Maybe she thought he would have issues with it too. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. uh, She did, especially because. His family are it's very conservative. Um, uh, they're very religious, Catholic, and she did think that, yeah. and she was worried about it. And just, I said, well, "What did when she told him?" I said, "Well, what did Justin say?" You know, and she said, "He said he, said, he just said, oh, okay, I have a I have a transgender cousin. Uh, we talk to him every once in a while, but not a lot." <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So it's okay. <laughs> and that was that. But she didn't want to tell him, but then she figured she needed to. And in case I guess it ever comes up or he shows up at high school graduation someday, you know, I don't know right, why. Right. But yeah. And I kind of encouraged her too as well. I was thinking, well, she said, well, I'm not lying. And I said, well, no, but sometimes, you know, the omission of important facts is kind of like lying. It's just, you know, something you might want to think about. And then I never, that was months ago, and I never mentioned it again. And then one day she came home, and so she had been at their house for dinner. And she said, well, I told Justin about Daddy. <laughs> I said, do you feel better? And she said, yes, I feel better. And so that was that. Hmm. But, um, so, um, but, but my point on that, you know, is that she does have some issues. I mean, she'd have to have some issues. Who could, who wouldn't have some issues? With well, I think that, I think also, yeah, but like, she's got to also think like, what, what will they, th- I don't know. I mean, I, I would think maybe even if she didn't have issues, but like, what would he think? Like, she doesn't want to lose him if he had an issue, if he, she really liked him. Exactly. And she's always been very, and of course he was fine and his parents know and they're fine. It's just, even though, and she's had all her other friends, all her girlfriends since they were in first grade and they all know, all their parents know, but it's just this like unsaid thing out there. And right. she knows everyone knows, but it's like their parents or their moms have trained them not to say anything. It's really weird. Um, but everybody knows, but nobody says anything. The only one is one of her newer friends, and um, um, her name's Peyton. She's really sweet. And they met in middle school in seventh grade, and they're in 10th now. And her mom is also a single parent, and she had a horrible thing happen with her dad. Her dad committed suicide in front of the family oh, on Christmas oh, Eve oh my gosh. when Peyton oh. was five. He fell into the Christmas tree. It was just an awful thing. Oh my god! So, and Pey- Why and, would he yeah, do something and Peyton like that? remembers it, uh, and so she had to take. The tw- she had twin siblings, a boy and a girl, who were two, and what? she remembers him, you know, having a gun, and mom saying, "Take the twins upstairs," and she did, and she remembers the gunshot, and then she came down. She didn't see him do it, but she heard it happen, and she came home or came downstairs, and he was in the Christmas tree. <clears throat> So oh my somehow, God, do that. I know, isn't that awful? Ah. But anyway, they got somehow, she and Pey- Zoe and Peyton kind of connected with that, even though it's two totally different things, and Peyton's is so much more tragic. It's just, right. they both have that kind of connection mm-hmm. somehow in a weird way. Yeah. So she's the only one that Zoe talks about it with, and Zoe's the only person that Peyton talks about her dad with. So... Um, other than that, it's oh, never oh, mentioned oh. with any of the friends. So, oh, wow. That's, what did you say? How could that girl, you know, that little girl ever enjoy a Christmas tree? I know. 
I don't know, but I Zoe was, spent the night over there the other night, and they had already bought an artificial one. They're put they're going to put it up. So I guess you know. Well, good. I mean, that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And I know Zoe has said that they go to like they go to the cemetery on his birthday and the dad's birthday and on Christmas Eve. And the Peyton dad's, does remember him, but the twins do not. Did you say his birthday was also Christmas Eve? Yes, and they go to the cemetery, and you know, for his birthday and Christmas Eve once a year, like I think, on that day. Oh, his. Okay. Yeah, it was his. It was his birthday, and it was Christmas Eve. Oh my gosh! And yeah. Why would he do that? That's like really. I, I don't know. That's almost spiteful. I don't I know. You know Just, what I mean? I, I have spiteful. no idea. I don't know any of the details. I don't know them well. Um, and you're sure he committed suicide, not even cleaning his gun or something? Oh, no, no, that was it. Yes, the mother has discussed it. Oh. And, I, yes, I, I, the mother has, you know, talked about it. And, uh, no, it was, it was intentional. And I know that his family is very involved with the mother and the kids, Peyton and her siblings. Um, but um, I, I don't know, you know, other than that, I don't know any details. They have just moved <clears throat> from Pennsylvania to here. And I, I don't know, you know, what triggered it or anything like that. But um, uh, that just I just seems know that like Peyton so was five. Spiteful, yeah. doesn't it? What, Caroline? I, it just seems so spiteful to me. Yeah, I, I know. Oh, I think it was. was oh, yeah. yeah. I like, think, I think it was very spiteful. Then, and then why would you do it there? Mm hmm. Right. You know, you didn't think about um, any, anybody else. Like, I mean. Exactly. I, I don't know if he just went totally nuts, if he was totally nuts. I know he was a doctor, a physician, and he, you know, I don't know. I think he must have just gone crazy. I don't know. Wow. But, um, but yeah, he had just moved and opened a practice here in Sonoma County, God. apparently. Carolyn, just when you think you've heard everything? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. Exactly. You just think about what she had to do, you know, like she had to call people and just say that he just did that in front of the Christmas tree yes. and you got the kids and the presents yeah. and really just like the aftermath and of that. Oh, my gosh. And the, another thing, what I think is weird is they lived in that house up until just a few months ago, and then they moved to an apartment um, because she couldn't afford it or some, it had something to do with money. But they lived in that same house up until just maybe three months ago, and this was in 2010. Oh, so I, I, know, I thought that was kind of weird, too. You know, especially like the kids, you said they were like two, two and five? Mm -hmm. The twins were two, and then Zoe's friend was five. You know, they were probably so looking forward to. Oh, I, I that it just seems. So yeah, incredible. I know. I don't know. I I mean, Zoe says she doesn't talk about it much, and Zoe certainly doesn't ask her about it unless she brings it up. But um, they um, I mean, she seems fine. She's over here all the time. You know, they have sleepovers and. Wow. Um. Anyway, that's, that's yeah. That just the crazy so things that happen in life are just you know. <laughs> I know it just seems yeah. It just seems so spiteful. I know. But um, but I think but everyone else in their friend group have married parents, with, which is very good but unusual in itself. And um, they're the only two you know who don't have a dad in the picture, and I think that's why. They connected like mm -hmm. that, and why Peyton opened up, and why Zoe opened up to her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, um, well, my phone is about to die, so I've got to go. But thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it. You have no idea how it helps to just get all that out sometimes. Oh, no problem. Well, thank you for sharing. Oh, want to hear more? Call back. Yeah. Okay. Scooter, Scooter will give you her personal number. In case yeah. it's not online, you can talk to her. 
I definitely will. I um, just but, um, been tweeting, listen to you all day. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I would be that interesting. <laughs> oh, it's very interesting. But, um, but, but everybody have a great Thanksgiving. I mean, I yeah, know it's, you too. we have to stay home. Everybody has to stay home this year. But um, um, anyway, just, um, and your kiddo, Carolyn, is, did you say he had been tested for COVID? Tomorrow they're going tomorrow mm -hmm. um the only symptom my older daughter um, of course all this came through information from zoe but the only symptom she really ever had was um she had a low-grade fever and she couldn't smell or taste anything for a while oh okay but um so, other than that she never had any other symptoms yeah so far so good um, with him so i'm hoping he's they're getting rapid yeah, testing. I don't know whether that means right away or what what the rapid testing means. Yeah, I don't know what that means either. Hopefully, you know, maybe within the day, I would think. Yeah, the rapid test, you'll get it the same day. Oh, really good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. They're running out of those here. What did you yeah. say, Heather? They're running out of the rapid tests here. Oh, really? Yep. Are they the nose yeah, still, test or the? Are, we're still in school. Are they yeah. are they in the nose the rapid ones? Um, Does anybody know? I can't remember what Kelly said. She, uh, I don't think you know, it's not all the way back to your brain. It's not anything like that at all. <laughs> Whatever it was, because oh. Kelly was. But it goes down your throat, doesn't it? I would think. I've heard it doesn't hurt, but it's really uncomfortable. Mm. Um, yeah. Or, I want to say it's not bad at all because she was so scared after hearing what everybody talked about at first. It wasn't bad at all. I can't remember now what she told me. Who, your daughter had to get one? Yeah, she had that surgery a while back and they make you have to have all that. All right, yeah. Know, before. But like our schools are still open and we're not. I mean, mm -hmm. there's one town over from me that's got the numbers have gone up a little bit and they're kind of asking for people to, to crack down on the mask again, but they haven't um, took away eating in restaurants or anything, but Kentucky is shut down for restaurants. And, oh, right. Yeah, uh, everything's know. shut down here, but it everything's been shut down since March, so oh, pretty, really? everything's pretty strict. You never opened up a little bit? We never did, no. Yeah, we've been wide open. Um, <clears throat> but. And now we've got a curfew um, between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m., um, you're not supposed to leave the house. Oh, okay. no, not, that, get, not that I do. <laughs> Except for when your governor went out to eat. Did it be? Yeah, that's it. Wear a mask. Take off Thanksgiving away. I was like, what? Like, right, what? and what went to a birthday party and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. I was like, now listen, we can't play that. I'll do what I want. Y'all do, do what I say. Yeah. yeah. You do what I say, not what I do. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, thanks again, ladies, so much. You're welcome. Thanks for calling yes, in. Yes, you too. Yeah, thank you. Of course. You have a fantastic right. Thanksgiving. Thank, thank you. You time. too. All right. Bye bye. Thank See you, you next time. Thanks, bye -bye. Wada. Thank you. Danielle wants to show us something. Who does, Alma? Danielle. Oh, Danielle wants to show us something. Mm hmm. She, how is she going to show us? Is she here? I don't know. She should call in. Well, Emma, let's see the bird. Show us something fun. Oh, it's dark. I have my lights out. No. I'll uh, talk right now. It's only. Oh, she said, I do not. She's yelling. <laughs> 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 Amy, you're a trip, girl. You're a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and the only time we call in is when somebody's talking. <laughs> well, at that last time. I was uh, patient. Huh? I've been patient. I know. I'm glad. Talking, talking a lot. Let's hear some stories. I don't have stories. Oh, you do too? Everybody does. Mm -hmm. It's hard to think. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. It's 2 o'clock in the morning for me. What's the last key car you keyed? It's 4.30 here. Mm, my ex's. Oh. It was hard because she had to bring door doorbell camera. 
You got caught? No, no. I oh. used a disguise. You used a disguise? Mm hmm. Oh. She's here tonight. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-mm. Well, how are you doing, kiddo? Mm. Can't complain, I suppose. Could always be better. You're sounding so shy. I know. Pardon me? You sound very shy, and so you're shy. not so shy in the chat. But you're not in the chat. Of course I am. No, you're not. No. Oh, Lord. Yes. Did you just say that? Oh, Lord. Just filter Ooh. everything I say. Bless it. No, Dreamy, how about you show us? You're the funniest one in the bunch. I doubt it. That's Scooter. Okay, no. well, we need to see the bird. You have a really quick humor. Mm -hmm. That's Scooter. There's a lot of funny people. You, Kevin Leonard, Danielle. A lot of, there's lots of comedians in here. Tina Fina, you always have me rolling. God, I'm Everyone's rolling. witty in here. Yeah, Tina's really good. Y'all together are trouble. They they always say we're not funny and we're boring. Sorry. Huh? They always the trolls always I mean like those like bully people always say we're not at all funny and we're very boring. Yeah. Danielle said but, scooters are drunk here. Right. Well, I know. <laughs> I am. I drink every night here. Every night. Yeah, that woman on the panel that drinks every night. Not a secret. Every night. I was thinking to myself, mm -hmm. who was that? Who was she talking about? Every night. Who's the she talking about? Scooter's got quite a reputation around YouTube now. Yeah, I do, I guess. Scooter, you got to quit getting around. And I she's always so. looking for a fight. She's out looking for mm -hmm. a fight all the time. <laughs> How's Rabbit Dog? <laughs> 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 You had your rabies oh, shot. I haven't rabies? heard anything tonight. <laughs> he's uh, let me say, what is it, a rabbit? He's turned. That's he's turned. I guess, yeah. That's why he's called Rabid Dog. Well, you've been texting him today, haven't you? No, not today. Well, I did, and he would never answer. Sam, oh. I don't have a ring, darling. I don't Lisa's. believe all the stories you hear. I heard Heather's engaged. I oh, know. Here, here we go again. Y'all are so funny. I'm like dead asleep and I hear my name. And I'm like, who's, talk, who's talking about me? Oh, well, Jackie, everyone. Diane is from this France. Is Hi, me. Diane. How's like, France this morning? Diane is here from Hi. France. Hi, Diana. Oh, Diana. Did you get Our to see the Eiffel girl. Tower? One day, take us to the Eiffel Tower. Yes. Oh, she's in Paris. Diana's in France? She's from France, Diana. Oh, no, no, Diana so... Maloney? Yeah, from yeah. France. No, she's in France. Yeah, she's in France. Oh, well, she's from France, she's not there now. No. No, she lives in France. Yeah. Don't you love her French accent? Don't you love her French accent when she comes on? Oh, yeah, definitely. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was from South Africa. No, that you're thinking of um, uh, belly South dancer. Dancer. Belly Dancer. Oh, okay. Oh, Belly Dancer's from there? South Africa, yeah. She sent in that video, remember? Well, yeah, I know she is, but I don't know. I'm just kidding. Hi, Lisa. I always forget. Bonjour. Didn't we Bonjour. have a fire eater on the, in the chat? We do? No, we had one. A oh, fire dancer. No, no, no. Fire eater. I don't know exactly what she did, but something. No, something. It, it, it was a fire. No? It's a fire mm. dancer. Fire dancer. That was at, at Sierra yeah. Fire. At Sierra oh, yeah, fire. yeah, yeah. That's her. That's her. She's still, yeah, she's still in Slack. Oh. Dances with fire. Still <laughs> dancing away. <laughs> Scooter's she's trying to brush. That's right. Brushy brush. brush. Hi, puppy. Brushy brush. brush Gail, are you singing brushy brushy now? <laughs> Yeah, singing Elmo. Not at the moment. I know. I think when I brush my hair tomorrow, I I'm going to sing that, that song to myself. I keep singing. I've been brushy, trying to brush, say. Brush, but it's not Throw ball. She Gail's comes up. She's, she's oh, just like a kid. You. you try and sew, 
and then mm. she wants you to throw ball. Right now she wanted to be brushed and I'm mm -hmm. trying to cut notches in the masks. What kind oh, of I dog is she? It's what so kind adorable. is she? Sing the song you remember her. my story? The Heinz 57, you know, whether she's supposed to be Maltese. Jitsu, oh, right, right, she's yeah. Probably yeah. Maltese, so, uh, what is it, Australian oh. Terrier, and I'm not going to write adorable. a... Um, I want I'm not her. putting that strongly water letter because it's not her fault. Right, yeah. Scooter wants her. I have one like I that. Do. I want her. Scooter wants her. She's, she's amazing. She's not going to give her to you, Scooter. She reminds me oh. a white Toto from yeah, the Wizard of Oz. But she's not going to give her to you. I'll pay you for her, whatever you want. <laughs> you know, I can put her in a puppy sling and eat, and eat a three course meal over her head. Yeah. And she's fine. She will look at me saying, you better save me some. Ooh. <laughs> How do you keep her eyes from tearing and staining? Does she have any trouble um, with them? I, yeah, I clean them all the time. No, do you? I get the yeah, to yeah, do no, her we diet. Do, we do well. get that. Mine are harsh. My little one, she's horrible. I mean, horrible. Yeah, what are you feeding mine her? Too. Who? What am I? Uh huh. Um, I think it has a lot to do with her diet. Well, I've tried that. I've tried the water changing. I tried the powder stuff. Yeah, I've done that. All, I've done all that too. Oh my gravy! The only thing that helped was they gave her some kind of medicine at the vet for a little while just to try, and then I was doing something else too, like a probiotic for dogs for a minute. And all that together at one point was kind of working, but I'm telling you, it's just too Did much. you ever try yeah. angel tears or something they call it? Yeah, I tried that. Angel that doesn't eyes. work? There's also something yeah. you can put in their water, but yeah, she that's, doesn't that's drink what it. I think the angel tears are or something. Yeah, I tried that, and um, I don't know. And then she, she licks her paws and stuff a lot, and they say... Uh, I got anxiety, you know? Oh, it's cool. All right, you going to go and play, or... You gonna go play? I'll play right now. <laughs> oh, you wanna go to bed? Are you done your brush? You've done your brushies. Does anybody oh, remember how the brushy brush song? It doesn't go brushy brush brushy. No, that's not that's mm -hmm. not it. Oh, yeah. Alma! Did, Alma put in the. Oh, Alma, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Sing what the was the song, song that you put in Slack? The shavy shave. Oh. Yeah, no, but you put the other one up with it. Was it not? Oh, Elmo? the Elmo one. Elmo. What is it? Um, brushy. Oh, the toothbrush song. Yeah, yeah, that's the Elmo. Oh. <laughs> that's all right. A few versions of it. Brushy brush. Oh, I can't remember it now. Yeah, it's on Slack. It's oh, on no, no, no. Also, you, somebody put the one in from Happy Days. Green. Not that's Happy oh, Days. Oh, no, no, no. It's Grease, no? Good Grease. <laughs> from the movie Grease. Oh, now I've got yeah, there's different versions. I was wondering, <laughs> please do the drawing soon. She's yeah, yeah. Soon. Who's got, who's, who said that? Well, wait a minute. I think you're going to continue to the about screen it. at the end of the night. Oh, who said that? Dreaming. Oh, she's anxious for the drawing. Okay. Did anybody make doggy toilet paper today? Uh, doggy toilet, oh, the little, t oh, you uh, made it? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh my Can gosh. you read the names, please, oh. so we see I, that we have them right? Yeah, Everybody I'm just going to mute you for a for second. That. Okay, go ahead. Scooter's going to be announcing the names in the drawing. If you don't hear your name and you should be in the drawing, speak now or forever hold your peace. Yeah, if you were up here on the panel. Okay. Thank speak you, Dorsey. Now or okay. forever. I left out. Uh, oh, and Mama from? T said, she said, give her prize to somebody in the United States. Don't put her in. And so did Leah. Sorry, take her out. Yeah, and Leah said that. Wait, this is a drawing for what? A no well, one of three. We're going to have three winners for a gnome. Okay. And, and Juju, Juju pause. Yep. Okay, here's what we're going to have to do, too. We have to have some rules. The person that wins first gets to pick their choice, I, I think, right? And then Juju, Juju said she wants the gray if she wins first. That's I can't name. hear you. You can't hear me again? Oh, my God. Because you were breaking up. I was Ooh. breaking up. Okay. Juju Ooh. said, okay, here's what we're going to have to do. You're going to have to pick three numbers or whatever, whatever they are. And then if the person is going to have to pick out of the three, and then there'll be two, and that person will get, the next person will get to pick their two, and then the third one will go to the third one. But okay. Juju positive said if she was to win she and she gets a choice, she would like the gray one. 
Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna put that gray next to hers. Okay. I still say this. Okay. So we have Atticor 21, Earthbound Spirit, Leah Jane. No, Leah said no. She doesn't want to be in it because she's in New Zealand. Oh, so Leah Jane and Teresa Smith are both out? Right. Okay. They said give me those two entries. <clears throat> and then Davida. Right. Heather. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dreaming. Mm hmm. Ashley. Yes. Juju Positive. Right. Gail B. Right. And Oma Fingerdo. Right. Am I forgetting anyone else? Who else do we have on Adacor? Got Gail B. Oh, wow, Danielle C. Ugh. Did we have anybody else on? Well, I'm glad you said it done, but that's going to be a pain in the you Wait know a second. what. Didn't huh? we have somebody else on in the beginning? No. No, no. The first one that came on was. Wait a second. Earthbound. Earthbound. Mm -hmm. And out of core. Out of core. Davida finally got on. I don't think there was anybody, anybody else. Anybody else in the there? chat? Speak, speak now. If we forgot someone in the chat, speak now. I know. He's I know. doing You're a drawing for gnomes, Diana, for whoever came up on panel tonight. You're my princess. There we go. You're my princess. Yeah, three gnomes she's giving away. Tonight we're giving away three gnomes. There'll probably be some I'm more gnomes. I'm putting later. my name in it, if you notice, and I would like <laughs> some no, 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 kudos for that. You, you, <laughs> I might find another gnome for you hanging around, Scooter. I, have I don't know. That's fine. I have a box, Scooter. Carolyn, oh, him and Sid, check out Willow. Okay, Willow I guess that was it. And Westies. The letters do. Check New letters. I'm going to cut them out real quick, okay? I was just looking at Westies. How did you know, Scoot, uh, Kevin? <clears throat> did you mix them up? My princess. You have to show everybody. I make a little teeter right, You're mixing up everything. They want to make sure their names are in. Common. I gotta go. Did she say your name, Heather? I don't think so. Did she say Heather's name? I gotta go. You better ask her when she comes back. Where the heck are my scissors? I just add them. Oh, oh boy, now she's going to get aggravated. Oh, she didn't even have it cut up. I got them. She's going to cut somebody else's, the people she wants to win. Mm. She cut their pieces bigger. I answered the line. Now I'm not uh, putting my <laughs> name down at all, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It will be everyone on the panel. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? It will be everyone. I'm not getting in it. I read you the names. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You heifer. <laughs> I'm going to watch you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right, Lisa. She said my name. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Diana, did you want to be in it? You could call in really quick. I'm cleansing my bed. What do you have in your bed? I have crumbs in my bed. I ate cinnamon toast a minute ago. Oh, no. Oh, don't you need that? Careful. Give them a good shake. Where are you going to put them? you have a can or something to, to shake them in? Uh, I'll put them in a dish. She's going to put them in a dish. They're not going to be shaken well in the dish. Yeah, Scooter. I don't have anything. Do you have a jar or anything of a vessel of any kind? What about what about that little I'm box? That I, what about the little box I made you, Scooter? Oh, here we go. Oh, I'll get that. Yeah, good idea. It's in her car trunk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she uses it for an ashtray on the back porch. <laughs> she left it out in the rain and it's all soggy. Welcome, Danielle. We want you to get well soon. <laughs> get that leg fixed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> she said, no, it's okay. Thank okay, you. Sam, I don't feel offended that you're rooting for Elma to win that thing. I've been on here all night trying to win this dang thing. Wilma <laughs> comes on for 30 minutes, go win one. <laughs> Jelly. Oh, Jelly. 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 Jelly.
I know, right? <laughs> I have the best one. Okay, I'm going to go get that little box. Oh, here we go again. I thought you said it was Danielle wants to I get the Danielle little box. Wants to show us. Oh. I have to pretend I still have it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I must have left it at the other house. Silly me. I know. I hope they're rounded scissors. Very round. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I'm trying as fast as Hi, I can. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just playing. Hey. Hi, Doopy. Now watch Scooter try to get the top. Oh, she got it right off. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, Noopy. Yeah. Put and I'm not going to look. Put it in. Shake them up like this when you put okay. all the paper in. Put it in real I'm good. And then when you read the first name, you know, you always say like, um, dreaming. Okay. Something like that. You make them freak out. Throw us off. <laughs> that that'll, that'll be that'll Ashley be crazy was, if dreaming is the first person. Ashley, Ashley was on there trying to tell a story so serious, and then was coming in as Wilma Fingerdoodle or whatever. We want Scooter to read it, and I'm sitting there laughing in the background, trying not to laugh. Are all the, okay, everybody, pay Scooter. close attention. Are they all in there? Yep, they are. Okay, she's she shaking them up, me. people. No, but it was so embarrassing. Can you hear them? She's shaking them up. <laughs> people. I'm thinking, what are we? They're being sh I'm shaken. Thinking. Okay, and I'm going to close my eyes. Okay, just take one at a time, okay? Pick the first one. Yeah, making sure none fell out. Okay, yeah. Just pick the first one. Tracy Klaus. You got it? Yep. Who is it? Oh. Ashley Vestal. Ashley Vestal. Is Ashley Vestal still in the chat? Uh -huh. Vestal? Ashley, are you still in the chat? Which one do you want? I'll show them to you if you're still in the chat. There's uh, this red one, <laughs> and he's got the reddish and white hat, and then there's this red one, and he has just like a Scandinavian red and white hat, and then there is the gray one. This the gray one. Gray. Okay. No, I'm not talking about the gray one. Mm -hmm. What one would you like? Is Ashley still here? No, Ashley, please be here so you don't throw this hole off. Please, Ashley. I think is that her, her battery was low. If she didn't reply, she she loses her entry, right? Ashley, please be here. Oh, they have to be present. Well, no, mm -hmm. I, I no, I just wonder, like, cause she'll pick the one she wants. <laughs> Ashley, please, please, Ashley. He's gone. She's asleep. Mm -hmm. Ashley. I think she was tired. Mm -hmm. Your battery was low. <laughs> Ashley, did I, did Ashley say which one she wants? One, one. Ashley, no, she's seriously not in there. Nope. Ashley, yeah, she's gone. her battery was low. That's all I know. Just pick oh, whichever battery. one was in the middle. I don't even know which color you had. How about the middle one? Let's go with that. Make it easy. Okay, second one's Earthbound Spirit. Oh, is Earthbound oh. Spirit here? What now? Stop I haven't cheating. seen her either. I didn't see you not look. I, I, I'm not. I promise. I'm. I'm not looking. I promise. Mm -hmm. I think I she promise. Comes. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Third one is. So you got Ashley Earthbound and. Have a gracious loser. <laughs> write this down. Ashley Earthbound. And dreaming. And dreaming, and they're all not here, right? Yep. I'll, ha I'll have to. If to. you have a fourth one, yeah, you can give that. Why don't you give that fourth one to Heather? No. Well, we're, My we'll, get we'll wrong. probably have other <laughs> contests. I want to uh, win the right way. Yeah, I'm we're gonna playing. have contests. I'm It'll be like you know, kind of like the twelve. What is uh, what does they say? The twelve days of. I don't know. We'll, we'll be giving out prizes. I'll, I'll have more. Don't worry. It's okay. I don't ever win anything anyway. Oh, stop it, Heather. But I'm so glad for everybody else. Especially <laughs> <laughs> an engagement ring. 
actually needed it, and Dreaming definitely deserved it. It's her birthday. I'm not lying. And then Earthbound Lady, that was great for her. You want a man? Huh? You have a man? A we'll get you a gnome, Heather. Don't worry about it. Did you stick around? Engagement ring. Yeah, right. Let's see. What, what? Yeah, Dreaming just left. She wanted her. So I'll just put it in Slack, and and, and it'll go Ashley, um, Earthbound, and Dreaming, right? Yep. Yep. I'm so sweet. We'll play another game. I'm going to grab one more, see who would have gotten. Yeah, let's see. (laughs) Screw Heather. Heather, it's you. No, it won't be. I promise you, watch and see. It's Davida. See? Oh. Keep going, keep going. I promise you. I know my Sorry. love. I promise you. See if she would have been next. No, I wouldn't. I'll be last. I'll next be one would have been Wilma Fingerdo. See? Oh my gosh, Heather. See? Next one, Heather. Oh, ah. Thank you. Heather. How many's left? That's crazy. Uh, three. Oh, next cool. one would be. Juju positive. Oh, what you do? Well, it's good to get people on the panel, so we'll have to have more <laughs> giveaways. And I have. AOB. Last one is Adacor. We'll have more uh, gnomes. Oh. I'm sure I have more gnomes. Don't worry about it. I'm sure I have more gnomes. Well, honestly, it was a good because you call. We're trying to get people to call in. That never been yeah. too. We'll be having. No, it's I'll, be, I'll be getting giveaways. It's going to be the the uh, the giving um, the December of giving. November. You have them written down then, right? The I'm going to go write it in there now and let them. Uh oh. I need to here. send you. I've got an extra diamond. Uh, painting that I bought for uh, my son's girlfriend. Oh, yeah, we're going to have diamond painting. Why, they broke up? Yep. So I really? It. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, wow. Hi, Hi Alma. It's Leisha. Hi. How yeah, are I've got to get things. Uh, I've gonna, I'm, we're going to have lots of giveaways. And we have more gnomes I, coming up, I promise. I'm so glad you Mrs. called in Jenna finally. Knight. Mrs. Huh? Jenna Knight. I'm so glad you finally <laughs> called in. I've called in before. With your sassy self. Not me. You're so sassy. Come on now. A scooter. No, scooter is Indiana sassy. You're like LA sassy. <laughs> Come on now, girl. Uh, I'm glad he called first in. First winner was who was the first winner? Mm-hmm. Ashley, right? Is she I Ashley? had to say hi. Is she in like, Slack? Oh huh? I haven't she... heard you in a while. I don't Heather, know. I'm if sorry she you didn't know. win. She Oh, that's okay. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. We were planning your wedding last night and everything. I heard. I woke up to some kind of mess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, be happy. I'm going to say, I think we've only been out, let's see, one, two, maybe three times. Y'all have me already having a funeral. Maybe? Wow. A funeral. <laughs> the the wedding. wedding. With that yeah. guy? Say it again. You've been out three times with this guy uh-huh. this week. I think no, awesome. only like one time since I talked to y'all. Because I'd been out with him twice, you know, before the wreck. So it, kind of, <laughs> it, it kind of impaled me when I hit the moose. <laughs> what, what, oh my god, I miss so much. You driving around it. with a deer in her grill. What? Me, so mad. <laughs> he wrapped all over my car. Oh <laughs> my! Where have I? I these, Stupid Baclofen takes my brain away. Stupid. So wait, where'd you meet this guy? Well, it's kind of a friend at a funeral. They're laughing at me calling it a funeral. Well, it's the truth. Um, a friend of friends kind of. Carolyn, I don't see any of them in there, but I know Dreaming's in there. What happened? Yeah, Dreaming's hung in there to the last second. She must have fell asleep. I was looking at her birthday. She was sitting in front of the fireplace. I know she must have fallen asleep. She had a big day. It's her birthday. Was it her Casey. birthday? Casey Darcy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Heather just had a birthday too. Not too long Maybe. ago. Mm-hmm. Eleven eleven. So you really? That's my mm-hmm. number. Are you kidding? You were born mm-hmm. on eleven eleven? Eleven eleven. That is so Mm-mm. cool, Heather. Veterans Day, and when I was little, I used to get so mad because you couldn't get any mail on the day because it was a holiday, and you couldn't ah. cash a check. 
And back then, oh, everybody mm-hmm. wrote So you should be so mad because I'd be like, you can't mail me anything. You have to give me cash. We'll try <laughs> having December 19th. You compete with Jesus, okay? In Colorado, there's always a snowstorm. We're on, like, Christmas break. I always had finals in college on my either my birthday or everybody was already flying home or whatever. Said so. soul said, oh, f- funeral for the moose. That's right. Oh, my God. You had a moose? Well, yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's not like, that's kind of like kind of being kind of pregnant. Well, either okay. you have to move or you don't. <laughs> well, you know how they you're say either that. pregnant or you're not. <laughs> you know how Dad tells a story about catching the fish and it was only this big, but it was really this big. Well, that's kind of how the deer looked when I when I all of a sudden saw it. It looked like a damn moose. That's all I can say. It was big. <laughs> oh, okay. So you hit something. You just don't. I really hit a deer. It looked like Her, a moose. It what? was like Her whole friend is was gone. Yeah, a buck, but it just, by golly, looked like a moose. When I, yeah. That kind of Are you that. okay? Yeah. My feelings are that hurt. That could kill you. Well. <laughs> Your feelings are hurt. I know. It's just kind of mad. Listen, my son-in-law came to cut the front end off the car. <laughs> he sounds oh funny. But he sounds so redneck. But he really did because it was hanging off. And he's like, <sighs> Mama. Go inside. And I go, why? He goes, because it's really going to hurt you in a minute when I cut this off. I'm like, oh, oh, my God. But it really kind of did. I mean, just like the whole, it's all good. I love that he knew how to do that or he yeah. knew what to do. Well, he was just, yeah, he was just trying to make it where it'd be drivable at that point. <laughs> well, so funny. So it didn't total your car. No, no, just the whole front part, just the cosmetic okay. part, just three thousand oh. dollars. So the engine is fine. Yeah, all that's good. Except Do you have a big car? car? Do you have a big truck, SUV? No, I have a car. Car. Oh. The whole front end, like the headlights and Marjorie. the fuller and all that's gone. Marjorie? Or the what do we call it? Oh. Fog lights and all that stuff. But um, and I have to put a new radiator bracket in but the whole You're part lucky. that they ripped off they um that we have it zip tied so i asked my son one day why he was wanting his dad to take take him to school because uh-huh. my, he has to ride in the back seat because the passenger door won't open so he has to ride in the back seat and he's like i think i'll get dad to take me to school i go what what's the problem is it the multicolored zip ties that are hanging out from under the car or the fact you have to get in the back seat Oh my god! Oh, it's so bad. It's the it's the metal on metal noise that yeah everyone oh, yeah, hears every now and three then. blocks away. It <laughs> <laughs> comes out there. Every now and then, little plastic underneath starts dragging the ground. It just makes the noise. It's so embarrassing. So, wait, are you even supposed to be dragging it? Well, I can only drive during the day, and I try not to go really far. I mean, it's not hurting anything, but it just. How do you it's get it fixed? It's near, it's definitely not aerodynamic right now. <laughs> it's, it's got, it's got is, that how they, is that how they do in Tennessee? They don't take it to the garage or what? Is well, that- yeah. I mean, it's still I, what I'm waiting on is to get all the parts in and then get the rental car and then they take it. So I'm just kind of waiting. Are the you stupid sure thing's you're not doing in, more damage to it? In COVID. Oh God. Well, on top of that, I just put four tires and had it aligned, so now I have to buy two more tires and have it realigned. So, Darn but then my son I'm just glad you're okay, because seriously, people die from hitting a, a deer. I made it all these years and never hit one. And I've been so upset. Knock wood. Everybody knock wood. Like, I don't even want to talk about the poor little deer, because I was upset. But, dang it. It was a moose. I have a question. It really was. Kevin Leonard, are you there? Kevin Leonard, did you tell me about the puppies? Who told me about the puppies, Scooter? Kevin Leonard. Puppies. What were puppies? Kevin Leonard, where did you say the puppies were? And how did you know at that very time I was looking at puppies? He cloned your computer. I I think he, yeah, I'm sharing it with Kevin. (laughs) He's he's, he's hacked into it. He's he's watching me. He's a a double agent. Yeah. 
he he's really ingratiated himself <laughs> with us. You know, he who he used to. It's mod just so for. weird. It's I Big know. Big time drama. I know. So it's come just on now. so Kevin never thinks we have drama in here, even if we like. He'll never think there's drama in here. Everything would be like <laughs> La La Land because he came from a land that was insane. <laughs> Like, you think this is drama? Mm -mm. You haven't seen drama. <laughs> right, Kevin. Yeah. Kevin, um, where were, how'd you know I was looking at puppies, Kevin? He said something about willow something, right? Elm, I do get a kick out of some of it. Then I get bored with it, and it's always the same thing. What? I go through my periods of it. What? Alma says, Scooter loves drama. She does like drama. She always <laughs> says she doesn't watch it, but anytime you call, she'll be like, oh my gosh, look what's going on over here. This is crazy. It's going to get thrown <laughs> off YouTube. I do tell you, don't I? <laughs> and I'll be like, what? And then she'll go, I'm not really watching it, though. <laughs> Scooter, Scooter, do you have like a purple and red shirt on? Is it like iridescent? Yes. It looks so cool. Thank you. I like it. Thanks. And I like your pen, too. It's all spiky. Yes. This is the kind Heather has. They're really comfortable. See, I can never see you guys in chat in, like, when I'm just watching it. But now that I'm on Zoom, I can actually see you. Yeah. Because it's always too small. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kevin left. Did he? He, I don't didn't, know. he didn't leave. I don't, he didn't. He's, not, he's not answering me. What do you want to know? He, he said, said there Willow were puppies. Wood. He said oh, there, there were he puppies. Is. At 4.54 or 5.54 your time. Kevin, where yeah, are you? Willow Wood, whatever that means. He said. Willow Wood? That sounds scary. Where is that? I hope it's not one of those fakers on Facebook. What did you look it up? He oh, said something about no. Are... You hit a wallaby. Oh, oh Deborah, How upsetting. Mm -hmm. You know, they think of them as like vermin. I know. Yeah, I said but I... I nearly hit one. But maybe she doesn't. Oh. She can be trying to compare to my moose. My brother, my brother just <laughs> hit a kangaroo. <laughs> no. Really? Yeah, a little one. Oh. Oh. oh no. It's no. Just no, nothing nearly. can talk about it. They're everywhere. Emus, wallabies, kangaroos. Oh my mm. gosh. They're everywhere. The they're overpopulation. Oh. They're I'm everywhere. Sorry. But when you hit a kangaroo, do you check inside the pocket to see if there's a baby? Oh yes. Oh really? if you can. If you can, you can you really, really need to be careful. You oh. you first check whether it's a, a man. Right? Right. Uh, I'm <laughs> <Amazing. laughs> <laughs> if you run. I'm not big a boy on you. Oh, and then you run if it is a big run. fella. <laughs> and then, um, yes. Wait. Because um, they kick you, right? But what if it's, oh, yeah, if what if it's dead? What if it's dead and you hit it in the back and the, the baby's okay in the pouch? Oh, so if it's a mama yeah. and there is you there is real pacific ways of removing a joey can you just a pick him out of there? can you just pick him out of there no it's technical it's quite technical ah, it is it but yes um what you, what you do really really quickly is you google it again and um make sure you're doing it right um i helped a friend raise a kangaroo that a joey that went back in Rupert, whose name was. He he actually ended up going back into a um, what are they called? Wildlife preserve. Yeah, like that. Yeah, kind of. It's not not a kind of a petting zoo, but not a petting zoo. Um, so people can still see them, but they're still out there for real. I would keep them. Elma. Can't against law. Really? They're, not, they're not going to find yeah, me. Big, big permanent measurements of your property, measurements of your house. Um, How would they find me? Oh, you get dobbed in. 
How? You go, uh, sorry? How would they find me? <laughs> <laughs> you get somebody dobbed go, in. Somebody go Every, like everybody dobs in each other. Um, oh, you mean the, somebody snitches? Every, you mean there's a snitch? Yeah. Yeah, there's always a snitch. Oh, always boy. a snitch. Oh, snitches end up in ditches. And, but do you want to know how big a kangaroo gets? Pretty big. You can't hide a kangaroo. But what if he's tame? He could sit on the couch and stuff. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Yes, but the kangaroo would be bigger than your couch. Really? Oh. Really? My axle check. What Kevin about a wallaby? That... Could you cape a wallaby? Nope. Really? She ain't really? worried about puppies now, Kevin. Wow. There's some even of the, the um, well, the snakes and the lizards you can't keep either. So you can't oh. keep anything, even if it's abandoned? No. What no, about no, a bird? No. I need a permit for a flying squirrel. And what about how one of those birds? What about how birds? heavy do kangaroos get? How what much about one of those cockatoo, rose-breasted cockatoos? Uh, dep- you found a little one. It's just sitting there, like no mother or anything. Okay. Um, I had a cocky for about, oh, how old did it get? I was six when I got it, and I think it was about 30 and they came and when it, it away. died. Now that was taken out of a nest by my nana. Right. For my sixth birthday. Now come oh, it wasn't it's not a cocky, it's a galah. I think it's oh, the gal- gray, yeah, yeah, galah. The the pink and the grey galah. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. all call them different things, okay? Yeah. And its name was Cocky. Um oh. now there are certain certain ones they all need permits. Now, you can have a finch, you can have a budgie, you can have, um, just trying to think, all those sorts of things, but you cannot have wildlife. So someone snitched on you after seven years of having it? Of what? No, no, my cocky, I had 30, (gasps) it was 30 plus years old when it died. It can live to 100. Oh, so nobody nobody snitched. Right, no, no. No, it can, they can live to 100. It must got bit by a spider because cocky can live to 100. Oh, okay. What do you mean? Bird? Some kind of bird? Yeah. Cocky. Uh, a gla. Cocky. 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 A cocky. It was cocky. pink and gray. You know My nan got. <laughs> Carolyn, you I know. know she's talking about. <laughs> she's her, cocky. It's her pink and gray cocky. She's going to bed with cocky. <laughs> <laughs> Go overstroke the cocky. Kevin. <laughs> I Carolyn, thought somebody Kevin took her cocky. Touch it. it could sing. It would sing and dance and <laughs> say some nice words. And it and used to Kevin, imitate the back gate. Yeah. So you know when the kids would come home, you'd hear the back gate. The, the gate go bang, bang, and it imitate it. Mm, bang, and it would pull out all the kids' names. <laughs> There's some damn oh. nuts around here. An oh my god. Oh my god. Somebody say a whale. Oh like, we god. literally scared Taper away last night with the brushy brush. I know. I she was like, I'm like, going to go now. Okay, I'll, I'll, um, like, I'll see I'm you guys go. around. As I tried two days here. I don't know how I managed, but uh, I'll see you guys around maybe sometime. <laughs> yeah, I'll, just, like, I'll just make out my internet's run out. She was probably <laughs> sent by a drama channel. Like, just just go hang out with them. See if you can yes. make it two days with them. All right, I'll try two like, days. You're like, call in, call in. Yeah, call hurry. In They're probably and... telling her in your ear. They're probably in a Discord group. Just say you like the brushy brush song. Just say it. <laughs> she, she's she's like, like, I thought I was talking I to was the there for two days, and the brushy brush was the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> Couldn't take it anymore. Oh my god! It was so funny. You could literally like hear her backing away. She's like, okay, I'm gonna go now. Everything's okay. I'll see you around. Awesome. Kevin, they don't have any puppies. Who was this? Somebody came on the channel. I mean, on the panel that was. Yes, for two days. No, she was, was lovely. Awesome. She, she was gave a lot of information and stuff. Yeah, for two days. Oh, she that girl. Her. Yeah. And then paper, she was really nice. Paper. Yeah, paper fairy. Yeah. And then at the end, she was like, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to go yeah. and I'll see you guys around. I said, you're not going to come back anymore? You're, you're, you're done with us? Giddy. Oh, like, I'll try to stop back. 
See, she doesn't have that unconditional love yet. No. But she well, might she, she might find herself. Her up you know, she probably, if she team. was set up, she might have really liked it here, but can't tell her friends. Yeah. As like well, my daughter But we did go over the edge for maybe, you know. For the lot of people don't dog, do brushy brush, brush and mm. everything else we do. She said like she when I, my, I told my daughter asked me about the internet and how I was coping, and I said, oh, I think I'm jealous. And she said, You're not jealous, mommy. You're scared you're going to miss out on something. <laughs> FOMO, FOMO, fear of missing out. FOMO, fear of missing out. Fear of missing yeah. out. And she hit it the nail on the head. Right. <laughs> See, but we're not for everybody. I know, but we have some people that go, Hurry up and well, get off because I can't go, I, I, I can't leave before you do. I might miss something. <laughs> right. That's why, like, if I miss something, I'm like, I try to listen to the whole, go back, and because I want to hear when you talk about your sister or yeah. Jimmy did something. or oh, Then, then when you do good. leave, then you miss something big. Like, oh, my gosh, oh my gosh. the cops came again I... last night? Dang. Well, I... I didn't think I anything was going to go on after five. I to see why you called the police on yourself again. Oh, that stupid <laughs> phone. I hate it. I hate I that. It. And uh -huh. I never uh -huh. got to Bring. ask Jimmy why the police were just standing out there. And Carolyn was like, no, 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 no. I stopped it before it went through. I stopped it. I did. It didn't make that, yeah. make that sound. I thought I was clear. You even said it. You even said it. I know. Yeah. And the funny thing is, the last time it went through, the cops didn't come. So they probably get so many of those. They probably get so many of those, which is such a waste. They should build Apple. I know. Well, I see, hate what I don't that get is if they built it in there for an emergency. But it's one, probably oh, one gosh, of those things, things, Heather, that when you need it, it doesn't work. Just like that poor kid yeah. that got killed yes, in the yes. car. Yeah. Right. And when I needed OnStar to work when I was in an accident, it didn't well, work. It's not work. Because, yeah. So, I mean, that's what I mean about these things. Yeah. And then you were saying it makes that gosh awful racket. Well, what if I need to dial it? I don't want everybody to hear that I'm dialing. Right. right. You're yeah. just like, woo, woo, woo. You're like, yeah, great, thanks. And it's, so and it's counting well, down, and you're like, what the ass? Like, sometimes my I have had my phone FaceTime people randomly, and I'm not even near my phone. And it, it's always like someone that I used to go to church with. And I'm like, and it's 3 in the morning or something. Heidi May's poor print has FaceTimed my brother. Like, because she got such little um, pads. Mm -hmm. And oh. I could hear my brother in the background going, no, Gail, Gail, Gail. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and the dog had been walking over my iPad. And I must have had it open. And I'm like, oops. He was out with all his mates. It's also on really easy to accidentally go live on Facebook. <laughs> You. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, did I tell you that story? I did, right? Yes. 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 It's horrible that it's that easy to go live. Oh my, like. I, I died. I, I almost like had to kill myself. I, I don't know. I was, I was like, beside you know? myself. Like, because how easy would it be to fix that? And how many people have probably come? Yeah, why hasn't it come up with a big thing like, you're going live now, and then start like a. Bong, bong, like something. Yeah, so why don't know. they have a countdown? I think they like, want that to you. happen. I think they want it to happen, though. Right. Le Leisha, are you on an iPhone? Yeah. Has anyone noticed on an iPhone, when you go to press on, say, um, Carolyn's channel, and if you slip your finger, it actually says, do you want to unsubscribe? Yes. Yeah, if you hit the wrong... It all the time. It'll do it for yes. anybody's channel. Yeah, well, no, I'm just, yeah. Yeah. So, well, the other day, I'm like, it's saying, do you want to unsubscribe? And I'm like, <laughs> why would I want to unsubscribe? I'm a member. And then it says, do you want to undo? And I'm yeah. like, of course like I want to undo. A name and chat, like if I'm trying to scroll back, it'll ask me, do I want to block them or whatever? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's annoying. Yeah, too. I hate Heidi. that. Yeah, block. Yeah. Heidi's poor does that too. Okay, wait a minute. Deborah Ben. Uh, We're gonna the dog. My phone doesn't do that. I don't know. Read. You've got no, an Android. You, have you got a big yeah. iPhone? I have Android. Oh, oh you got Android, yeah. She's the misfit. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jimmy have the same phone. 
and uh, Caroline Connor, doesn't she? I think she does. I'm hot spotting from an Android because my older, iPhone wouldn't let me get more credit. How is Caroline? Hmm. Caroline Connor? Yeah, doesn't she? Yeah, she's the one that has the ickies. Yeah, I think she's yeah. better. Yeah, she's better. Oh, Have you good. heard from her lately? Um. Well, what? Mm. Within the last week, mm. she's back to work and everything. All right, Amber, I'm always it. Is she still mad at you for dropping off the ickies in that package? That you oh her? yeah, <laughs> she hates my guts. And for her, going her whole family is like, "Thanks for killing our grandpa." <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. Yeah, Deb, we're going out to the reef for two days. I guess you did miss a little bit of Carolyn's shows. Bless it. Bless it. Yeah. Rubbing it in. We're down here freezing to death. I've um, been today, like, multitasking backwards and forwards because, you know, it's still tea time here and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Tra um, Tracy, have we heard anything? Yeah. W uh, Caroline um, gave an update. Uh, is well, yeah, everything she's, okay? she's home, and yeah, she's she said she was going to try to make it in, but she's been really sleepy. Uh, that's okay. That's yeah. it. I can go back. I can go back and look at that. I just, um, yeah, they let her go. Good. They let her come home. I read it. it was a pretty long update. So she was here in chat tonight. She was. Oh, she was. Uh, yes, she was. Oh, she was. Yes, yeah, she was. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh. I yelled and said something, but she just said hi for a minute and then was gone. I think. Yeah, she said thank you, everybody, and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes. I had a feeling when you couldn't reach her at home, maybe she's asleep. Like, I had a feeling, but I really she, wanted somebody went, to get in she, touch with her. She went to the ER, but they kept her for like 24 hours in the ER because there wasn't a bed. And then she came back home. Oh, and that's what they do here. Oh, wow. I, I wouldn't have gone home. I wouldn't have. I'm a chicken. Yeah, she probably really didn't need to go home, but I don't know. But she's, but she's also in the medical profession, so I understand not wanting to go to the hospital, for sure. Here in Australia, that sent a 100-year-old person home at 4 or 5 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Really? It's they just, do that here, yeah, too. Yep. Oh, do they do that there? I wondered that. <laughs> yep. Okay. Like, people get sent home two, three times with ickies, and then... That guy from New Jersey, who was like a 30 year old teacher with no underlying things, he died at home because he kept sending yep. him home. Oh, yep. It's ridiculous. So different. I'm going to be like, no, I'm staying. <laughs> and then just plant my arse in the freaking parking lot. <laughs> hmm. Yep. All right. So Luke's still feeling okay? Yeah, like thank he, goodness. Yep. And so, yeah, so far so good. Oh, my. No, I woke up and Ethan's on the camera talking about going to school. And I'm like, yeah. what time is it? <laughs> I could not figure it out. I, I know, and that's going to happen dreaming. again if I don't get off. Um, I know, but I was like, yo, we're on the iPad. And I'm like, I swear to gosh, I've got to be dreaming. <laughs> Why is Ethan on the camera? I'm like, something ain't right, you know? I'm like, this is not... So they're all getting it. tested today? Yeah. Okay. I hear them walking around. I hear Ethan walking around upstairs. Yeah. So, well, um, I'm anyway. Sure it's all going to go well. I hope so. Yeah. And I've got to go out. we got to get the turkey and, and stuff like that. All right. So all right. I better uh, go. But thanks. Um, we'll have a more giveaways. And uh, but that was fun getting some new people up. And let's see. Thanks to everybody in the, the next chat. Time, Thanks to the moderators. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks to everybody. Thanks, uh, not a coward. Thanks for showing up. Not a coward, uh, Scooter. And um, all right. So we'll see you tomorrow. Prayers for all that need them. God bless you guys. Oh, everybody's got to say bye really fast. Okay. Scooter, are you ready? Okay. Yes. You, okay. You're still laying down. I've got to get. Let me get the thing up on here. Okay. Thank you, Carolyn. Oh, you're welcome. Ready, everybody? Yes. Thank you. Um, Bye. Okay, good night. Nobody's saying bye. 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 <laughs> you guys didn't do it good. You guys, you guys did not. You guys, Heather and Alicia let me down. <laughs>